Alright, excellent connection according to YouTube. I think that's quite a compliment, isn't it? Excellent. They're like, good job, you connected excellently. It was mostly us, but good job, you. Doesn't yeah. Seem perfect, which you'd think would be like the top tier, so apparently there's something missing. It's room for improvement. Oh. Bad thing. It's not a bad thing at all. <clears throat> all right. Maybe next stream will be perfect connection. We'll get there one day. But we'll day, just yeah. make do with what we have. It's little life lessons everywhere you go. So, we're going to start today with a little bit of a dream lapse. Catch up on that end. And then we're just going to go into uh, Arcane. Lots of Arcane catching up. Arcane part Ooh. four. Yeah, pretty much. Have lots of input questions. Flims, flams of all kinds. Uh. Kind of thing you'd expect. And in the background, they're going to see Lord of the Rings video game. Uh, Return of the King. Oh, one. which one? Oh, Return of the King. Mm. Neat. Video. Can you guys play this one? I can't remember. I played it for the Game Boy Advance. Wow. I, I don't remember. That. <clears throat> yeah, they were like... They were like... um. Because I played the Two Towers and Return of the King on Game Boy, and they were sort of like mini, mini RPGs where you would go through levels, hit enemies, and each character had their own little weapons that they could use and their own little abilities. And it was sort of like a little, little looter sort of game. You get better and better stuff. Sounds like a diet version of what these games really were on GameCube, unless it was. As in depth, but I don't think they do that of that era, right? It was usually like, it was. Simpler. I don't know. It, it was somewhat simple, but there was enough. I, I remember it kept me engaged for a very long time. I think there was something to it. I mean, it could have been your floopy kid brain, though. Just steps everything. Nope. I was very picky. Oh, all right. I had extremely high standards for my Game Boy Advance. RPGs. Um, rags. People need to stop using literally incorrectly. Also, rags. They are literally butchering these characters. Wow. Hold out, rags. Did I say they're literally butchering these characters? Maybe. That doesn't Maybe. sound like something I'd do. Well, I was thinking I have to come up with timestamps now and go to court or something. Oh. Chances are, there was a scene of someone literally butchering another character. Probably why I would have said it. I think mm. that makes the most sense to me. Yeah, I mean, in the Mando scene, that totally happens, right? With the butcher. Uh, mm -hmm. The meat place. Mm -hmm. But maybe Rex was right. Of course there was. Bloody Streamlabs didn't send the second half, which is here, <gasps> and it says, I don't know how Marvels did it. But after every film I watch now, without fail, my mind expects there to be a protagonist will return in Avengers Endgame at the end. Oh. Well, they they now do that just for like, oh, they'll be back. They've done oh, that. Yeah, yeah. The new ones, yeah. Oh, yeah. They'll be back. You don't want to miss Ooh, that yeah. when it happens. Be in theaters. Yeah. Fire. You don't want to be left out in the cultural conversation? That's yes. right. No. All of your friends are going to be talking about it, and you'll just be going... Uh, I, I don't know. I'm old. Mm -hmm. Stupid. You'll be I don't know anything about anything. I'm dumb. If only I would have paid to go see the movie, I could... things. Could be part of the conversation I mean, for the last. Literally time. Batman, right? Like, if you don't go see that, you're gonna be missing out on what everyone's talking about. Yeah, you don't want to miss out. And if you miss out, it makes you a lesser person. That's just how that works. We don't make the rule. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we do. We do, actually. Yeah, oh. it's pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm, yeah. So, most yeah. deaf, as they Wait, say. Well. Are we responsible most, for most deaf? Mo no, most deaf. Oh. As like most, most definitely. Instead of partially deaf, definitely. Most deaf can't hear you. Partially definitely, or as I call it, somewhat. It's interesting you bring up the dead when I'm fighting, you know, spooky ghosts. They kind of like dead people. 
Spooky ghosts are very, very, very similar to like spooky dead people. Yeah. Uh, I'd say it's about kind of is is probably the right description. About kind of. They're about okay. kind of dead yeah. people. I'll make That's sure to put them that way from now. I wouldn't want to get it wrong. Well, people, it, people of dead, the mortally challenged, yes. we, we'll call them. Though actually, wouldn't the, wouldn't would living people be a minority? I guess they would compared to the dead. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, really, they are. it's there's been 106 billion humans throughout all of like history. Is it? I think so. Yeah. Oh, I was gonna go. I thought that was numbers. too many. Or I guess maybe uh, not. Yeah. No, hmm. 106. Oh, no. no, it's it's 106 or 107 billion. Yeah. Why would you think that that's small? Like, that that's not enough? I just, I feel like humans can do better. I'm sure the ants well, have got us beaten out on that one. We gotta hump those numbers up. Uh, we gotta hump, we gotta hump those numbers up. Yeah, I imagine that the historical number of ants is in the, like, quadrillions. <laughs> and they love us every actually. day. Might be higher than that. Well, this game's a bit weird because, like, I've got a little ability that's on a cooldown where it, it makes it so that if I have it on, I get way better score for killing things. So there's no time limit for like the game itself. So do I just wait until that comes back before killing things? And then I get my best score for the map. It's like that seems exploitative, doesn't it? Or just random points, uh, the random stretches where you get extra points? Um, well, so like say there's a group of enemies below me right now. I can drop a rock on them and kill them all, or at least the ones that the rock hits, and if I wait for my little okay. ability to come off cooldown, I can activate that, then throw the rock down. So, do to get a better score for this level, I just gotta wait. You know? See if this is true, what I just said. Oh, you might- yeah, I guess you could find out. Oh, that didn't really work. Kind of. I, I mean, it did better than it would and have plus, without them. It says the kills were good. How do you make- how do you do better? <laughs> well, that's the that's the weird system in this <laughs> game is you get fair kills until you get enough of them that it's good, that enough of them is excellent, that enough of them is perfect. It's like, what was the difference? It's like there wasn't one really. But... Did you just make you, you just made it up? It doesn't actually have anything <laughs> to do with your ability to. Hmm. Pretty much. I'm gonna hit these ghosts with my sword, which I guess for Aragorn makes sense because his sword is special, but. Do Legolas and Gimli have special weapons, or are they just, they're special and they just have weapons? I think the game is ignoring what happens in the film a little bit. What? Uh, Alright, well. Yeah, I didn't say that was a good thing. I don't believe there. you think that's a good thing. What? I didn't say that. Orc, wow, you said it again. Wow. Or cure. Longman, have you seen the names of the auto-generated chapters on the original Goodell video? It's the funniest shit. Hi, Frongo. Hi, Rags. Hey. Auto-generated chapters? That's a thing that YouTube does? Auto-generated chapters? Yep. I think you have to turn it off. How can it know where the chapters are? Oh, here's- well, here's the thing. It doesn't. <laughs> the, <laughs> so then it has no- it has no clue. What's good? But that sounds really stupid. <clears throat> Correct. Okay. <laughs> Auto-generated subtitles. Like, you okay, got it. it. Um, Rags, are you trying to apply Pokemon logic to Lord of the Rings? I don't know what Pokemon logic that is. How is that Pokemon? It's Lord of the Rings that logic. You need a spe it, this Pokemon logic that you need a special sword to defeat ghosts. <laughs> yeah, wait a minute. I didn't even special, register that. Special That's magic a Pokemon sword. thing? I guess they're talking I about, had no like, idea. Uh, is it, which, is, which is the spooky city? I forget. Lavender Town? I think that's it, yeah. You, I think you need, like, ghost the... types are immune to normal type attacks, right? Maybe, Which I don't is know. maybe, like, sort of a Pokemon thing, where a normal sword can't kill ghosts. My Pokemon knowledge but... is so shit right now. That would be a game for, uh, I think it's a Pokemon catch-up. Like, Pokemon. But, um... The big return of Bubblefuck? Oh my god. <laughs> but Aragorn's sword is, it's, I don't think it's magic within the sword itself i think it's just the sword i don't know it, i don't think like it's it's more almost how because it's 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 um uh isildur's sword 
So I guess because that's more of an ownership thing than it is like a magic thing, right? It's not a, it's like a, not a magical aspect of the sword. It's just that the sword was owned by a particular person who has a connection to the ghosts. I think that's the logic. I can't remember if there's more to it than that. Um, yeah. But yeah it's, the uh... sword of the person who banished them. That means that's the sword that they can't go through. Which lines up? Why do ghosts kill you, exactly? Wouldn't their stuff just go through you and it wouldn't do anything? Unfortunately, that's not how it works. Ghosts, I feel like ghosts in, in a lot of stories get that benefit, where it's like, you go through me, but I don't go through you. It's like, eh, okay. Uh, that's, that seems a little floopy. Like I, didn't, there, but all right. I didn't sign off on this, actually. But it's okay, I suppose. But ghosts are OP, man. But they gotta balance it out by having a miserable existence. Yeah, we, we can kill people real good, but we're also sad. That's how you do it. Storytelling. Unfortunately, being sad all the time just makes us want to kill people, which is... Uh, it feeds into itself. It's a vicious cycle. Yes. Um, hi, Frungo, and hi, Rags. Hello. Hey. There was no hi for me or for Mela, and that's fine. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. hi to everyone. You sound everyone like you feel like that's towards. fine. Hi. Jeez, do they do this every time someone shows up at we'll their break everything. <laughs> cavern? They just destroy all of the supports for the cave? You not? <laughs> in your house? But, uh, that's often something I wonder in games and movies and stuff. Whenever the heroes get to something and there's some cataclysmic trap that just destroys the whole temple or is, it just can't be undone. Does, do they just do that for everyone? Who, surely they can't do that for every person who walks into the tomb, right? And it doesn't, it doesn't have to be that many people, but surely, right? They can't be doing that every time. That's just not it. feasible. But don't the ghosts go through stone so they couldn't even lift it? Oh, well, they have to think real hard about it. It's like Bly. Like, they have to really want it, and then it'll work. Yeah. Um, I've been suffering from depression for over four years now. I've been listening to EFAP for two. You guys have helped uh, a lot to get through the day. Just wanted to make you know, you know that you are all helping a lot of people. Very nice. It's um, nice. It's better than I'm saying I've had I'm glad depression for four years and listening to you guys have made it worse. Oh god, that would be. <laughs> that would be scary. Yeah, well, you know, hopefully you're doing better, and uh, yeah. we'll be here. Absolutely. Talking about media forever. I'm um, I'm actually in talks to uh, figure out immortality, so, yeah. What? Yeah, we're, we're um, hmm, bad, huh? Where can I wow. apply? So that was the thing. They said that I'm allowed it, but to give it to specifically you is off the table. Oh. For fuck's sake, always me! I don't know why, they've got some kind of issue with you. Okay, who's the motherfucker who said that? I'm gonna beat them up. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry. Oh um, man, they're probably immortal as well, so it doesn't even matter. Fuck. I don't make the rules. Well, maybe, we just said we'd make the rules. So, Not I don't know who to them. trust anymore. Of them. <laughs> I'm offended by the immortal gods. Yeah, I would be too. Uh, I listen to you more than almost anyone since you're now on all things, so I thought it's only fair I donate a few dollars. Hope you have an, uh, a great week. Oh, well, pretty good, yeah. Well, how's you guys week? I hope you have a good week. Well, I've been been busy just getting all my chores and stuff out of the way so I can play Elden Ring all weekend. I would also like to do that. Unfortunately, copyright claims of being a giant wombus. Whoa. Uh, you're, you're, you're actually close to... to so close. The last fucking video. phase. The most hated I of wish, all phases. I wish I knew what that felt like to be close <laughs> to finishing it. Oh, uh, Get there one day, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Apparently I'm really loud for people mutually. I can pull that out. Uh, Chad, do you want him on zero? No. <laughs> You're gonna say yes, and you know that's the truth. Um, I put you down. Like, but, but... No! 
Oh man. We'll see if no mortality and now I'm dead. Or is that too little? Like for me it's like a little loud as well, so you did you start eating your microphone or Me? No, I my microphone is just right here in front of my face. <laughs> where it okay. always is. I mean I can eat it if you want to. Liar. Alright, we'll wait a bit. I gotta get my perfect mode back. All right. Perfect Liar. mode. Hey, Mauler. I wanted to show support for all the work and say I appreciate it. I wish the crew all the best. Many high rags and thank you all. Also, poor Boba. I watch the show only because of you all. I hope you are fine and well. Take care. Oh, that's... Thanks, yeah, thanks, thanks, thanks. Yeah, you know, we, we technically had a funeral for Boba. Um, <laughs> I'm sure he can't wait to get a season two. As can not the rest of us wait? Words. Uh, oh, I can I can totally wait. I'm yeah, fine. you know, I was thinking about it for a moment there, and I was like, actually, I can wait. I really can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Question, if the ghost had a ghost gate with a ghost lever, would that just... It's just game over at that point, or...? Oh, do you mean like a, a lever that I can't even use because it's ghostly lever? Yeah, it's, like, it's a ghost lever that pulls up a ghost gate. See, so this is my theory, right? Because this whole level seems to be built in such a way that I am able to get through it. Um, and so maybe Ghost King did this on purpose. He was like... He actually wants you to, like, yeah, this is a test? Yeah, he's playing hard to get. But really, it's kind of obvious that he wants us to get in here. I see right through him. He's like, oh, yeah, okay. I, I you do, do want to. You do see right through him. He's translucent. He's yeah. He's a little goose. That's right. Uh, also, I mean, you could have a ghost gate because the ghosts have swords and armor and things, so you could have a ghost gate. You could have a gate that... I, well, I guess the rule is you died with the gate, so you got to get car carried on into the hereafter. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. Um, get Nina to come on Saturday's EFAB for Arcane Talk if she's available. I'm afraid we were fully stacked um, to the yeah, point we where I actually full. had to... Tell a few different creators that they they were unable to, which was unfortunate, but um we didn't really want to have like a fifteen man sort of efab. Well, the unless Arcane's we wanted on... it to be six parts or yeah, I was gonna say like we got three. three part. That is the longest coverage we've ever had of a single thing. I I think it's kind of a strange metric, but I think that's probably the longest, right? Uh, well, so. it takes a long time to explain why something is good. Yeah. The longest thing we've done now is probably on a on a good. Also, protagonist is a female who's also gay. How about that? Did we win? Have we won? No. No. Did mm -hmm. we leave us alone, please? <laughs> well, well, there, she, alone? Did, she could be bisexual. There's still hope. All right. Fine. Uh, happy 80th birthday, Metal. Also, hi, Rags. Oh, cool. Hello. Thanks. Well, you're an old. Wow, that's great. I wouldn't call that old, I just called experience, that's all. Old is more like 170-ish. Um, I guess it's relative, isn't it? You know, to like, if you're if you're a grasshopper, you know, 170 years, it's like, oh, man. Yeah, that's you're, really like age age. Age. you're like an eldritch <laughs> lord or something. Eldritch grasshopper. Eldritch hopper. Yeah. Eldritch is a fun word. It Eldritch. Really is great. Eldritch. Who, um, is, is, was that Lovecraft's creation, that word, or was that, it comes from somewhere else? Uh, I don't know, actually. Let me check. Um, yes, Eldritch. Do. I was about to, but I'm Do waiting to find a map in Halo because the players have dropped off significantly, and so now I can't play this game, <laughs> it looks like. Let me look up etymology. So, it comes from... It's a... Early 16th century, originally uh, the Scots. I guess it's because I'm being told that it's it has to, it's perhaps related to Elf, Eldritch, uh, from the early 16th century. Okay. So. So not. It's yeah, also. Not it's a it's a 2013 first person shooter. Video game developed by David Pittman and published by American indie studio Minor Key Games. David Pittman, yeah. One of your favorites, right, right? 
No, no. Um, <laughs> uh, you, yeah, I think that's that's actually a common misconception. Yeah. Uh, I I hate him. Oh shit! All he right. is a, he is he's a real jerk. Oh. He's a he's an he's a bad guy. Are you just gonna let them kill all the? Um, wait, can wait. the computers in this actually kill enemies? I don't think they can be killed, and I don't think they can kill. I think that's how it works, which I don't like. But there we are. I've never liked it in games where your your friendly peoples literally have no effect on anything. Um, yeah, it's either there. no effect or incredibly little effect. But um, oh wait, my fifth is back. <laughs> but I, I guess the if you could have them stagger enemies so that you would still want your, or or you get experience credit for their kills because you want to avoid a scenario where the computers are taking your experience and stuff, but. You want them to be effective in some capacity, so yeah, th there's a yeah. lot of there's a there's a lot of ground that you can cover that is in between those two things. A I, lot. I agree. Um, or they get like finished down. To, like if you knock enemies down, they'll finish them off, or they'll stagger enemies and stun them for a bit, or they apply. You know, debuffs to enemies, maybe crowd control them a bit, but something. Like, I don't think there's anything to unlock in this level if you uh, get, like, perfects on every level, but, like, this is how you do it, and it seems a little, uh, very good. You can get perfect mode from just blocking for ages, too. That also seems a little... It's weird. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you, I guess you can block enough? Like, if you have enough blocking... people surrounding you and hitting you, then, yeah, you'll eventually get it. Now the parry in this is it just whenever you parry it's just you're invulnerable. I think so, yeah. <laughs> Which is great, oh, okay. right? Oh, all right. This game is very complex very mechanically. Uh, meant for um, big adults, big large adults. Big uh, adults. Happy to hear y'all go over arcane. Love y'all work and hope to hear while listening in later what projects y'all got in the wings. Also, hi Fringy. Hi. Uh, you expected a high rags, didn't you? Well, you're still right, so high rags. <laughs> oh, hello. I do wonder if I want to even say, like, how much of how much I've gotten done and how much more I expect to do. Because I think I could, and that wouldn't inform any expectations for when you should expect it. Because you don't know how long it's taken. Nah, yeah. I'll keep you in suspense. Well, this is the thing. Now with the copyright stuff, I'm like, uh, should I even give a date? Because right, you know, worst case you scenario, it sure, could yeah. be that I can't get it out. And people get mad at you, even though it's fact is YouTube's beyond your control. Fault. Yeah. If we could hit the button that makes copyright not happen, I promise we'd press it. Yeah, I'd press it. <laughs> I'll just be real nice if we could click a button that says, trust me, this is transformative, please, trust me, like, I'm <laughs> not trying to, please. I'm not using this, you know, it's it just, It doesn't replace the me. thing you think it's replacing, trust me. Um, yeah, we're shitting all over it. What has been said before, Yeah, like, exactly. if someone said, like, oh, you know, you go to the theater to see TFA, pretty much the same experience as watching, uh, any one of my TFA videos, for example. Well, that's pretty insane. I'd be like, insane. yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> I feel I like uh, the fact it, that... As an example, in one of the streams, just like, you can't really say that all the TFA videos replace TFA. Like, I guess it could for someone, but I don't know. Not the same. Um, well, no, it's not the same experience. It's absolutely not the same experience, and that's not what you're intending to do. I think no. it's what any of us are intending to do with any review, even if it covers a lot of it. Um, tell the masters out there how Vi is a great character while Abby is a piece of shit. Well, um, well, you know we think that. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know if Something said interesting explicitly. I've been thinking about is, um, now I haven't played the games, but I'm kind of familiar with the stories. You know, like the Mafia series? Yeah. The video games? Um, series, for real. Yeah, like, um, in the first game, uh, the main character... This game is 20 years old, right? So in the first game, the main character is part of the mob. Uh, he, he, um, like, sort of, uh, uh, goes into witness protection. 
Uh, and then as an old man, he gets found by um, members of the mafia that he belonged to, and he gets shot. Uh, and then in the second game, you find out that the people who killed him are actually the protagonist that you're playing as. Um, now, despite that, I'm pretty sure that the character Vito is, like, well regarded um, by fans of that series. It's like, hmm, yeah, you can you can do it. Uh, you can make it work. I mean, well, you just gotta kind of work a bit harder, you know? <laughs> like, <laughs> they did the thing in, in Arcane. I can't remember if we went over this, because when we got to the end, I was starting to forget the things I definitely wanted to talk about in total, because it's just so much, but, um... Silgo kills, like, Vanda, pretty much. He like, does you know, kill Vanda, and, and everybody likes Vanda, uh, yeah, but everybody but, likes Silgo. But by the end, yeah, everyone's really sad that Silgo dies. It's like, yeah. they did it. They did the thing, because Silgo kind of became... Well, you know, it, it wasn't like we were watching him constantly do evil. The show was definitely trying to help us understand him, which is the equivalent, I would say, of, of The Last of Us 2. It's like, you need to understand Abby. You need to know her. Let's just say one was more successful yeah. than the other. Yeah. Well, I don't want to know Abby. I, I just want to know how to, I can kill her faster. I think um, <laughs> there, were, there were several factors that worked badly in her, in her favor. The, the first one was the golf club. Uh, that, that was a big mistake. Like, you don't get to rush this, it's like, ooh, that's, uh, man, ooh, that's, that's not good. Um, like, in terms of what that choice says about you, ooh. Uh, and then, as soon as we get to start playing from her POV, it's so transparent that it's like, we are rushing in humanization. See, look, the dog. Look at how happy and friendly the dog is. Aesthetic. Aren't Ain't dogs nice? great? Which they are, but it's it comes across as cheap. It's, it's kind of, it's the opposite of... If you want to show it someone's evil, have them hurting a dog. That's that's fast yeah. tracking it to showing that a person is a bad person, you know. So that doesn't it just comes across as artificial. It's like you don't really just stop here. Play fetch funny. with dog. Do it. You're like, All right, all right. <laughs> Do it. Oh my gosh, I don't I hope you don't have to fucking stab that dog <laughs> later. Wouldn't that be <laughs> sad? You played Twitter. I, like, how was that conversation not had? You know, where someone just went, uh, Neil, isn't this like a little, I don't know, a little cheap, don't you Even think? Even This is kind of how they do it in, like, really shit things. It was like, no, it'll work perfectly. You're like, oh, okay. Oh, what the it's next like that, what is, is it, the be? Mitchell and Webb thing? The whole, are we the baddies? But it's, <laughs> like, are, are, like, are we shit writers? <laughs> I do wonder what they're working on next. Uh... Because it's not going to be The Last of Us 3, right? I don't think it'll be that next, but I worry that that will happen someday, and it'll be like, they should we, be... oh shit, here we go again, sort of thing. They should be glad that freaking game wasn't the last of them. Oh, well, oh fuck. I guess uh, it's just because Uncharted is finished. Um, and yeah, The Last of Us is like, Whoa. people weren't big fans of that one. So I wonder no, what you're going to make not. next. What is up next for Naughty Dog? Don't make Jack and Daxter. There was a time when I really would have liked that, but it's okay. You don't want to see Jack alone. and Daxter characterly re deconstructed? And no, I don't want to see Jax to get his head ripped off. No, I don't want to see that. Oh, okay. Well, that's your opinion. I, I want to feel like there's I want a lot to of see... artistic merit there, you know? Uh, yeah, that that was uh that was what they were gonna make instead of The Last of Us for a brief time. Then they wanted to do Jack Next to four, um, but yeah, I guess uh it's just like there was a time when I would have been really on board with that, but uh not anymore. Things are allowed to end, all right. We've seen what happens when things don't end. Halo. Oh God, I wish they knew gone. things were allowed to end, and that they could mm. plan the end instead of being cancelled because of how shit the show got. Like that. Admittedly, they they probably will make more Uncharted games, but not with Nate, I would imagine. And so it's like, okay, okay, we're we're okay. That's that's okay. Um. Oh yeah, I watched Uncharted. It's it's not that good. What? <laughs> it's not that good. So it's would you? Can you give us uh, a ballpark to number? Bad. Mad to bad is probably like four, maybe four three. to five, four to three. Um. Well, I think there's plot issues. The problem is that I don't care too much to really think about it super yeah, deep. Yeah, that's fair enough. Um, yeah, but it, it's it's incredibly generic. It's uh, 
but it, it, it's kind of like uh it feels like what bad used to be where it's the the characters are really thin and the plot is wonky uh, yeah. as opposed to the characters are catastrophic and the plot is like totally bullshit. nonsense yeah um yeah, like it's it's really it's I feel like thin is a good way to describe it. Thin. Um, okay. Bad adaptation though. I think it's a bad adaptation. Um, I see. I talked about it all on Cosmoronic episode five coming up on YouTube tomorrow. <laughs> you know, you don't have to laugh every time you do that. <laughs> I laugh every time I do it because I find it amusing because it's so transparent. It's, it's, it's not, but that's not. It's not. There's no problem. It's fine. Yeah, no, fine. I know there's no problem. I don't know. I don't know what it is. There's something in my head that's this like, is, hmm, what are you Fringy doing? thinks that this is the YouTube equivalent of kicking a dog. <laughs> <laughs> to say, that's hey, why I he's talk laughing. About it here. <laughs> Please. Yes. Because, like, you know, um, every time Rags mentions dog bites, he doesn't need to laugh or anything. <laughs> because it's just something he's up to. Well, okay. All right. I'm glad that you've given me carte blanche to shill. I don't, for, uh, I don't really yeah. consider it... It's, it's a weird level of shill because it's basically like if they're here. I'm just telling um, people, hey, I made something. If you're interested, be like, come take a look. Yeah. It's like it does Infinity War shill for Endgame. It's like I mean, oh. <laughs> it doesn't shill for Endgame because it says like Iron Man will return. Well, yeah, actually, so. okay. yeah. if you're interested in this, you'll probably be interested in that. That's that's my logic. Doesn't need to be a good adaptation. No, I'm I'm just saying it's not a good one. Um, I figured we all knew that was going to happen. It was just whether or not it would be any good in general. Uh, yeah, and it's it's um, yeah. I well, I never really had any reason to think that it was going to be good. I don't think I I came into it expecting like meh, and that's kind of what I got. Uh, and I guess right from the casting choices, you know, uh, <laughs> hmm, yeah, it's probably not going to be very faithful, and it ain't. It's got components of the games, but they're not. They're pulled with a lot of supporting context left behind, uh, and so it feels like there are some narrative dead ends stemming from things like the ring, and then you've got like the plane sequence, but it's a lot more hollow than it was in the game because it isn't followed up by the long stretch in the Ruble Kali that's quiet as a good contrast. Um, Noah Lena is baffling to me as a choice. I don't get it. I'm not sure why you wouldn't have her in the game, uh, in the film. Arguably Woman. the second most important character in the I'm whole like series. In, uh, in well, they had Chloe in there, but again... And, and also, that's a tough one, because it's like, man, Claudia Black <laughs> played Chloe in the games. It's like, oh, man, it's uh, tough. At, well, then again, for the whole thing, it's like, it, it's hard not to view those characters always tethered to the voice actors who portrayed them. Um, and I feel like it's going to be the same with Halo when Chief talks, but it's not Steve Downs. It's like, man, it's just... I don't know. I get real worried about Halo. Uh, that one worries me. It'll be fine. Everyone will love it. It's like that Lord of the Rings thing they're doing. Dude, <laughs> seriously, of like of the stuff that's coming up, like in this year, the one that I'm probably most optimistic about is Sonic Two. Like, legitimately, you just wanted to see Idris Elba as Knuckles. I do want to see Idris Elba as Knuckles. Yeah, I also want to see more Jim Carrey as Eggman, uh, especially that first film. Still was, you could tell that like it still was the film that they had made originally. And they tried their best to try and salvage it, but now this one was made with the intent to be like this from the start. You fucking stunlocked um, me. Little bitch. <laughs> it's not fair. Yeah, that isn't fair. Aragorn's path leads him through this terrible place. Um, hmm. non-comprehensive list of things no one has been able to actually prove exists. Bigfoot, Loch Ness Monster, and Fringy's Goo. Oof. <laughs> I would prefer it if you thought it didn't exist, so you'd leave me alone to work on it in peace. It does work. Did you see that they would show Chief's face in the Halo show? Yeah, it did. Yeah. So that's not a good move. I don't think it's a good move. I don't know why... Maybe... I, it feels like I'm in the minority on this. I am totally fine with people having their masks and helmets on, always. Uh, yeah. depending on 
who they are. I don't need the heroes taking off their masks uh, to have a you, conversation. Why do you feel like you're the minority on that? Um, the fact that it happens so often in films and, uh, and that it doesn't seem to cause problems, I guess, in terms of people's engagement with the material. I don't know where you've been. I, Everyone complains about it in Marvel constantly. Everybody does? Like, you're telling me that if yep. I pull up just the average film goer that they're gonna be like, Yeah, no, it was really annoying when I got to see Paul Rudd face. I don't think it's a very good off. metric to go by the average film go compared to who you talk to all the time, right? Oh, well, that's that's what I meant as a minority. That if you were You're to minority take related to the general movie going public, but that would be applicable to every opinion you have, pretty much. Um, yeah, I suppose. All right, all right. You made your point. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's this story about two sisters. After a traumatic event in their childhood, they get separated. One sister goes out of town for years, while the other gets forcefully adopted by a mentally abusive man with a soft voice who gaslights her into evil. The heroine returns to town, finds out her sister has become a crazy villain, and she has to struggle to try and redeem her with the fear that maybe she can't be saved. Our hero is a lesbian who works outside the law and has a cop love interest. Am I talking about Arcane or Batwoman Season 1? <laughs> I mean, I've seen oh people goodness. make the comparisons. It's kind of terrifying. <laughs> Talk about it's all at execution, huh? Yeah, a little bit. Man, Alice and Jinx. Kind of, kind of the same. Basically, virtually identical. Different levels of enjoyment. Slightly different. Hi, Sir Moogler. What are your thoughts on a video essay channel explaining the effects of objective qualities in art on our personal and popular opinions? Hoping to encourage people to expect more from media and openly discuss what qualities matter to them. Uh, I'm... Go, go nuts, I guess? Yeah, I'm pro that. Can. Yeah, I want you to do that. And figure out Especially if you want to do it. Because uh, we do a little bit of that here and there to some degree. But yeah, I don't know. If you're looking for advice, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Figure out them foundations. Everything's got to come from somewhere sort of shit. Start simple and then build up your, uh, from there, by feeding examples to your little, uh, analysis engine. Yeah. I feel like that's a good way to think about it if you start with a yeah start with a core that you think is is going to be uh useful for as many stories as possible throw a story in there see how it works see if there you need to make any changes to your little machine how does comedy change your little machine how do you factor in uh like more uh i guess abstract stuff into that machine Hello. What are some passion project ideas for videos that may have been shelved, which, if given all the time and attention in the world, you would love to create? I'm sure there's a ton, but what are some of the big ones on your YouTube bucket list? Love you guys. I'm not ready to say because I don't have anything that I'm not... I'm not in the stage of being like, oh, if only I could have done such and such. All of those ideas are still pretty much on the table. Um... I guess the problem is this wasn't like a big bucket list like project, but um, there was a time there when I thought that it would be interesting to make a video talking about uh, the Suicide Squad, uh, and specifically just talking about how this is a film where the plot is absolute dog shit, but the characters remain safe and going into a bit of a... Talking about why I think that is, and so that we can have sort of a full conversation about the manner in which plots can compromise character, uh, and how it can also not, to sort of highlight the interconnectedness, but also not a plot and character. But that that's that was just an idea. Um, it was not something I was super passionate about. All of the big passion projects are like, yeah, I I, I don't know. I'm just working on what I'm working on right now. I'll figure those out later. Yeah, if like this, because all the stuff I want to do, I still intend to do. But if it, if we're talking about like just I don't know projects that you're hoping to get around to at some point, but still haven't, and there's a chance it'll never happen. I suppose it'd be like I'd like to do long boy coverage of all of Mike Flanagan's shows, basically. 
Oh, um, right, well, in my in my ideal world, one of the things I would love to do at some point is to just make an animated pilot. Like he's flying his little brought up on YouTube. Um, well, I mean, I, I think I'd like to do a little animated pilot guy just in a little thing, but yeah. I mean, like, a little 20-minute just, uh, pilot. Not necessarily to do anything with it, but just as a project to... I think that'd be that'd be that'd be really cool one day. I think that would be cool. Maybe give like a huge backstory to Mr. Milkshake man. No, that's okay. His story's over. That was it? Was he born like yes. seconds before that? <laughs> well, what, so doop, 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 your story doop. his story is over. You Any story that we would be telling man? would be beforehand. I no, he wasn't like... in the fridge. That was his mistake. His first and last. Oh. He wasn't in the fridge, that was his mistake. <laughs> he, he decided to go out for a walk. Fringy Mr. Is Milkshake, a cartoon that I made. That if you haven't seen, go check it out. See? I didn't laugh that time. You, you, you're getting there. It's because it's about death. It's because it's about no, death. No, that's not- there is- there is nothing <laughs> to laugh about with Mr. Milkshake. Said with a big smile on my face. <laughs> Poor Mr. Mm. Milkshake. Right, what was the long coverage you said you wanted to do as a big project, potentially, one day? You said all of the Mike Flanagan stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. And I could see I know about another... Ages, yeah. I know about another long project that you want to do, but that's... That's a super-duper secret. Yeah, so stop asking everyone, jeez. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? Uh, dear Mola, I've been going through your ukulele videos, and I wanted to ask you if you've also played Hat in Time, and if yes, what did you think of the game? I have not played Hat in Time, but I've always, like, kind of been interested to do so, because I've heard good things. I hear it's good. Time to play it. <laughs> I've heard it's good as well. And if Rags has heard it, that, at that point, it's getting around, you know? He's not much of a That's gamer. That's true. He's never really... Nope. Have you even played a game yet? Pong? Have you played that? No, I've, I've heard of them. But I've heard that they are forces of uh, the demonic. Yeah. And Satan uses them to yeah. influence our souls and turn us evil. And then video games are the pathway to rock and roll and drugs and D&D. Yeah. &D and it, I don't want to go down that road. I want to remain pure. Because when people, when people think rags, what their mind goes to is, ah, purity. Yeah. Uh, since you did an EFAP for the bad new Ghostbusters movie, would you consider doing one for the new good one as well? It's not perfect, but if you compare to the last one, it's god tier. Um, when I gathered that film, when it came out, people were like, this is chill, I like this, and now it's at the status of, meh. That's, that's <clears throat> what I've heard. I have not seen it Afterlife? Yet. Yeah. From what I've heard on it, I just, I don't want to see it. I might Because it, it just seems point. really life, stunning. But I'm not particularly compelled to. We'll put a big maybe on that. The other lads here are like, yeah, I'll do it. I'll be like, all right. But if nobody's really passionate about it, it's like, well. Yeah, no. There are other things I'm more passionate about watching. I am not at all passionate about Ghostbusters. Well, like Schleimbusters. Yeah. <laughs> Slimeheimers. Oh. Slimeheimers. Mm. Disgusting. I'll show you my Slimeheimers. Does sound like a metal line. Mm-hmm. Oh, thank goodness. Now we wait for my perfect to go back up before we... Oh, he summons more? Oh, wait, I could just farm this level then. Game's strange. Uh, love God of War 4 and your playthrough watched it three times. When you're done... Wait, when you don't play Ragnarok on stream, beginning to end, I will come to Wales and punch you in the nuts. Oh my. Mm. Well, I mean, I'm hoping to play that one on stream too. As as would you, I assume, Metal? Sorry? You're gonna play God of War Ragnarok on stream? Depends if it comes out on PC or not. It's not uh, like I can magically get a PS5 out of nowhere. Would you have gotten one by now if it were available? I don't know. Don't really want to buy a console for one game. I was about to say, is that the one game that would make you buy it though? 
probably, to be honest. <laughs> Horizon just came out, right? Uh, yeah, it did. How's everyone finding that? What's the what's the word? Uh, well, seems like the the word is pretty good. Yeah, I've heard it's very exciting. They're calling it Horizon Zero Yawn. Well, no, it's <laughs> it's that pun doesn't work because it's called yeah, it Forbidden West. Well, the other one was called Horizon Zero Dawn. Yeah, it was called Zero Dawn. This one. Well, actually, it still we'll is. I still like the pun though. I, I like it. I give it five. It's pretty good. Yeah. If pretty every good. pun was if every pun was a five, that is, you know, right? Thank fuck, someone dropped a health. Jeez, you're really struggling there. I mean, I'm trying to do perfect, but it's costing me. Yeah, I'm gonna have to avoid him now because I don't have perfect. But then he's just gonna summon more things. Uh, this is a, this is a vicious cycle. Say that. Winston Churchill once said something about perfection. That he was perfect? No, I'm fucking not that. perfect. <laughs> that, that would be pretty funny if he said that. <laughs> Hitler doesn't know that I have perfect energy. Perfect Sigma male mega drip energy. I mean, it, I mean mega if, drip. If, if there were a politician who was on the Sigma male grind said it was definitely Winston Churchill. Um, so you value your privacy more than your son. I will cut off your head now. Not sure what that's referencing. No, no. Oh idea. no, I I don't remember what that's a reference to. Maybe chat will know. Uh, look up and play Berserk's guts theme. Yeah, it's a uh, yeah. It's neat. I'm assuming I can't oh. play that on stream. With the old copy rumbo. You've probably heard it in memes and stuff. If you haven't, because I haven't watched the show, really. Um, but I know that. <laughs> he bass shot at me. Um, alright. Then you got Mola Fringy Voice. Wait, this is confusing. So it's got like. Mola. No, that. I'm Rags. So I've got to do. What? I've got to do Fringy's voice, but then I've got to say as me that Fringy is gay. I don't get it. I have no clue. <laughs> and then Fringy's got to. This is so weird. Maybe you guys can decipher this. Your instructions I love are having to decipher. <laughs> I love having to decipher super chats. What All right, Mahler, Fringy voice. Oh, maybe they mean Mahler and Fringy do these voices? Yeah. Okay. Well, okay, so uh, Fringy, you gay? No, I have sex with men in relationships with goo. I have news for you. Gay. That's the end of the dialogue exchange. I... <laughs> I hope Epic. That's it's it, it's all you. settled. That's it. That's it's it, yeah. that's yeah. that the arc is complete. Uh Heimerdinger saw critique of TFA part four and said it requires a decade of careful editing to be ready. That's true. <laughs> also, don't read Spider Man comic okay. made by JJ Abrams. Story is similar to TLJ. What you made a comic? JJ I Abrams mean, made a Spider Man comic? I feel like that's something I knew, but it forgot. I knew that oh, yeah. as well, but... I did not know that. This is news, news to me. I already forgot again. Come on. Kill. There we go. I got the perfect kill on the big bad ghost boss. I've done it. Uh, Good for you. Also, also, High Rags, Moobly, Ringu, Dick J, Commander, and all guests. Oh, that's nice. oh hello. Hey. And favorite flavor no. of Tide Pod, also or La Senior Rags. I don't. I don't know the. It's kind of like Gatorade. I don't know what the flavors are called. I just know the colors. So for me, it's the orange blue ones, the dark blue. So mm -hmm. the dark blue and orange ones are my favorite Tide Pods. I think that's fair. 
I have not. I'm, I'm not a tightwad connoisseur, so I don't. I I, I don't you dabble lived, with man. the pearls You haven't of lived the until you've eaten a tide pod. Or you would stop. You'll stop living when you. you can't even get tide pods in Germany. I think you can't. I don't think so. Why do they too, look too much like a swastika? So your government bans them? Probably. Oh well, that mystery solved. Let me check here. Amazon. Uh, I actually have some. I I, uh, I I've tried them, and I've I've got a bag of them now that I use. They work pretty good. Well, I can get them. I on don't Amazon. generally get them, but they just but had them at the store while I was there. So, uh, yeah, there I go. So I could I could get them on Amazon, but they're like super expensive because they're imported. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, because they're a rare delicacy. It's eighty-five mm. bucks for a eighty-one pack. And. 81 bucks for an 81 pack? That's pretty 80, reasonable considering that's 81 85. loads of long. Oh, 85. I was going to say, it's strange to pack uh, it into 81s, but yeah. No, the pack is 81. It costs 85 euro. Oh. It's not, that's not bad considering it's a whole load of laundry that it cleans. Yeah. That's pretty reasonable. Yeah, Mel, and plus, so I mean, that's, a, that's like a <laughs> year's worth of Tide Pods. I don't know. Because I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't have a frame of reference because I don't wear clothes. Uh, the glasses are just an accessory. <laughs> so I don't I don't really yeah, I don't have a good frame of reference for how much a human, you know, goes through clothes, so um, I don't know. So, yeah, I'm 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 in like a whole rabbit hole. I, I right guess now. I just so don't think they're, about it and pay attention. They're a tide pod thingies, but they're from like German companies. And you can get twenty four for ten bucks, so that's way cheaper. Wow. That is cheap as hell. I wonder if they're any good. I don't know. Well, there you go. I hope everybody learned something today. I, I did. Good. Um, so, yeah, we, we've done the Streamlabs for up to today. There'll be new ones there, possibly now already, but... Great <laughs> that they... With how floompy my access is, so you have to wait till next time. So now it's over to the Arcane EFAP group chats. Okay. This first one says, "Yay, arcane, woo." I agree. Yeah, yeah. I can understand that sentiment one hundred percent. Um. Next one says, "Molly, you gay? Happy birthday, rags." Oh, thank you very much. These <laughs> might be out of order, but that's okay. Um. Uh, fuck, marry, kill, a period, a question mark, and an exclamation mark. <laughs> Uh, let me see. A period, a question mark, and a... Well, I definitely want to fuck the exclamation mark. We want to kill the question mark. It'll be a nice murder mystery. And then I want to marry with a uh, mar marry with a period. You know? Because that's what you do anyways. You just basically marry a period. So <clears> you could do that, and you'll have... It, it won't be anything crazy... Won't be anything super, you know, in, you know, over the top. It'll just be a nice, you know, decent marriage without any super huge, you know, excitement, which can be good or bad. But you know, I'll take my chances. Also, my audio is down. I think it actually is, which is annoying. Wow. Um, my my microphone, I've noticed actually, is automatically like it reduces itself. Um. Fucking annoying. Now I'm trying to find how to get to the settings for it. Eh. Sounds? I think, I think this is it. Sound. That looks like my... One, okay. Properties. Levels. Yes, down to 35. Who moved it to 35 when I put it to, like, fucking... Did, did I get louder while I was doing that? Maybe there's a ghost in your house. Do you have the... Do you have the thing set to where apps can take control of it? Um... You want to turn that off? Because sometimes applications will be like, Oh, your voice, we're just going to change your microphone now. Well, I am louder now, so that's good. But I don't like that. You those. did it. So, do you know where the option is for that? Oh, I it's found in it. <laughs> this. Okay, apply. So that means my microphone won't fucking change again. Yay! Right, rags. That's what that means, right? That means that you've taken good 
steps to ensuring that that will happen less. Very well. Um, today's animal of the day is the Magna Pina squid. Magna Penis squid? I think it was Magna Pina, but... Oh, Magna Pina. Okay. Little Pinor. Little Pinai squid. Any of you able to look that up? Because I can't. It'll fuck up the game. Magna Pina squid. Yeah, let me do it. Uh, Mag... The... Magna Pina squid. Oh, these fucking things. Um, yeah, let me get you a picture. Let me get you many, in fact. Oh, I think... I could have sworn someone told us to look that one up before. I remember that one. I do remember that one as well. Um... Oh yeah, because we got through the first set of Arcane Super Chats, so that's why we're on the second set. That makes sense now. For a second there, I Ooh. thought I'd got them backwards, but... Uh, Super Chats! I know. The ride. Surrounded by them, grew up I did. Hello, Rax. Hello. For some reason, that is the most endearing, or enduring, uh, meme from Boba Fett. That one line. See, it will have some lasting legacy. Yeah. People are like, oh, no one will remember it. It's like, we will. We will, in our hearts. Um, salutations, Lord Longbong of Mubrinton Abbey, and hello, good boy Wagsies. Oh, hello. My own doggo, Sunny, just had her 11th birthday this past Tuesday. Can I get a happy nice. birthday and some scritches for a very good girl? Absolutely. Happy birthday, Sunny. Yes. Good one, Sunny. Keep it up. Mm -hmm. yeah. You did it. You, you, you nailed that birthday. Good, you good shit. You are a wiener. Nice. <laughs> some Snyderoid will say Jinx is voiced by that annoying daughter actress from Army of the Dead. Snyder is the blueprint. One day, and I'm worried. Snyder <laughs> is the blueprint. They, Ugh. yeah, they say that, that a lot. It's phrase strange. makes me. Wait, what? Ugh. You know the whole Snyder Mega is the cringe. blueprint memes. I don't. No, I don't. So they, well, they, they just take a shot from something Snyder did, and then something some other film did, and then they'll basically claim that that person copied him. Oh, I remember that when, like, for Eternals, there was a shot of just Icarus shooting the lasers, and they're like, ah, see, it's like Man of Steel, because he's shooting lasers out of his eyes. <laughs> yep, which yeah, Snyder was that. the first one to do, so, yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, man, Superman well, didn't nice have that power, reach. yeah. Um, Snyder is the blueprint. Everyone's desperate for him to get more work, and it's just like, we just sit here on our little island, like, that's terrifying as a concept, but okay. <laughs> Well, I mean, I guess, I don't know, I guess we'll see with that next film how many people are, like, genuinely interested in, um, like, a standalone thing that is not a DC thing. I guess Army of the Dead as well. Which was but, awful, uh, and I don't think anybody really defended. There was some people out there who were like, it was really good. It's like, hey, you didn't think that. Come on. Nobody thought that. I don't know wrong. how anybody would really feel like that film is awesome. <laughs> I'm not sure what you'd be latching onto. I don't know either. We didn't watch the prequel to Army of the Dead. Why would you ask that? No, yeah, fuck the. I, that's one of those things where it's like, okay, I is can it handle out? like two hours. Yeah, it's but not, not forever. Yeah, came out last oh. year. Oh no. And nobody cared about it. No, nobody talked yeah, I, about it. Yeah, I guess that's why I was just asking. Yeah, I did. Can't believe that movie got gets to have a prequel. Like I was that's considering well, remember, covering it on Metal's Forge when I was like, you know what? Nah. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm right. good. you know, it got a prequel and a spin-off like anime series before the first film even came out. It's almost like it they, was a prepared uh, franchise, but nobody like, likes it, so Well, it's that it feels like um putting the cart before the horse, you know? Figure out if people are interested and then see if you can franchise it after that. Yeah, like Lord of the Rings. Meh, well, 
Oh, yeah, right, because I got five seasons already, <laughs> like, uh, ready to go for that. But then again, I mean, they did all three films for, uh, for, uh, first trilogy back to back. Wasn't that a neat thing that they did? That yeah, was they really filmed neat. them all they in a row, for, like, yeah. 14 months. 14 months mm -hmm. of, like, just, pr of, of, uh, principal photography. Five seasons of a show, you're like, damn. Well, I, yeah, I mean, if you're spending, like, $400 million on that first season, I guess you would want to try and make sure that you're gonna at least get a few more seasons guaranteed. What the? They pushed me off the map. You are. Oh. Hi. <laughs> what the hell? Can you still move around? Because <laughs> fall damage is a thing, right? That's, that's just it. You're gone. <laughs> Can you... That's just floor or <laughs> you have, broke the game. I have played this game <laughs> for a very long time. This has never happened before. <laughs> um, did you jump? I can't do it. Eh? From what I can tell, oh, oh, I think I'm gonna die. This level does eventually you, kill you. Can you parry? I can only hope. What is this? I'm not invisible or anything, like, I'm stuck underneath the Oh, I got- I got some kills for that- oh, the- the avalanche is catching up with me. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> it didn't kill me! <laughs> <laughs> I guess we'll just be here. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Aragorn, the fourth age. He's still underneath the cave. <laughs> <laughs> This is the fate of Aragorn. <laughs> um, He's out there somewhere. Where's Gimli and Legolas? Are they gonna... They ran off, it's fine. Oh, oh okay. Alright, that's not helpful. Um, yeah, I just don't remember this scene in the film, you know? Nah, it doesn't ring a bell. Uh, I felt your pain when Nina started hating on Vi. Hey look, everyone's allowed an opinion. But some are wrong. That's just how it works. We all know this. Um, also, Kong Fap, Long Kong. I see a lot of people just it seems like they didn't even notice the mini Long Kong we did for, in Boba, you know? Yeah. That's right. How do, what am I supposed to do about this? I can't kill myself, and that means uh, I just lose the progress for the whole mission. That's great. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's what's happening then, I guess. <sighs> I'm actually sad I didn't die. How was that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yay, Charles Dance for Bender. I, I don't I don't know if that's a good fit, you know? Just uh <laughs> I feel it was like a funny meme for an episode. Not a permanent choice. Maybe Bender's father? Could be pretty funny. <laughs> That could be funny, yeah. He's the opposite of Bender. Um, you know what? I'll just I'll just carry on. We'll just play a different level. You know, it's fine. We we did that one, guys, okay? Yep. Woo! Um, hi Rags, opinion on the new Minecraft updates. I mean I like them so far. I, I guess it depends which one you're referring to more specifically. My my issue isn't that what they add is bad. My issue is why aren't you adding more? There's so much stuff that you could do, and I just feel like you aren't doing a lot of that stuff. If they're talking about a lot of the the, the deep mine things, then I'm I'm curious to see how they play out. I forget what they're called, um, but yeah, it looks like they're add adding genuine like horror elements to Minecraft, and I'm like, okay, let's see how this works out. Neato. In like a serious manner. Or? Kind of like there's um I I forget what it's called but it's it's called the they're adding these dark castle dungeon sort of areas and they have spooky super tough monsters that like try to find you and you have to stealth around and avoid them and just the way they sound and everything is is kind of like legit sort of creepy so it. It seems to. It doesn't seem like it matches with everything else in Minecraft, where it sort of stands out. 
as being its own special thing, hmm. which I think is interesting. Uh, so I don't know. I guess we'll see how that how it works out. You still jump into Minecraft here and there, then? Absolutely, I do still play it. Yeah, I played it today before uh, before we got on. I played a bit. Sweet. I absolutely do. Tell Metal to have a happy fortieth fourth there fortieth birthday. Um, happy fortieth <laughs> birthday, Metal. Oh, thank you. And I don't even know which birthday it is anymore. Mm-hmm. And tell Jay to have a super sweet 16 B day. I will. Uh, James Earl Jones should play Mark Hamill next. Yeah, why not, I guess. And I think there would be a lot of, uh, you know, thematic sort of um, value there. A lot yeah. to draw. Um, I had a weird dream about Mola growing a tongue and trying to attack Metal and Rags. Shit was horrifying. Growing a tongue. I mean, I have a, a dream. tongue. <laughs> but, um, I guess it becomes a real long tongue. Maybe another tongue. Maybe it's just on your, on your cheek or something. Or maybe instead or, of a nipple, there's a tongue. Um, or a tongue on okay. your tongue. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I'm not against any of these ideas in terms of, you know, just, just trying out some stuff. It's a bit strange still, I'd say. Oh, perfect troll kill. You guys fucking impressed? Oh, that is I mean, yes. Yeah. I thought, hopefully I don't fall through the map. <laughs> <clears throat> um, I don't... Oh, wait, yeah. Uh, hello, it's so refreshing to see EFAP coverage of good stuff. After so much boba, I was starting to believe you're all masochists. Happy birthday, Rags. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah. Arcane and Boba, back to back. Very strange. But there we are. Can't control these things. Are we taking bets if we get past episode 6 today? Uh, we didn't, so... <laughs> <clears throat> oh. I'm spamming block here, but it's not letting me do it. Um, I see you had a creepy animal... So how about a funny one? Saiga Antelope. This guy should totally be a mascot for a video game. Uh, let's see. Oh, let's see. <laughs> That's yeah. an odd one. Yeah, the one with the me... crazy nose. Yeah, this is the one with the weird nose. <laughs> <clears throat> oh no, it's critically endangered. Oh. Well, I oh, hope no. it makes it through. Yeah. <laughs> Man, can one of you drop a health, please? There's one. Man, the game's slowing down hardcore. I don't know if it's because of the enemy amounts or something, but... Beard. <laughs> um... <laughs> Also, Jay, why do you think all reaction content creators are the worst people to ever exist on the planet in the history of all time? Also, hello, Rags, and happy birthday. Hello, thank you. Well, Jay isn't here to answer this, so I guess we will have to. Uh, they are the worst people of all time, because they don't know any better, unfortunately. Mm. That's why when they are exposed to better ideas, they're almost hostile, because it's like, fuck, we've been doing it wrong this whole time? Like, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. I don't know why you didn't know that you weren't compelled to do the right thing on your own, which sucks to realize, huh? Yeah. It's a bit but, tough. hey, on the other side of that is some real growth, you know? Yeah. Here's your chance. Fucking grow. Yep. <laughs> um, grow! Grow, you fuck! Log Longbong of Milkington Abbey. Have you given any thought to watching Maxor's Bloodborne video? It's hilarious, funny, and amusing. Only 17 minutes long. Watch it. You will thank me. Hi, Fringy. Hey. Um, I think it's been mentioned before. Yeah, I mean, you know, maybe one day. I'm not sure. We'll get around to it. Could happen. Mm hmm. That joke about Charles Dance playing the voice of Bender just makes me curious as to what a drunk Charles Dance sounds like. I think it'd be pretty fun. 
Yeah. Gosh, that's another one, isn't it? It's like, will we watch the new Futurama episodes when they come out? It's like, hmm. Uh. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Put that on the maybe pile. Especially if there's no Bender. Or, I guess there'll be replacement Bender. Oh, man. <laughs> Not dropping health. Uh, Theo, did you know that England is your city? You know, I don't think he's gonna disagree with that one, actually. What? I'm Mr. Frog. This is my chat. I tug the woods. Hi, Aoife. <laughs> Type the word. Hello. This was my chat. The end. I love you. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, Mr. Frog. Uh, it's so so perfect, slamming the desk to and everything. Yeah. <laughs> you recently discussed that, didn't you, Matul? Yes, I did. Uh, on Saturday. Don't laugh. Uh, Sunday. Sunday. I was <laughs> forgot which day I did it. Did you uh, um, Sunday, conclude yeah. it was a Smiley. shitty show? Is that what you concluded? Very bad. Damn. Very, very bad. See, they say it's an echo chamber, but like I thought it was an absolutely abysmal show, which is different from yeah. what you said. <laughs> I think Freddy liked it, so yeah. yeah. I do mm. like it. I mean, I'd like you know many more seasons, but it's still terrible. Many more seasons of metal. I'd like to see, you know, where they're gonna go with the Renaissance man. Like, that's uh, yeah. quite invested in that. I hope they make a cameo appearance in Season 2. Yeah. Um, Hello. <laughs> thanks for your content. I need to finish Arcane. I'll be Bork. Also, will you guys watch the Clone Wars micro-series by Gendy Tartakovsky? Top tier. Um, if ever I were to watch Clone Wars content, I think that would be the one. But I don't really have an intention of, of looking at that just around just yet. What about you guys? I don't. Really... I remember seeing it a while ago, and it was fun to watch. But I'm, I mean, if if y'all watch it, I'll watch it. So. We'll see. Uh. Also, happy birthday, Rex. Oh, hello. Thank you. Wings quote of the day from yesterday. Um, so from yesterday is this house ain't gonna get a fourth mortgage without my consent. Okay, and today's one was, <laughs> I'm one of the nicest people I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm one of the nicest people I know. <laughs> <laughs> Wings is just a friendly guy, just trying to make things work, you know. <laughs> Uh, Tatooine is Boba City, apparently. Happy birthday, Rag. Oh, thank you. So nice. Alright, just give me perfect mode then if you're gonna keep attacking me, you mean mans. I just had my birthday yesterday. Happy birthday, Rags. Oh, happy birthday for me. Thank you. First super chat. I've been watching since before the first official EFAP episode. Oh my. An oldie but a goodie. Uh, I rags. Hello, Mola. Hello. And the rest. Hello. Hi. Hi. Ah, jeez. Like, what is with the whole attacking me thing? I am the king, soon, and they have no respect. I'm the king soon. Yes. <laughs> they want to be. They want to be getting on my good side. Or I'll I'll do mean things. Uh, thank you for your work. No problemo. Happy birthday, Rags. Enjoy scritches and the best doggo treats. Oh, thank you very much. Also, hi, Fringu. Hey. Kick J. Yeah, that's fine. Um, you considered Soviet Womble for EFAP gaming. Could be fun. I mean, yeah, if he's on board, we can, we can find some of the Maybe we can play uh, Fireteam Elite. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, God. I never want to play that game again. 
Yeah, that's one of those ones where you're like, I would rather just, just. Can we just I'd watch just paint down, dry? You know? <laughs> yeah, I'd rather just sit. Just talk Can about. Do anything else? The weather. Um. Mm -hmm. Where are we here? Uh, lick stands diddly p. Okay. No. No. <laughs> Is your answer? <laughs> no. Um. Me. I watched the Q and A with the voice artists. They're so lovely. I think they're referring to the uh, the, the arcane ones. And yeah, I've been meaning to watch that video. It's been recommended to me a couple of times. So um, I'm sure they are. Went to Trungo's this past week after work. A little oh, expensive, yo. but absolutely delicious. And they serve tall beers on tap. Eight out of ten. Also high ranks. Ah, oh, hello. Oh, hey, how about that? A Trungo's Bean recommendation. Bean. Did you get the chickpea grumbo? The chickpea grumbo is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> chickpea grumbo. It just feels like a rite of passage, you know. Hello, Moobler and the rest of the Fellowship of the Fap. Use this money to buy dog treats, three beers, and an ELO record for the birthday pup. Oh, mm, that's nice. Very well. Also, happy birthday, Rags. Also, happy birthday, Metal. Also, hi, Rago. Thanks. Hello to you. Gosh, such kind messages. Happy birthday, Rags. Also, have you seen The Last Duel? If so, what were your thoughts? I have not seen it, no. But we have seen the other one that came out at a similar time that was also uh, considered very, very great. What, what was it called? A Green Knight, that's it. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. yeah, we did that say that. That wasn't good. I didn't oh. like it at all. Yeah, then we uh, watched the Caliber. Yeah, we watched them in this, not really, but in a sense, back to back. Yeah. They're interesting. What a collection of movies. What a, what a, what a set of films. What cinema has to offer, that's what we found out about. Yeah. Um, should we do like a, a mini blurb on, on what we thought of the, the Green Knight? The Green Knight is one of those... It, it's a very artsy, super metaphorical film. It's it's like, what did you say? It was twenty minutes of content stretched into twenty in, in a two hour. It felt like twenty hours in two hours, where they're just <laughs> most of the film was just nothing happening, and you didn't know what to pull from nicely it. And you didn't know shot, what the nicely was. acted, but very the fact slow, that slow, it's, very yes, contemplative. Incredibly it's slow. Cool. And yeah, really, it was it. only the last 15 minutes that I could say I was super interested. Like, that's the only part that I was really uh, gripped by. Otherwise, yeah, it was, uh, yeah, yeah. And it's there's a like part, uh... part near the middle to end where he goes to a particular house. Got real weird. Got, got, yeah. got real weird. But uh, It's hard to latch onto anything there. Um, Excalibur is kind of like the opposite problem. It's it's so much it's trying to do too much. <laughs> they and need so to have, they need to blend together. You have like characters flipping on a dime, like fundamentally making the opposite decision of what they were making like a minute before, based on very little information. Like they're not really people. It feels like I'm watching. It, it feels like I'm watching a synopsis acted out. And it's got a certain charm, but like, yeah, that's also a film I didn't really like uh, a whole bunch. Um, but there are aspects I can appreciate. There were some nice shots. It had a certain charm. Yeah, um, it doesn't surprise me that Green Knight has been considered like, this is art film. And it's Definitely bad art that film. art film is no longer as popular as Marvel, but it's just like, I don't see why you're surprised this is happening. I don't know that art films has ever been as popular as just regular sort of mainstream action movies. Oh, that's the thing. It's like, we may not get more of these, and I'm just like, oh, I, well, you could still... Uh, well, I mean, I think we'll like... still get them. They, they, still, they still tend to make money. They just don't make nearly as much money. Oh, fuck. Don't I guess me. I would say that more of my concern is that what we're starting, we're gonna get very little of, is conventional but wholly original screenplays. Um, feels like that's it's one of the things that like Jordan Peele, like at the very least, he's making original films with original. Yeah, screenplays. they may be terrible, but that's that's fine compared to. Well, I just <laughs> I just like that he's at least doing that, you know. Whereas now, 
I talk about it briefly on Cosmoronic, but video game adaptations just slot into the same category as like uh, just generally adaptations, remakes, sequels, franchising. Yeah, feels like uh, it's all eating up um, original because original is risky. The Last Jewel was original, kind of. I mean, it's based on something that yeah, it's historical, but you know, it's original. Look how well that did. <laughs> Like, that was a film Ridley Scott was complaining that nobody was watching. It's like, well, nobody did watch it, yeah. Yeah, I need to see that. Just to know, maybe I'll be like, oh, that's why nobody's watching it. Yeah. Stop saying art films, that's a redundant term. So when we're saying all films okay. are art, so yeah. So there's when such a thing as colloquial terms. Like, doesn't mean exactly. that they're 100% accurate. It means it translates an idea to you from us. You should be able to understand what we're saying when we say art film. I'm sorry if you can't. But it's... Red Notice was original? Oh, right, yeah, true, but... but... <laughs> uh, oh, so bad. I guess it's more... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I, it just seems like it's becoming uh, less and less common. Uh, at, at least in terms of, hey, like a Die Hard-esque thing, where it's an original just... Oh, wait, no, Die Hard was adapted, sorry. That's... <laughs> Die Hard is based on a book. Me bad. Like, the problem is, a lot of films are shit. Mm, that is the problem. Of course, like, I, uh, whether, whether it's an adaptation or not, good is... That's... <laughs> that's, that's nice. Um, fictional science-based alien of the day, Daggerist. You guys, does anyone want to go look at a Daggerist? Dagger? Can you spell that? As it said, Daggerist. As in, body your arm. Oh, Daggerist. Oh, it's, uh... Uh, alright, let me get you a picture. That doesn't look very practical. Well, maybe they don't think you're practical. <clears throat> yeah, but doesn't count. Oh, what's what's going on there exactly? Dagger for wrists. Okay, looks like an interesting creature. Um, hi, Fringy. Do your best bird person impression, please. Oh, that could be fun. Uh, I am bird person. I, I, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm friends with Rick. I, um, uh, I, uh, I hail from the planet Bird. He comes from the planet Bird, right? I don't know. I can't remember. I think so. <laughs> is that, is that, you happy with that or is, do I need to keep going? Do you remember that fucking backstory dump they gave for Bird person and Rick? Yeah, yeah. And they like... did the synth life. Not long kinda, before yeah. saying, there, there's my backstory, everyone can shut up now. It's like, ugh. Yeah, season five, I like those first couple episodes. Where did I, it I all really go did. wrong? I really do like those first two a lot. Um, every, every you complains about decoys, I don't. I like the decoys episode a whole lot bunch. Decoys is great. I've seen a lot of people yeah. um, use it as an example of like, ugh, that's some of the bad, but I've not seen the reasoning, and the best we got, I think, out of chat when we were talking about it was like, there's no stakes, but that was just never the point of the episode, so I don't know why that no. would be a problem. And there's, the problem is, I think Rick and Morty's stakes have been kind of fucked for a long time. Yeah, because that's kind of the whole point of the, the show is that stakes, what does that mean? When we're talking about just like, infinity, in terms of time and places... Also, Rick is, like, it is just true, his inconsistent power levels make it so that uh, <laughs> things run clear. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I loved how they developed the decoys idea as the episode went on. It was just, uh... Yeah, mm -hmm. I think my favorite part was when they killed the squids, took the thing off, and it's another <laughs> Rick, and it's like, ha! Huh. <laughs> and just ah. his face, his face, it's perfect, he's figured out... It's it's the same thought we had. It's like, oh. Uh, 
Um, hi guys, going through a bad break and they blocked me. We were good friend before the relationship and it hit me pretty hard. Your streams helped me a lot. I wanted to say thanks wow. for all the content. Hi Rags, also COD oh. Ghost EFAP Gaming when? God, Ghost, see, Fab <laughs> Gaming? Is that a co-op thing? I don't... I don't know that it is. Uh... Man, Call of Duty Ghost, for a while there, that was the worst Call of Duty game, but then they kept making them. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's, 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 it was the... When it came out, it was the worst Call of Duty so far. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's... Yeah, yeah Homer told us about that. Also, that game was really bad on PC. It was like... A, that was a... God awful port. That oh, that one was real bad. Yeah. Well, what a shame. You're so fucking cool about this game. It's not the AI, as you can see on screen right now. The fact that they got all the original voice actors are in this. Oh yeah, that's because their contracts like made them have to do this. <laughs> I'm sure <laughs> some of them had game. fun. You should check out the interviews. They seem to be all chill about it. And their performances are all on point as well. Right. Uh, yeah, if it was me, I'd be like, yeah, you bet I'll do the voice for your game. Hell yeah. Well, but back then, I think a lot of people were well, just like... Well, I think you can uh, tell I... the, uh, the Hobbit actors are all like actually playing it and having fun because they probably fucking played loads of games. And they're just like, yeah. yeah. Meanwhile, um, you know, Chris Foley and Ian McCown are like, eh, video games is a thing. Is that the new thing? Oh, that the way. kids are playing? Are the, the little Hobbit people, do they play the video games? Yes. I, uh, Very well, I I'll thought... amuse them. It's better than that Shire weed. <laughs> I, I, just, I just pulled up Metacritic. Elden Ring has a 97%. Yeah. Uh, oh, Elden Ring is that... 100 staggeringly good or a bit of a worry or 97 well so is, like, metacritic is aggregate scores from 1 to 10 not like rotten tomatoes 97 means that on average the review score for this game is 9.7 out of 10 so that's pretty good uh that's rare that a game gets that a is, score that yeah, high i'm staggeringly sure the last rare. game that did got that guys, was like super mario galaxy you know if me and mel play it and say it's one of the best things ever you guys gonna be like all right gotta play this thing um no. i mean i'm yeah like <laughs> I, I was I, I mean i was already really interested in playing it but no. yeah, like, maybe i guess i guess potentially it, those aren't really my it's not really my kind of game but depending on what you say and the the, the how it works and stuff like that i i might i, I might i don't know I mean, I was thinking about it. I think I just want to wait and see how it's on PC, and then, then uh, yeah, maybe. Well, lucky for you, I'm gonna be streaming it you're all weekend. It. Yeah. <laughs> wow, you're not gonna be on EFAP on Saturday? You'll be streaming your little Elden nerds. Yes, that's exactly what's happening. Oh, that's fine. We'll replace you with someone less There's German. Like Seventeen people in the group already. I, think I don't know fine. what you're talking about. Ridiculous. Um, <laughs> Also, uh, I would like to draw all of you's attention to this move I'm doing it's with Legolas. Best. Yeah. <laughs> Look at his hand. <laughs> the hands are really... Yeah, the hands are really... <laughs> Over here! Hey, guys, what's it? <laughs> One way clear, all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm helping... I'm landing. The trees need to this know where to we... go. This is how we party in Lothlorien. <laughs> what is he even doing? I don't know. It's, it's really what? weird because, what? like... Legolas doesn't do magic, does he, in the movies? I don't remember. It looks magical. He got the boogie. He's telling, <laughs> the, he's telling where the eagles need to land. Over here. <laughs> land here. Um. Also, yeah, sorry about <laughs> you, you had a breakup. I hope you're doing better. And uh, we are mm -hmm. we, we are indeed happy to, to entertain. Yes. Legolas yes. is too. Indeed. Um... Prehistoric animal of the day, the helicoprion. Hel helicoprion? Helicoprion. Let's see. Is that like a helicopter? Must be. Um, oh, uh, let me... This is interesting. Oh, it's a weird fish. Ha 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 ha. It's got like a little blade on its mouth. Neat. Yeah, their their bottom the bottom part of their mouth is this um Yeah. Just th this very strange 
That is I'm odd. Lips. Who's that way? The orc really doesn't want to die. Fucking pot is strange, because like... It's like, you gotta kill 75. And it's like, that's a lot. And it's like, well, many of them are dying in the background to the, the ends. And you're like, oh. I just gotta, I could just wait, I, I can guess. help. Yeah. Can you just wait? I think so. Given enough time. Yeah, because it's all, all, I think it's all automatic. They're just running around killing everything, and then the orcs are supposed to just run into them, so. This is top-notch AI, is what I this is. Got my sword, got my sword, got my sword, got my sword, got my sword. Oh, he hit you. Yeah, um, my health is very low. Scarily low, you might even say. Do you have potions? Or food? I don't. Neither Potion of- Potion seller! Uh oh. Look at this little guy. He's fucking almost killed Legolas. But he's proud of himself. Ah, I no, 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 don't step on me. Um, B-Day BJ's for the doggo. Also, hi, raggly daggly do. Hello! Oh, B-Day BJ's? Yeah. That's nice, I like those. Hi, Fringy. Do your best bid-person impression, please. Again? Damn. Um, I need more lines. Uh, I am bird-person. I... I... I'm, I'm... I'm... Hold on, let me let me look up bird-person lines. Can you not make some up based on what you understand about his character? Oh, there we go. The beacon was activated. Who was in danger? All right, there you go. I am pleased there is no emergency. Rags, you jealous that I have double mithril arrows? Double mithril arrows? Damn. What do you mean Sorry. double mithril? Double made out of mithril double... fire arrows. That's the that's the meme. Oh my god! When will this madness end? The best thing about them is that sometimes they'll just fling around in the background of the map because they're just not done yet. So they just keep going around. They're not done yet? <laughs> They're still going. They're still able to kill stuff. Jeez. Yeah. Oh no. Drop elf, you selfish bastards. Bastard. Perfect mode and everything's dead. Great. You know, this game's kind of weird That's where... Perfect mode. Health will drop based on how low yours is, so if you, let's say, are on low health, kill something, it drops a health, you pick it up, you're on mid-health. Like, what you should do is try and kill everything on low, so it, several things so drop. It, so it's, yeah, they're like, there for you if you need them. Yeah, and then you can go back to full, okay. so. Ugh, right. mechanics manipulation, you know. Uh, EFAP Vox Machina. It's almost as highly rated as Arcane, but it's the opposite in every way. Also, hi, Aryan Doggo. Oh, see, Kyle. Um, mm. but like, it's the opposite in every way. I'm assuming that's they're not good. It's but it's bad. Because yeah. the opposite of Arcane is something that's very bad. I would assume so. Is this the episode where we talk about how Caitlyn survives explosion that unalives people around her twice? Hi, Rags. Hello. Twice? Uh, yes. Oh, yeah, Twice. yeah, because she does it in episode 4 and then she does it again in episode 7. That's not the same episode. Unless I'm missing something. Yeah, we were saying, like, plot armor is probably the biggest individual issue of, of Arcane, but there's, you know, it's not, there's not too much of it. And nice that there is, I don't know if you call it anti plot armor, or very much a lack of plot armor for, for a lot of instances, which is good. A lot of shows like to do the thing, or a lot of movies where it's like my my main character, he ain't getting hurt, no sir. He's fine. He'll be fine. Um, animal of the day, barrel-eyed fish, kick J. Oh, let's see. Barrel-eyed fish. Let's take a look. That's. Fucking weird. Uh, it's got a like a transparent head. Oh, interesting. Here, let me. Here, let me. Uh, Ugh. 
That is very strange. Shit's weird, yo. I think that's perfectly fine. It looks kind of like a cool video game strange. anime. It does, yeah. And it, it's like, and it has like psychic powers. Oh, definitely, yeah. Something like that, yeah. Like it's, a, it's like a magical psychic kind of critter. Um, isn't it funny how Marcus is literally a better written character than anyone in Star Wars right now, and he's like on screen for fifteen minutes or less? He's just not against stiff competition, you know. Mm. No, he is not. Who is the best written character in the sequel trilogy? Ooh. Uh, not counting Babu Frick? Um, I was about to say Babu Frick, but I guess he doesn't uh, count, obviously. Who is the least worst written character in the <laughs> sequel trilogy? I have to legitimately think. Is it Snoke? Because he's just evil, and then he dies. And then gets chopped <laughs> off, yeah. <laughs> But then Maybe. he but he says that you have to. Is there is there any issues with him wanting Kylo to kill Ray, to Ray. complete his training? Because that means something, I guess. But he wants. I don't. I don't know. Well, so I guess um, the only criticism people would typically have is like, how didn't he see it coming? It's like because he was shit. Apparently, that's all we got. Are oh, people saying C three PO? Maybe, yeah. I don't know. Maybe. Oh, yeah, C-3PO might legit actually be the... Yeah. Unironically, yes. I think it might be C-3PO. Good job, C-3PO. You did it. Yeah. Um, I was hoping to have character development for Milo with him being remorseful with how he treated Powder. It's a tragedy that he never got the chance. I think that's part of the point, though, right? Like, what he would have told Powder is that... He's not like super serious and that it's chill and that she should calm down sort of thing, but that never happened. So she would always see him as ex explicitly um, antagonistic. This is a tangent. I've seen a tweet. Just oh. so it's out there, don't give anyone shit for not finishing Elden Ring for review. It's immense. It should have been sent a month ago. I played and wrote until I physically couldn't stay upright every day and I couldn't make it. So my first thought well, to that is, don't release your review then on like the day that you well, can I just embargo lifts. So I'm going to review Breaking Bad. Don't expect me to finish all of the seasons. But I will talk about they, the quality of all of the seasons. What I've enough. seen so far, they maybe. Send it out early enough. Well, this um, is the thing. I don't mind you reviewing the earlier half of a game or something. Just be explicit about that. Be like, this is well, what I'm no, covering. You don't get, you're not going to get as much viewership, though, if you do that. Therein lies yeah, like, uh, the problem. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know what I meant to do with that. You didn't have to release it on the day that the embargo lifted. You could have just said, I'm not finished yet. And this is what I mean. Like, my it, and it's done. Either be like, I'm reviewing this portion of the game, or I got I need more time. Game's long. Yeah, and, and, and you know, someone to that would say, well, no, I have to. It's like, right, so say that then. I didn't finish the review because they made me release it on this day. Like, whatever company you're writing for. Well, I guess you might get in trouble, but... But, I mean, you know, like, it feels like we're missing the important part of the conversation, which is, you didn't have to release it now. You didn't have to. You just chose to. Yeah, that's frustrating to me. Well, I... I would just distinctly remember Metal Gear Solid 5, the reviewers only had 40 hours to beat it because the only terms by which they could play that game for review before it came out was to go to some boot camp that was set up by Konami where you could only play for 8 hours a day under some level of supervision. And yeah, people started using the chicken hat thing that made you Im Im uh, immune to harm. Because I remember, I didn't beat that game and I played it for like 50 hours. Um... And I just remember being really frustrated because how are the reviews not compromised? Um, I mean, you could say like, yeah, if you, because with Elden Ring, I imagine to make like a fully comprehensive uh, review of that, you would definitely need to play it more than once. That game has oh, classes, yeah. right? Different builds. Classes, and, and new game, like new game plus. Yeah. yeah so, yeah. Ex uh, I mean, but that that would be for like a fully comprehensive, thorough. Maybe at this point we should there should just be different categories. These reviews that come out on the day that it's coming out, it's not really like a comprehensive review. It's more just some general thoughts on the game that will help you make a decision whether you want to buy it. 
Well, the reviews oh. I've I've seen today mostly said like, oh, the review after X amount of hours of playing. It's like, oh, okay, I see. Which makes me wonder then. It sounds like a lot of people haven't beaten the game uh, for their review because they didn't have enough time. Yeah, but there's people out there who have already have 100 hours in it. So, yeah. Well, so I guess... I, I wouldn't fault somebody for like playing the game for eight hours a day and then and then playing it for eight hours the next day and that's like, well, mm -hmm. I couldn't beat it if I was conforming to regular work hours. That's totally fine. But I don't get turning around and saying, therefore, I'm going to write the review unfinished, uh, having not b beaten the game. Well, they yeah, don't have the time for you. They got to review other things. Well, I, yeah, I guess it just feels like the subtext, we're not, we're, the subtext is missing. The subtext <laughs> being, but I wanted to get the review out in time for the embargo so that it would get traction. You're doing the little twirly thing again? Oh, well, so, funnily <laughs> enough, I was actually interested. So the, the, the idea here is I'm supposed to kill the archers so that they stop setting this tree on fire. Well, it's end, rather. Um, and then he pulls on the thing and destroys it. But I can also target the thing if I want to. My arrows are so good, I can fire it at concrete and it'll destroy it. Damn. Oh boy. Playing Elden Ring for too long would get rather old. Well, that's your job though, right? If you're making a review. Maybe, maybe you start to notice things going awry if you've played for a lot longer. Let me tell you, there's a lot of things about Crash 4 that I wouldn't have picked up if I didn't try to go- Like, if I didn't go for getting all of the gems and trying to do as many of the time trials as I could. Like, if I didn't do that, then it'd be heaps of observations that are just gone, that never would have arisen. Well, yeah, we, I think we talked about this and it came up with your crash review, right? But, like, um, when you start getting to the hardest stuff in a game, or, like, the things that challenge the most, you can start to really understand the flaws in the mechanics. Absolutely. Yep. Um, because yeah, when you have to actually usually, put them to the challenge, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, usually games are designed for the general playthrough that someone's going to have. But, you know, when it's like, oh, go for the hardest time trials ever, and then you start getting cramps because of how difficult it is, because the only thing that you can do to beat them is circle square, circle square, like, just over and over and over again, or so, yeah, like, to just spin dash, uh, constantly, over, or spin slide, I think it was. You just gotta do that over and over and over again to try and win. Um, or, or just the fact that when you're trying to get all those hidden gems, it's not such a big deal when you're just playing through the game. Stop falling off there. Um, when you're playing it normally, but then when you try to get a hundred percent and it just becomes hell because you're searching in every conceivable place that you could to try and find them. Um, yeah, it's, uh, I, I, I definitely don't regret playing that game. I think Crash 4 is, is pretty great, but that's just an example of you gotta, you, if you want to do a comprehensive, thorough analysis of a game you got to play it more than once at least uh and ideally you want to be trying to complete as much of the content in that game as possible um because if not then you, you're just gonna miss um you're just gonna miss things that you wouldn't have uh noticed it's the same with films as well when you rewatch them uh you know, watching a film a second time, you're going to be viewing it differently because you know what's going to happen. You're going to be noticing new things. Yeah. You see where threads are going rather than just having a general observation of it. I guess it's just film reviews don't have the same problem of, well, games can be so long that it would be really difficult to complete them on time for some of these embargoes. Um, whereas with films, you just got to watch it once and then go home, turn on your camera, record for like 40 minutes. Uh, and then throw it up on the internet. And then talk about how critiquing is, is not that valuable, really. Yeah, because, you know, it's half an hour out of everyone's day, really. Yeah. Is. Evening, EFAP. I'm gonna sit this one out to avoid spoilers. I'd like to ask this, though. Is there a game-slash-movie you dislike-slash-hate, but which you recognize is objectively well-made? Game slash movie that's objectively good, but you, you just hate. I'm sure there is. Um, there, I'm sure there's different. I mean, games um, that just Green Knight uh, came pretty close to. I don't hate it. I just don't think of much of it, but I do think it's pretty well yeah. made. Like it's what it is is well made. Yeah, I, 
I would be curious if you started to really get into, you know, the artsy sort of what does this mean and what is that referring to and stuff like this and how does this, why does this scene exist? You could come up with some issues maybe, but yeah, I don't know. It's, it's a hard one to review. Yeah, there's probably more that fit that bill. Um, that's Guardians 2 for me? Damn. Guardians 2 is real fun. Oh, Guardians 3 is fun. I hope everyone here hopes that too. Guardians oh, 3? Really of course like I do, Guardians yeah. It's one of the few that I have Guardians even games. like a, and a still have a level of interest in. Ah, uh, I'm interested in Thor. Oh yeah, I guess so. Yeah, that could I be interesting. I worry about it. I just, it's such a hard uh, story I to tell. I think that's fair. I think it's fair to be worried about that. If it was like, uh, you gotta do a lot of work with Jane and potentially very little time. Yeah. Uh, since we haven't seen her for like nine years, there's a lot of history there that you need to catch up on. You need to figure out what her goals are. Uh, and I guess further developing her relationship with Thor. Yeah, so you got a lot of work to do. Um... Why? Because I like Ragnarok. <laughs> I feel like it's that simple. Well, I mean, the Guardians are going to be in this film as well, apparently, so that's something. They are in the film, that's right, yeah. And I like them a lot. Yeah, they're pretty neat. Uh, is it derogatory to call a massive a bigger? Bigger? As long as you're friends, I think yeah, it's I think okay. it's fine if you're friends. Yeah, it depends on how you say it, but I, I think it's okay to say that. I was hoping to have character development for... Oh, wait, I read that one. Uh, okay, Susan is stopping me from giving the bonus quote, so I'll leave blanks and rely on Fringy to fill in the rest. Yeah, whatever, man. I hope your family dies in an automobile wreck. I know that one. <laughs> yeah, I know that one. Everybody knows that one. Hope your family dies in an automobile wreck. Yeah. <laughs> the fact that he says automobile wreck. <laughs> Auto automobile wreck. <laughs> Instead of just a car crash, it's an automobile rack. He's a... An automobile. Oh, good reference. That is a good reference. You should watch that again. It's a top tier movie. Oh, they only sent two this time? I think I'm, they're refusing to let me farm this level. Fine. They... Uh... We didn't finish Pacemaker, no. No. I just know people saying that. We only watched one and a half episodes. And if enough people told me, like, you really need to see it, it's really fucking good, I'd probably consider it, but I haven't heard much buzz about it. I haven't heard it. that. I haven't heard that. I've seen that sort of around the positive sentiment, but I mean, I guess in, in our circles, it's been yeah. a lot of lack of engagement and uh, just meh. Um, Elon Musk tweeted that he thought the Halo Infinite campaign was good. Okay. Good for him. Alright, Elon. Okay. <clears throat> uh, I've got a streaming take. Don't kill me, please. I really don't like... Wait, oh, a steaming take. Like, like, really hot. I really oh, don't boy. like oh, okay. how Heimerdinger barely gives examples of how magic can be devastating. The closest he gets to giving examples of the dangers of magic is when he talks about the Hex Core. He says, Call bad, dude, trust me. I think that every time magic comes up, Heimer should have exhausting amounts of arguments, and Jason Victor should argue back. I don't know that, um, what you'd be looking for outside of... He basically just keeps saying slippery slope. Um, because that's the best argument yeah. he's got. It's like, it'll get worse, it'll get more uncontrolled, and it's really powerful. I don't know, like, are you looking for him to say something like, oh no, there's a particular spell that you guys are on the verge of getting, which really is gonna fuck everything up? Or, um, a particular mode of thing? Like, it seems to me that he's afraid of a general result, and he believes that we're heading there, which isn't, like, like, that compelling, but it is to him because he lived it. Like, he should be doing more to explain to people what these things are before they halt all this technology. I don't know what else he can say. Um, like, maybe I came from this place, or, or maybe it's just an accepted part of history, like everyone's supposed to know it because of the founding of Piltover. Because, like, I get the impression he's not 
very capable of explaining what's wrong with it. He just knows where it can lead. Yeah. Because, like, every time we see his, his, um, his big fear, it's this massive event. But, like, it's a guy who's possibly using it for evil. Which isn't, again, like, it's like, oh, well, the, whoever's doing it in that flashback, for whatever reason, it causes lots of damage and just leads to destruction. Um, which is pretty much what he says. Like, I, I don't know what, what kind of dialogue would you be expecting is basically what I'm after. A clear reference to the Rune Wars would be welcome. Um... I mean, he just says the world can be destroyed by it. Is that not enough, or...? <laughs> I feel like that should be enough. All runs for... Oh, now I can fire two arrows at once. There you go. Dude, I've bought every upgrade for Legoland. I should be top tier now. Oh, shmumble. Sh um, Batman and Robin had the WB logo freeze. Yeah, it's because that movie's fucking amazing. So that, that was like, it was like ushering in a new era. Superhero movies, yeah. It was, in it was, a sense, it was the last one before, like, Blade. It's, um, I feel like that movie walked so the Blade could run. There, I said it. <laughs> <laughs> if you think that's not true, then I don't know what to tell you. Racism. Yeah. Just basic racism. Um, alright. So apparently I've got to get one of Aragorn, Legolas, and Gimli to 10, and then Sam and Gandalf to 10, to unlock the last level. So I don't even know which level I should go to for, like, almost farming, I guess, but... Let's take Sam to the ghosts. Why not? He's brave. Yeah. I think it was a mistake to have four of the playable characters be hobbits, because nobody likes playing the hobbits in games like this. Your power levels are so much lower than everyone else's. Well, what was interesting, we were talking about the, the Game Boy ones earlier, was that the hobbits, I think you could play as a Frodo, and in that one, one of the, it was a passive ability, and it allowed you to loot better items of higher quality, Ah. So even though you weren't as good of a fighter, because you're a hobbit, you could find way better items, and you would be that you'd have the best items in the game because you could find all the coolest items. So that's kind of how they balanced it out. So if you wanted to get the best items, you have to play as Frodo, so that you could uh, you could get them. Well, so here's the thing: like your special ability as the hobbits is go invisible. Um, it was like, oh, so that's a benefit, right? It's like, the thing is, that replaces your ability thing, which when you're Aragorn, Legolas, and Gimli, that gives you, um, a easier time generating perfect mode. Which is incredibly beneficial. So that's not a thing Yeah, why for the hide from everything now. when you can just kill everything? Exactly. Like, it's, it, if you're gonna choose one of those fucking abilities, it's like, the hobbits, if anything, are crippled now. Because it's like, yeah, you can go invisible, but... You know. Um... Bringy, did you know that England is your city? <laughs> I don't know why people keep saying that. I don't, I don't think that's it's probably because that's your city. That's probably why they keep saying it. Hmm. Does something that's true simply get repeated all the time? Is that how that works? Generally, yeah. I can't um, think of any examples contrary to that. Well, I mean... You want to have a lie that gets repeated often. <laughs> yeah, that's safe. What do you mean? Ever, <laughs> that's never happened that before ever in human history. No, I don't, I don't, yeah, that doesn't check out, yeah. Humans are very honest and truthful and not mobbish with any facts that they would prefer be real, whether or not they are. Mobbish. Moobish. Mobbish feels like an interesting description. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking humans, man. Last EFAT was my birthday and I had D&D. &D. Best birthday I've ever had. Arcane makes the hills sing, as Pacha would say. Echo is best boy. High wags. Hello! Man, Echo got like the lowest Idiot. votes for, or the highest votes for worst character, or at least best character. Yeah, it was tough. I think I voted, I was, for me, I think I was going to go with um, Echo or Caitlyn as mine. But it's one of those things where you just like, which is just like the least finished, least developed, least, like, it. they're all good. So, 
It's a tough one. I mean, I, I couldn't, like, I couldn't understand someone picking, like, Silco, you know? No. But I think some of them are more reasonable choices than others. Well, some people were picking Jericho, and I was just like, this is disgusting. Oh, that's ridiculous. Yeah, you, I wouldn't do that. That's that's ridiculous. Yeah, I was disappointed in all of chat. Insane. Even the people who didn't vote Very for him, I was disappointed in you as well. For a being vote, a no vote did. for Jericho is still something to vote for something. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Seven years of progress, and Zorn still looks the same. I don't think it look. It definitely doesn't look the same, but structurally it's the same. Like uh, all of the like the last drop is obviously the biggest moment from the show to say that uh, Silco's influence over the seven years have been. I was gonna say catastrophic. It's still functional. Significant. But yeah, yeah. But like it's just done significant damage to uh, lots of the people as well as just the operations of Zorn. A movie to creep you the fuck out? Black Coat's Daughter. I've seen that. Did I watch that with Is it any of you guys? Not with me. I've heard of it, but Wait, I don't, don't know anything rings? about it. Oh, I might have been Smiler that I watched it with. I watched it on recommendation for Red Letter Media, and unfortunately we saw the point of the film coming ages away, and then the film didn't offer us much else, and so we found it kind of boring. Oh, is it one of those? Okay, that's... No, we didn't. No, yeah, I think it was with Al. Oh, that's, that's lame. Wouldn't recommend, but... I, uh, well, they said they said it would really creep you out. So did it creep you out? Not really, no. Uh, there's creepy oh, stuff well. in it. Like you could like they're, they're trying. It just didn't work on me. I guess I don't know. Yeah. But it's been so long since I saw it now that I don't trust my view of it. <laughs> oh. That's how I feel about Peacemaker now, because like there's just so much content of Peacemaker that I haven't seen. I'm just like, you know what? You go nuts. Uh, I just I didn't like the first episode and a half, which really isn't much compared to the whole thing now. But if someone does watch it, like uh, like rags in your own free time, feel free to tell me about it. If I watch Peacekeeper in my spare time, yeah, and I finish it all without letting you know, I'll let you know what I think. All right. I want to speak to the manager of magic. Ah, oh, yes, Karen Heimerdinger. We came up with. <laughs> Got to go to work. Hi, rags, and happy birthday. Oh, thank you. I'm afraid you've been watching too many bad movies lately. I'll soon make a video oh. for you guys. Wait, what? <laughs> you make a video for us? A video like you'll about... make a good movie for us to watch, or? Yeah, I'm not sure what they say. Like a good, they're gonna make a movie about a video about movies or something. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I I don't know what that one means. Oh, good nuts. good luck, whatever it is. Good yeah, luck. Whatever it is you're up to. You, yeah. You go, you go right I ahead. hope it's. I hope it's great. I hope it's amazing, and it's everything you want it to be and more. I hope you, I hope you have a good time doing it. Oh, that's nice. Look how fucking good Sam is at throwing knives, by the way. Like, damn, I didn't, I don't still remember this. Was this and in Fellowship or was this in Two point. Towers? Because I just, I just don't remember him doing it. And they're all like green and glowy. Does that mean they do poison damage? Maybe it depends. He, well, here's the thing in games, right? Sometimes green is good, like health, mm -hmm. right? Your health bar is green, that's good. But sometimes your health bar is normally blue, so if it's green, that means you're like poisoned or something. Uh -huh. um, and sometimes green means like, yeah, you're. It means you're applying healing, and you get the green numbers popping out. But sometimes it means you're taking toxic damage or poison oh damage. So. Green is one of those colors in games where it could be good or it could be bad. It's it, it uh, there's no Dealer's consensus. Choice. Yeah, red is typically bad though. You dev you j you typically don't want red. Um, I mean a lot of health bars are red, right? Um, sort of. I I guess there's there's a higher likelihood that if there is like a red number that appears on you, it will be bad. Or if you're applying red numbers, that it's damage. Um, or it will be bleeding, um, or, or maybe even a critical, or a kill hit marker. Um, but I would say that as far as red goes, generally, you're, the, the most common health bar color is, yeah, I guess, I guess red. But it's often, it's the shape, too, like it's made up of hearts, or it's in a heart. Mm-hmm. Um, but... Because the, uh, the health potions in this game are actually red. 
Yeah, they were red in a lot of stuff. Yeah, I um. But, but well, green is green, the one. But, yeah. that you gotta, green's the one you got to watch out for because you never know what you're going to get with green. It could mm -hmm. be good, could be bad. It's uh, it's all over the place. Um, fun fact, when directing Eternals, Chloe Zhao took inspiration from Zack Snyder's Watchmen and Man of Steel. This started the Snyder as the blueprint thing. I don't think that's what started it. They've been doing that for, um, they did that about, like, uh, what was the, what was the early comparisons that I remember? I think, yeah, one of them was, uh, for Endgame, right? There was a lot of Endgame ones where, like, Ugh. yeah, characters walking around or something. They'd be like, look at how they walked around in, in Man of Steel, see? Snyder was the blueprint, unless Snyder was the blueprint specifically. Oh, it's, it's, it's always embarrassing. But, uh, the Snyderoids really take it seriously. They're like, this is proof. Snyder is the greatest. Lot. Sorry, though. But, well, it, he's the greatest. I don't... Okay. Right. I mean, we, we all agree. He's uh, the greatest at being terrible. <laughs> nice, oh, bruh. Whoa. You see, when that when the super chat started, I thought it would end with him saying, like, the, the director of Eternals took cues from Man of Steel and da da da, and that's why it's terrible. <laughs> you know, like that was that would be with it. It was like it was gonna be a joke comment. No, oh, that's the thing. It's this. It's not that as... one does seem to be the one that people in general really don't like. It seems to have uh Eternals? It... Yeah, like yeah, it yeah. actually seems like people broadly don't like that film. Um, it honestly that challenged expected. um a lot of my expectations in terms of it's a movie that should yes. be celebrated, right? It's got all it ticks all the boxes, um, but it's That's not. I about. thought it was gonna be. I thought it was. I thought it was uh, the one that they, were, they were gonna push. Like, ah, see now this, you know, like Shang Chi. That was that was pretty fun, but like this, you know, it this seems is like a, people, a like, film. Okay, it, it would seem like of the ones that aren't Spider Man, that Shang Chi is the one that the most people generally liked, uh, which I guess I can see because. Out of out of those three, it's probably the strongest. But, but you know, still strongest, <laughs> strongest in in this case still means like, oh. Well, yeah, Phase Four's been rocky, to say the least. Ah, uh, rocky. <laughs> um, another Arcane Fab must be my birthday. Praise mm. be to speed, or well, two times speed. Uh, I can finish the entire EFAP before dinner when it's posted. Also, happy birthday, Rags. Oh, thank you. I've, I need to go get, grab something real quick. I'll be right back. Okay. These crystal thingies look useful. I wonder if... I, I don't know, is that... That's that's it for the Super Chat right there, so I don't know if that's... Is that a reference or something? Just that? Oh. I don't know. I Extreme. certainly don't get it. And if metal doesn't get it, then I don't think any of us are gonna. It's a reference to the big schleim. Oh. Oh god, my range and like reach is just so shitty as Sam. You gotta bounce him out. There's gotta be something about him that's better than the others, right? Or do you think they were like, no, it's just like the movie. There's nothing he is better at. No, it it is. Perfectly balanced in its imbalance. Yes. Complete in its incompleteness. Man, who said that again? That was H Bomber guy about DS2. <laughs> <laughs> so, the whole world is a complete fucking disaster in how they built it. It's like they put levels in places where they can't exist because they were desperately just trying to attach things to other things. The best <laughs> one being there is a, a lava world above a windmill. <laughs> I, uh, oh, man. Um, and he says, yeah, it's a bit of a nightmare world, so in a sense, it's complete in its incompleteness. Man. When the reality, of course, was they fucking rushed and they shoved a bunch of shit together and they didn't care. Which is one of the things about <laughs> DS1 that everyone loves is the world is very cohesive. Yep, yeah, I know that much. Wonder if we'll get that in Elden Ring. I don't know. Well, Elden the... Ring's had a lot of time uh, being made. It's gonna be weird. Sekiro to play, like... four years ago. Yeah, I love Big how thing I is, it's completely skipped be... Sekiro, but I'm just like, yes, Elden Ring, yes, yes, yes. 
Well, the game seems to be massive, cool. so that should be. Yeah, it seems that way. Do you mean in size or just for culture? Yes. I think. Oh, I'd say it's both, right? Pretty hyped. Um, oh, I, when I said size, I mean like gigabytes, and I don't know if it is particularly big or not. Hmm. Um, but for length, yeah, it's apparently a big boy. Which is nice. Lengthy boy. It's a lot of girth. E. Mando makes armor for Baby Yoda to protect him. Luke doesn't give him armor, forcing him to make life hard life choices instead. Yeah, this is interesting. I I think Mando would be pretty pissed if he found out what Luke did. He'd be like, "No, this armor is meant to just keep him safe. It's not about attachments or some shit." And then yeah. Luke's yeah. just like, "Nah, -uh. yes, ain't gonna is. train He's him because living, and yeah. that's the problem." And then Mando's just like, "You guys are weird." And then Luke's like, "You guys are fucking weird." The yeah. Mando I said the cult. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we never take off our helmets or the. You need like grief cargo to just be like, I'm the only normal one. <laughs> I don't even know if you guys know who that is. I know no. Rags would. He's um, he was, he was he was. When did he get introduced? Oh yeah, episode one. He was like the bounty hunter quest giver. Um. When you criticize the Mandalorian culture, please remember that Mando and the other two are not real Mandalorians. They are from a weird cult. Actual Mandos don't like them. Good. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> they should like them. <laughs> I mean, it's so fucking amusing that they all, they all got wiped out because Mando fucked up uh, his bounty and he got them in trouble. What was their reasoning in episode 3 of season 1? It's just like, well, you know, we, we stand I with you, bud. Remember. Like we'll we'll help you out. It's like okay. Fucking lucky for Mando, eh? Oh shit! I don't even know if I got a checkpoint. Why is there a swing on a cargo ship? Wombo, explain. I imagine that's something Jinx put there. Yeah. Hopefully that explains that. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, your friend is a Nazi. I know because Twitter told me. Also, high rags, scritches for the good boy. Mola, you're gay. Well, thank you. I'm sure you'd appreciate them scritches. Maul's mask. I'm is... here, and I do. Ah. Oh my goodness. Maul's mask is actually a brain worm enclosure, hence the keyhole and the red lights behind his eyes. Worms like red lights. I learned that from RLM. Is that true? That's right. Yeah, if, you, if you're hunting night crawlers at night, or worms, you want to use a red light to look for them because they're not as afraid of red light. Hmm. Because... Worms reasonably associate bright lights with the sun, which is not something a worm should be around. Well, I guess none of us should be around the sun, <laughs> but in, par in particular, worms, if they see the, or if they sense, they don't have eyes, but if they sense the sunlight, um, <clears throat> they will know that something is amiss and they're not where they need to be. Wait, so it's good to have red light, but they're, they don't like... The sun, though they, they they treat sunlight like a uh, I shouldn't be here. Yeah, I I imagine because the red light isn't as bright, it's a little bit dimmer, and it's just a different kind of, I get a different kind of light, you know, that it doesn't impact them as much, or they can't detect it as much as that bright sunlight. I see. Also, Jay's in chat. Why? Why? Yeah. It, why would Jay be in chat? That's actually disgusting. Okay, Rags now seen the worm the worm song. Um I, I only remember little pieces of it. Um let's see. Uh I know because Billy B, he's like, uh, we're uh now talking about worm poop might sound rude, but worm poop is important plant food. And then Mike says, Oh. Oh, well, there you go. Worms made in time. I said worms making worms. And that's the gross, disgusting worm part where the, the massive orgy of worms just ugh. sperm is everywhere and there's oh. writhing around in the dirt and it's ugh. Not the sperm. Worms are disgusting. Oh. Okay? Worms are disgusting. They Pretty gross. They didn't like they didn't do nothing. They're just they're just they're existing, you know? Yes. Enough. They did enough of that. They're not trying to annoy you. 
I just, sometimes they're like right next to my bed. It's like, oh, glue, 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 glue. It's like, fuck you, I'm trying to sleep. Damn. Piece of shit. Well, I know who I'm not inviting to my worm party. Yeah, good. I don't want to come anyways. Oh, nice. We're going to have Fucking chips. Worms. You actually remember the weirdly sexual gladly line? Yeah, I absolutely do. Yeah. Because he's like, how? He's like, yeah, how would you put some water in this balloon? And he's like, gladly. And everyone freaks out because he says it shockingly sexual for some reason. Yeah. Huh. Oh, strange. That's, the, that's the worm woman of Kalamazoo. And she speaks for the worms. Mary Applehoff was her name. That's a funny name. Mary Applehoff? Yeah. It is an odd name. It is funny. The Hoff part, I guess, that gets me. Apple, like... Off. Like Gwyneth Paltrow named a kid Apple, so I know that's normal, but... Off? Come on. That's a little Apple, Hoff. Apple Hoff. Um, I like Jinx, but I'm gonna be completely honest. I think a small girl carrying around a minigun anywhere is pretty ridiculous. The pistols were fine. Um... I guess it's just hard to know exactly how heavy that Gatling is. Sorry, say what? Um, the, but basically they just, they they find it uh, ridiculous that Jinx was carrying around the um, the Gatling gun. Oh yeah, it is. I mean, it's gonna be it's gonna it's gonna hurt. I don't know how long she'd be able to carry it before she would fucking totally tucker herself out. But, uh, yeah, that little scrawny. Yeah, that's uh. Because if you take a real Gatling gun, which obviously it's not the same, but you draw parallels, right? A real Gatling gun you cannot carry and shoot. Because a real Gatling gun itself is dozens and dozens of pounds. And you have to carry all of the ammunition for... And, and you're going to want to be carrying thousands of rounds. And you also have to carry around batteries to actually turn it and keep it going. And you have to... And we're talking like car batteries. So... Add all that up, the gun itself, the ammunition, the batteries, there is you're not carrying that around and shooting it. There's a, there's no way. There's absolutely no way. However, advantage is the more you shoot it, the less weight you have to carry. So there is that. Well the other advantage also is this is a weird sci fi fantasy gun oh. and it's unclear on exactly how it works. Cause there's no ammo feed. So something weird's going we'll on with that thing. I'm out of the ether or something. I don't know. Rags, what's grosser? A hut eating its own goo or a worm eating its own sperm? <laughs> um, I think, uh... We are close now. Uh, I think it's going to be a worm eating its own sperm is less gross to me. And I think it's because scale-wise, it's so much small. A worm eating its own sperm is so small that there's going to be hardly any of it. But a hut eating its own goo, a hut is a large creature. So I bet that thing could just, it just, just, just eke out from its pores or whatever, a lot of goo. So well, it would you've just seen be a lot of the imagery, yeah. You've seen a lot of it's, yeah, that, was hot, the, that was hot cream though, not hot goo. That's the difference. <sighs> oh, I, I legitimately <laughs> just had goosebumps. Um, <laughs> goo bumps. Jesus, yeah, this is creams bumps. It's a pity cream's not here because <laughs> we can talk about his um, hot cream farm. <laughs> It's hot cream. Uh, We've all been disgusting. there. We've all been there. I haven't been there. You went there yesterday. I was with you. Yeah, that one didn't count though because we went together. I don't know why I wouldn't count for together. That doesn't make sense. Well, it wouldn't have counted for you as well. So. Shout uh, Jay raises an interesting question. What about enough worms eating their sperm so that they have the same mass as one hut eating its cream? You know what? Then it's a wash at that point. And I don't even want to think about it because they're both <laughs> terrible. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go with the hut eating his own cream. Is if, if you have to scale up the amount of worms and sperms to equal the size of a... <laughs> then, <laughs> then it's just... Mm. Mm. All I'm hearing is that you take great issue with natural processes that help a creature survive in this world. That's all I understand. Yeah, I, you know, some things, yeah, I sometimes I do. Sometimes I do. 
I hate how in episode two to three, Jace is like a fucking jet engine. He goes from prison to trial to mum to Kate to suicide in like two days. He's desperation. His desperation is rushed. I disagree. He, um, you get everything follows pretty much. The explosion happens, and then they're like, "This is not something you can just brush off. You have to go to court." And then a few scenes later, he's at court, and then they decide his punishment will be to never practice science again. Then he goes home, talks to his mom about how the only way she well, could can't save be in him. The academy, right? Yeah, yeah. Say he's well, out of the academy. Yeah, the, the, being his dream. And then his, knowing that his mum is the one that saved him by arguing that he was insane, basically. And so he feels betrayed by her as well. And then one of his like longest-running life relationships with the Kiramans is broken as well because his reputation is done so. Um, he doesn't know what to do with his life, and he considers suicide. I think that's... I don't know. That doesn't seem rushed to me. Uh, one of them moments of weaknesses, and uh, he's quite—he's quite a—he's quite, quite a brash character. He, he makes a lot of decisions in the moment when enough different stimuli occur. I think part of the, part of his arc is trying to calm down and really think it through. This is where the dead gather. It is a place of great Thanks for coming back to Arcane. No problemo. I'll do it again. We, we, we was totally will. Hi, Ragu. Love that y'all are coming back to Arcane. I bet this goes to three episodes. Hello. Nice and Right you are. All right. We're going to... Let's take... You, you, that experience bar really bugs me. Is it because the numbers are absurdly it, large? It's because... Well, sort of. I hate number bloat in games. Um, but I doubly hate number bloat without commas. And yeah. look at the look at the scale of the blue bar to the yet that that needs to be filled blue bar, and then compare that to the numbers. And you're like, wait, wait, that how it it should be mostly full. Oh, it should be almost yeah, full. Yeah, because the big <sighs> that's have, the number on the left is your total experience, and then the number on the right is your next level experience. Yeah, so that that blue bar should be close to full. It should it should be like ninety percent full or the something. The blue bar represents how much in this tier to the next tier and how you're doing in it. So technically, those those don't relate, or rather, they do relate, but they're not the same thing. The number bar and the bar bar. The bar bar. But I don't disagree with your assessment. That is distractingly strange because the number almost feels irrelevant in terms of just like. Better understanding. What the are you showing me? Yeah. Yeah. Like, what is? What are the visuals and the numbers trying to really tell me? And again, big numbers without commas. Love it. I think you don't love it. I think that's what you're trying to say. Oh, you're right. You saw through my subtle, uh, my communication method there. It was your Rus, Rusenheim, Rose. Have any of you watched uh, Reacher? Uh, I enjoyed it, but I'm not sure how good it is. Nay. I saw the first no, Jack seen. Reacher movie that came out with Tom Cruise, and I remember thinking, uh, I think, that was all right. I think they're talking about the show on Prime. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know anything about it. Just it just came out. Yeah, I, I have not seen it. I do not know. Barbar Jinx. So it's a Barbar the Elephant King. That's right. There is Barbar the Little Elephant who became the Elephant King. That's true. Jinx's hair is a problem. It should catch on fire on the ship. Well, along with her whole body. Um, <laughs> overall, give her worse mobility and be terrible in combat. Um, it's not quite like uh, Batwoman's hair, because it's two big strands, essentially. And they, I don't know how often that's going to get in the way of your vision. Um, as for could get caught on stuff, that's fair. And potentially break her neck. If she... Uh, there's another half to this, I think. I don't know. I can't see any other half. Oh my goodness. Well, I don't know how that was going to end, but yes. The, it's not the most safe haircut to have in her line of work. No. Uh, carrying around a Gatling gun that probably weighs half as much as you would be insanely impractical. Quick getaways would be impossible. That's the thing, the, the show wants you to believe that it's just not that heavy for you. Um, but it's just hard to believe that with what that 
thing is. Uh, do Kate asks Jace what he's gonna do, and he says, I can't do hammers, I can do hammers like Dad. Kate is like, no you can't, and Jace's like, yeah, so suicide? Great work, Kate. No, she's just talking about how she knows really well that his passion is in science and uh, magic and stuff, that he wouldn't be satisfied just working with hammers. She doesn't, she doesn't mean go kill yourself. <laughs> Wow, hammers, kill yourself. <laughs> wow, who is yeah, hammers? What are you gonna do Did next? Chisels. If you want more arcane, watch the enemy music video. There are extra scenes, more of Echo and Powder, and some dark shit about Vi. You lost me at enemy music video. Oh. <laughs> Down you go. Uh, Fringy, Rags, remember that buying subs debate with Infinite Retro? How does it feel to have only like 11 years before you go insane from being old? Mm, I remember him. I don't remember that debate. I don't remember the debate, I don't think. He accused me of buying subs. A lot of them did, actually, because this, this new up-and-coming guy with the dog picture, he starts getting to the scene and he's getting popular, way more popular than we ever were so much quickly. He must be buying subs. That's the only thing that explains it. And also, Obviously, I duh. need I need proof that you're gay. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> proof they were, that you're they were gay. very That's a new very one. skeptical of of my my, my gay uh, Well, my see sexuality. This very is why Jared Genesis was top tier because he believed it. He, he yeah. bleeped it straight away. Yeah. Oh my god, he's a queer. <laughs> oh my god, he's a queer. <clears throat> Good times. And indeed, I was. But then I found uh, Jesus. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Girl, Jeebus. Queezus. So someone Queen has uh, changed Silco's line to be better, and they've got, um, <clears throat> there's peace in water. Hunka hunka. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Uh, <laughs> I love it. Could you imagine? Oh wow, I did not expect that. That took me whew. What a wild that ride, you know? Oh god. Fantastic. Aye. That was a thing someone thought was a good idea. Yeah. I'm an idea. Why? Like, no, you, you idea. said it wrong. You said it wrong. You gotta go. I'm an idea. I mean, you said there's no right way to say it, okay? It's oh, all wrong. Say it the right way. <laughs> it's always because wrong. Because you gotta, you you have to have, you have to clap before you say it. I fucking clapping for that. <laughs> I have to earn my claps. Yeah, you Please just clap. you hate. It. You, you you hate you hate it. I do. Uh, the uh, the people say it like not only is Snyder cut amazing, but it, Jared Lee the Joker, uh, redeemed. He's like, oh god, <laughs> why would No! You... Why would you say that? <laughs> <laughs> you fools! Uh -huh. That whole nightmare sequence, it's- it, the whole point of it was to be like, please- what, the four hours? Get me another movie. I- I had a feeling that was a lineup for you to say that, and I was okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> it's spelled the whole nightmare. nightmare sequence. Um, Oh, yeah, thought that yeah, was so yeah. <laughs> all that sequence was was Zach being like, I'm gonna tell them that all these different things have happened, and then they're gonna beg for me to make those movies. Lucky for us, we just didn't give a fuck. Happened. Nope, that's yeah. not what happened. Warner Brothers were like, you're they're done, bye. They're just moving on. <laughs> they are moving on. They're cutting their losses. They are cutting their losses, which is something that needs to be... <laughs> You know, told to people time and time again. Apparently, it's like I they think we cut need to normalize their losses. Your losses. Yeah, normalize I think cutting me. your losses needs to be normalized. Right? You don't they have didn't... to keep going through a doomed mm -hmm. trajectory. Uh, project yes. Trajectory. They don't you know, try and just... dress it up as something else, like betrayal or something. No, they cut their losses. Yeah, because th those films were not doing well for them. Um, I guess this will be the year, though, where we see how that strategy pans out. They got like four movies coming out this year. Well, and they got um, Batman, and then they got Black Adam, and and if like, James Gunn is Flash, um, 
working on another show and a sequel show yes. to Peacemakers. It's like James Gunn. I'm. He could be the next architect of the DC as time goes on. It could be that they put him in charge. Well, I think uh, he's going to be. From what I understand, he's going to be focusing on TV when he goes back. This well, uh, true. It's just that we're in an era now where the TV shows matter to continuity. Apparently, like a they lot. do matter to continuity. Yeah. Um, yeah, I guess. Uh, I don't know. Then again, I, it seems like the approach now with DC is continuity. What's that? They're just all these. Well, movies. that's yeah. an awfully vaguely, big word that we don't understand. <laughs> We've not that had experience with that exist one. in the same universe, but you know, it seems like we don't care as much. And I mean, the whole point of Flash, if you know, like that's meant to be a reset, isn't it? Yes. Um, we're gonna reset and try and get rid of the stuff that we don't want and keep the stuff that we do want. Well, I've seen that apparently that's a theory about the end of the Doctor Strange movie is that they're going to close off the multiverse after they've grabbed all the things they want. No, why? No fucking way. No. I just, why, I'm just amused by the idea that someone thinks that they're going to try and make things make sense again. It's like, no, they're yeah, not. Why would, there's no way they're going to close off the multiverse. That's perfect for them. I'd be surprised if they did, because, uh, yeah, it just seems to me that they, after No Way Home, they must see it as the absolute amazing win plus what does it, it even is. mean to close off the multiverse how is that even possible when it seems like no matter you have to um, act to make the multiverse not happen so if you're asking how they would make sense of it well yeah I mean, you're <laughs> asking that's a question yeah. that just doesn't have a reasonable answer i don't know i just yeah no, i don't i feel like there's no reason to think that uh yeah, there's there's really no reason to think that they'd stop doing multiverse. I could just I could see them doing a thing that's really funny where they're like, it's definitely closed, no more of that's gonna happen, everything will make sense now. Just and be then like, a yeah, okay. Years later, <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah, so that was a lie. Yeah. If you say so. I think um what when you were you just kind of like Spider Man and Doctor Strange, surely this is just indication, no, keep going. Multiverse, keep going. Don't stop. It's it's perfect. You can pull all of them. You can have Wesley Snipe show up as Blade. Yeah. I almost thought have... you said Wesley Crusher there for a second. I'm like, what the no. fuck? Why would she? <laughs> well, maybe what? Maybe Star Trek is canon somewhere in the Marvel universe. Oh God! If they, it will be if they buy the rights to it. Well, I think Paramount owns uh owns um that right. So I guess Star Trek isn't doing so hot these days. So you never know. It's well, well, everyone, making, everyone loves Discovery it... and Picard. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah, yeah. Right, and yeah, the yeah. Lower Decks, right? Everybody loves that Ooh, show, don't they? Really popular, yeah. In fact, I think it's hard to get a screenshot of chat in one block without someone saying Lower Decks is available. You know, guys, Lower Decks is pretty fantastic. Yeah. Lower Decks is the most recommended animated show that we've ever been told to watch. Yeah, yeah. more so than that Arcane, you know? A couple yeah, of people that's, like, yeah, well, Arcane we've already, is Yeah, we planned five episodes for Lower Decks, guys, so it's on the way. Mm. We just don't want to fuck it up, because that is, that's one of them shows, you know? Yeah, we know, yeah, we know how that serious the fans are about, you know, protecting the Star Trek continuity and more, oh, so yes. it's very important, yeah. Uh, this is Savika. She's got my back. She'd <laughs> cut all you in half with one hand swoop. I would advise not getting killed by her, because you'd be dead. It's, um, Savika's yeah. great. Um, wait, what? Characters who fight F, marry, kill at episode 1, then episode 9. What? Characters who fight in episode 9, fuck, marry, kill? I don't really know. Well, because it says episode 1 as well. This is what it says. You make sense of it. Okay. Alright, I will make sense of it, Mahler, don't you worry. Okay. Mm -hmm. Woo! Characters, are fi characters who fight fuck, marry, kill at episode 1... Then episode nine. So I guess people who are in episode one and episode nine who fight. So episode one, there's going to be a lot that aren't even we can't even answer because they're too young. Um, and I think the only people who fight in episode one are underage characters. So that's out. We, yeah, we can't do anything there. Um, I mean, I mean, I we we have to kill. I no, I that's a we're not ready to have that discussion. Uh, in episode nine, we have um, everyone who fights in episode nine. FM, but well, that's more than three. 
<laughs> or I, you, I don't... You, your question is is balked. Your I question like is you... bizarrely phrased, and I do not know what you mean by it. All right. Moving on. That was fun. Yeah, well, it. The tools they make are blatantly stupid. I refuse to believe Jace and Victor wouldn't be able to see how they can be weaponized. Um, my dude, they understand they how can they can see... be weaponized. Yeah, he uses it to crush a boulder. He knows that it can be weaponized. He's very aware of this. He doesn't want to make weapons. If someone makes a hammer and says, I'm not making weapons, and then someone goes, <laughs> idiot, I can hurt someone with hammer. Like, yeah, I know. I know you can do that, but that's it's not designed for that. It's designed as a tool, which is what those uh, gauntlets are for. And the uh, laser, you could say this is weak, but the laser is designed, as he said, for, for artisans and uh, artistic works and stuff, which, which can make enough sense, but it's also a laser. So maybe someone could use it someday to fire a laser at somebody. Fire the laser! Yeah, like Rag said. Uh, they are aware of it, they don't like the idea. I like that Savika points out that Vanda, much like Krypton, had its chance. Ten out of ten, show of the year. <laughs> you see that? You see? Do you know what that was? That was Snyder setting the blueprint. The blueprint. Yeah. It did feel like that a deliberate choice from the creators to have Vanda reference Snyder. Just, just definitely, I got that. Dude, imagine like something was just. Well, I guess Eternals is this, but it was like something horribly bad. They were like, I was very inspired by Zack Snyder. He's just like, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> You'll make the God King upset. God, imagine thinking Man of Steel, BVS, and Justice League are good. Isn't shit? Aren't shit, I should say? It's like, and you see the whole lot as like an incredible trilogy. You just be like, really? Martha! Martha! More arcane, but yes. Love the last one. Keep it up. Alright. And we did. Awesome! And so we did. Indeed he do. Jay, no where Google. is my F-word pass? Is it safe? Is it alright? Where is my F-word pass? I cannot say. It's in the caves of Agarem. Guarded by a dragon or something. I surrounded people who grew up. Oh, oh! Look at you, a, a, a new spin on an old classic. Oh yes. Who spreads fear amongst the innocent? Uh, Ghost of Tsushima, PS4 or Sekiro on PC? Also, read Wizard's First Rule. Wizard's First Rule? I didn't know Wizards had a first rule. I guess that makes sense. Let's check Wizards. First, it's a book. It's a book by Terry Goodkind. Okay. Um, maybe I can give a general synopsis uh, on the Wikipedia. Wikipedia. Um, mm -hmm. Let me see. It came out in 1994. I'm looking. It looks, yeah, it's got dragons and a castle on it, and looks like some wizard-like folk. Neat. So it looks to be like a fantasy novel. Neat. Huh. But we don't like fantasy novels here. Nope. Ooh. Gross. Nasty. Reading Ooh. is the power of the enemy. Reading is the power of the enemy. Every word you read, you turn into more of an elf. Exactly. Fucking grows, bro. Dude, check out this fucking legendary aim by Sam. Wow. Whoa, fair, it said. Fair. Yeah, the game was like, oh, that's fair. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. Good, good, good yeah. throw. Um. So yeah, as for Ghost of Tsushima or Sekiro on PS4 or PC, I, I just I haven't played either of them. And I don't think anyone here has. I've, I've played a the, little played Sekiro. Oh, I guess, yeah. But you haven't, like, completed them, so what the fuck do you know? I completed Ghost of Tsushima. I didn't complete Sekiro, but I put, like, 20 hours Why into do you it. hate Sekiro? I don't hate Sekiro. I was really... You know, I don't know. I think something just came up, and then, then enough time passes. You gonna play DS2? 
Uh, I got other games. <laughs> like, I wanna play... I, I'm going to play Soma eventually, uh, and I want to play Disco Elysium. Okay. Well, all right then. I uh, I looked. Apparently, when I played Soma for the first time and stopped, that was uh, two years ago. Burn them all, <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Man, I'm just kind of mistress. Time be flying. Uh, the conflict with Heimerdinger doesn't have to do with magic at this point in the show. It's a conflict between two humans wanting to progress science and coming into conflict with a created with a much longer lifespan. With a creator? Um... Uh, well, it can, yeah, you can argue at that point it isn't actually to do with the magic, rather the, um, the, the speed of progress. That it doesn't match Heimerdinger's goals for safety and stuff. Yeah, I mean, it was similar elements, because obviously Heimerdinger was against the Hex Core in general. But uh, he was outvoted. Poor lad. Because everything's probably going to explode in Season 2. And then he'll be like, I told you so to Jace. Even though I think we all agree Jace should probably be dead. But I don't think they'll kill him. Uh, to Heimerdinger, a 10-year delay is nothing, but to Victor, 10 years may be longer than he'll live. Human progress can't be measured the same way Heimerdinger measures time, because humans simply don't live that long. Um... I don't know that... I, I don't know if I would agree with the, that level of fundamental, like, if... Because, uh, even if, say, for example, we could rush, um, uh, some kind of device, but it has the risk of destroying the entire world, uh, I don't know that someone who's like, yeah, but I won't be able to see the results because it'll if we do it safely, then I'll be dead by the time it's viable. Like, I think a lot of scientists would be okay with that. Um, I think even Heimerdinger would be okay with that if he knew that it wouldn't be something that he would see the fruits of. Isn't there a famous quote about something like that? Like, There's probably a lot of famous quotes about, like, planting the acorn and, you know, you're not going to see the tree grow. Yeah, I think that is some the quote is something like that where it's like you plant the seeds of the tree you'll never the see the shade thrushed. of or something. Yeah, the shade you'll never. Yeah. Well, I mean that's what the the whole idea of the Ubermensch is that you will never be the Ubermensch, but I guess by trying to strive to be better that you'll help create them. Ubermumblo. Lots of quotes about hey, you're not going to see the fruits of your labor, but that's okay because you make the world a better place for the people who come afterwards. Yay. Basically, no one who designed and who designed the great structures of old, the the great yeah yeah that's a good example. Arms and the massive stone chapels live to see them completed. So. Yeah, those were like hundred year projects a lot of the time. I like I like reading comprehension or listening comprehension. Sure, because there are no scientists who'd be willing to cross the line. It's like that's what I said. Yeah, I remember you said that. Yeah, yeah. you said no scientist would ever cross the line I as long as they live to see yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Hi, Rags. Hello to you. And happy birthday. Oh, thank you. Congrats on the big three zero. Now that you're surpassed oh this once in a lifetime milestone, are you old enough to be called Daddy Rags on occasion? <laughs> oh, I've been Asian. old that old for plenty of time. <laughs> we call him Father Ragu sometimes. Put it this way, I am half the age of my father this year. That only happens once, by the way. Um, I am. But. I don't know how old you or your father is, so, but fair enough. I probably did know at some point. It's just not information I hang on to. Like, oh, you know, right. Metal being 40, I completely forgot. Wait. <laughs> 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 Me too. Uh, I like to forget. Am I weird for thinking Marcus was my favorite? I really enjoyed his inner conflict in relation to Grace's death and his relationship with Silco. I was shocked and upset. I was, in a good way, when he died. Um, you are not strange for thinking that. I don't think it's strange at all, yeah. There's a lot going on with him, and a lot of it's subtle. Um, or at least more subtle than the way that they get a lot of information across to you with other characters. And uh, he's very he's very real, Marcus. He's a very real Indeed. person. Indeed. 
Uh, anyways, keep up the good work, you wonderful doggo. May you receive plenty of head pats, scritches, and belly rubs. Mola, please give this Thank to you. Rex as birthday money. Thanks. No problem. Um. Yeah. It's been a while since your birthday, but that, that doesn't mean these messages aren't as meaningful. That's true. Belated is the word. Yeah, different materials that, yeah. burn at different temperatures. Alcohol fire, for example, is cooler than most. Depending on the temperature that Shimmer burns at, it may not be a problem for as long as they stand. Is there a fire that can burn that doesn't... Surely there can't be... By... I, I, even the... As cool as a fire could possibly be... It would still be still not something you could be in, right? I, I assume that any time you've reached level of having a fire... Like, I'm willing to believe that fires can get hotter and colder based on, you know, Absolutely, whatever. Absolutely, yeah. But surely if it's reached the level of is a fire, that is going to be harmful if you touch it. But is a fire what? Oh. I know that there's things you can... Like, I'm obviously excluding... Like, I don't know if you guys notice it, but in movies when people are set on fire, they're often shiny. Because they've got, like, a gel yeah. on them prevent it from fucking burning them to death. But yeah, if you just... just... Oh, I never noticed. I was always too busy laughing. That's fucked up. Right? Mm. Really fucked up. But, uh... Yeah, uh, I just don't know of if there's a fire that can burn cold enough that you can just be chill with it. Minecraft fire, maybe? Hmm. No? Minecraft fire still... I think even, like, soul fires and stuff still burn you. What about water fire? Water fire? Mm -hmm. I don't know if there is a water fire. I couldn't tell you. Well, like, would it be water boiling, on top yeah. of a uh, wa fire on top of water? Like, you know, when there's petrol in the water and then that catches on fire? Hmm. Maybe that's really cold. I think the fire Maybe. itself would be as hot as... Would be really hot, yeah. fire anywhere else, yeah. About ice fire? Ooh, freezer burn? Yeah. Yeah, that'll get you the freezer brain. Uh, no chromo, guys. No chromo. No chromo. Fair enough. No crown. Guy. Man, one throw a knife from Sam, he blows up an entire tower. What a Gee, chance. Damn. Hello. I work as a freelance video editor and mostly edit YouTube videos, but I'm still not sure about pricing. A 15-minute video for $50 is okay? I wouldn't say it's about the length of the video, it's just about how much work it takes to make it. How much editing? Yeah. yeah a finishing a video with minimal editing... Medi <laughs> finishing a video with minimal editing... Finishing a video with minimal editing... Finishing a video with minimal editing... Ah, that's a <laughs> strange... But, um, yeah, doing that... Pretty easy. Uh, but... I mean, it's hyper editing. Yeah, that's the. Stuff I don't know what the, the conventional pricing range is for. Uh, yeah, I don't think there is one YouTube. because it'll depend on what work you're doing, right? Like, yeah. The, the difference um, between. I guess. You know, I guess I'd say ideally, if you're doing it, if you do forty hours a week, it should amount to enough that you're uh, living okay. And then just work backward from there. Yeah, the only thing I could think of is maybe like dollars per hour in terms of. For like what dollars you could hour, equate, the way to go, yeah, yeah. And then you're like, okay, um, I charge twenty dollars an hour, and it generally takes me X hours to do something per X hour of finished footage that you want. So, and it will be of this quality. So that would probably be the way to go. You give them an example, and then say, it takes me, it takes me an hour of real time to do an hour of video, finished video of this quality, and I charge, you know, fifteen, sixteen, twenty dollars, whatever it is, for. Uh, my my hours, my real hours, and so that way you could probably. I think that would be a pretty good way to um to to get a, a good price across. The difficult part is you deciding what your time is worth and what you feel but you can push you and what you feel you can put that against remaining competitive in the market as well. And yeah, that's and kind of the difficult part with a lot of commission work on um, the internet. Yeah. There's usually always going to be somebody who's willing to do it for less. Um, Which sucks. <laughs> like it's well, it's uh, it's a conversation that gets had in a lot of like art spaces that when people uh, price very low for commissions, 
it's bad for everybody because it yeah. sets expectations for how much it ought to cost. And so then you'll see someone who will make you some amazing painting, an incredibly detailed work that not only takes a long time to make in and of itself, but is also the fruit of several years of dedicated practice. Um, and then they'll set a price like $2,000, $3,000 and people are baffled. It's like, well, that's probably what it ought to cost. That's like what it ought to. But, you know, people's expectations of, of how much things, you know, the reality is the market determines the price. And when it comes to a lot of creative enterprises, the market values things poorly. Um, yeah, yeah, it's what are people willing to pay? What are people willing to charge? I mean, how many people are actually trying to do the work? There's well, I think the clearest example it. of that is uh, music is undervalued. A lot of people expect it for free. Um, meanwhile, video games still seem to be pretty well valued. Um, everybody expects that you pay for those, and not a small amount either. A lot of the oh time, yeah, people will say transactions. Yeah. And films are, va are valued like pretty okay too but then like tv shows are valued a lot lower there's more yeah. of an expectation with those that they're accessible yeah and uh yeah i don't know it's uh it's tough it might be worthwhile uh in terms of figuring out your prices to look at uh what is typical if there are any resources online that can help you um and I guess maybe give yourself a little more credit if you feel like you're actually pretty competent at what you're doing uh, and you have a lot of experience. Yeah, it's tough out there. Voice acting was the same. Would there be? It kind of sucks because there's a skill level, right? Where um, someone has to work really hard to nail the acting in a character and many takes or something, while someone else is really talented, so they can do it really quick, and therefore the latter person has decided their work is worth x while the prior was like well it's worth a lot more than x because because i yeah i spent longer on it uh, yeah i can get i remember uh oh damn i i remember i can't remember who told me this but it's kind of stuck with me that there are three metrics when it comes to i guess being like an independent freelance uh at any particular creative skill uh cheap fast and good uh, if you're two of the three, you'll be okay. That's basically everything, cheap, is the if triangle you're there. Fast, if you're cheap and you're good, or if you're fast and you're good, then you'll be fine. But if you're only one of those things, then uh, you're in a lot more trouble. Yeah, you can have... It's, well, isn't yeah, the, it's, isn't it's the point the pick, of that supposed two, to be you can only three, be two? two. I, I think the idea That's is, how I've understood if, it and heard it. Yeah, yeah. like, if cheap, you're fast, fast good. and you're good, you can't be cheap. You, you're expensive. Yeah. Uh, if you're fast and you're cheap... Uh, be good. Then you can't be good. Uh, and if you're good and you're cheap, then you can't be fast. Or some fuck. It's, no, it was the, something I think like that. Good general um, yeah. general rule of yeah, here three general pick rules. two. Yeah, someone yeah. might be like, that's guess... not true because of this incredible person right here who works for everybody for free, does amazing work really quickly, and it's the only person on the planet who can. You're like, all right, you get Nailed that this it. is a general thing. Yeah. I've heard um, my parents use this too, just because they're architects. They've used this when they talk about building designs and architecture and stuff. I think where it just makes if you sense, want, uh, yeah, if you, you, you to want offer. us to do a really good job, and you want us to do it quickly, then it's going to cost you a lot of money. Alternatively, we can take a while on it, but uh, yeah, it'll be good. It'll I, take I, a while. Be cheaper, but... but it will take a while. Yeah, it's uh, it's just you. It, in, in every situation you're dealing with with, like, work, there's always going to be aspects of time uh, and money that are factoring in. Um, it's it's complicated. It's, like I said, it's a, it's a tough world out there. It's a good luck. Good luck with it, yeah. Good luck with it. Yeah, good luck, guys. Don't get fucked. Uh... Rag, did you know that birthday is your city? Oh, that's great! I was born there! He kisses her on the lips. What Rule 34 did you watch? Ah, uh, we're at that point. This'll be fun. <laughs> the next one says, is Duma projecting oh here? He... He com this is the thing, it happens, we've talked about this before, but you can watch a thing, and then you, you combine certain scenes or disparate memories, and then you're like, I'm pretty, I'm almost certain that I saw a kiss on the lips, and it was a combination of the scene at the, um, the water, and then the scene when he kisses her on the head. 
And I think he just remembered it as she was she was kissed on the lips. But uh, as I said, and stand by, uh, and I think this applies to everybody here, if that had happened, it's not something we would have missed. Yeah, that would have been like, whoa. It's significant in terms of changing. Uh, I, I'm not sure how you could think that Silco was a great character if that was... That was your it disturbs the whole the thing. It's like, oh, he's a groomer. Absolutely. Ew. Yeah. Yeah. When uh, the reality, and this, is, this the is the thing when assessing him, a big part of it is he sees himself in her, and he really tried to look after her and let oh, he her sees be. Himself who... in her, all right. she, well, yeah. she is his daughter, essentially. Yeah. That's that's the that's like one of the big elements and, of Silgo he... that makes him a bit more complex is that he he expresses like genuine care. He puts her before everything as is essentially including his own mission yeah. essentially for Zorn, which is like his life's goal. Which is, I think, probably one of the ways people determine fatherhood slash parenthood. It's like the child has to basically just be the thing that you take care of more than anything. The mutation must survive. Yeah. Which is literally true, because that's what basically a child is. It's a mutation of you. So the mutation Me. must survive. So, I've been doing this level as Sam, compared to Legolas, they have been spamming the enemies. Legolas didn't get anywhere near as many. What's, what's, well, what's they're th probably like, holy shit, it's Sam! Throw <laughs> everything we got at him! <laughs> Legolas, he was, he was pretty shit. But Sam, the Slayer? Sam the Slayer. Uh, wishful thinking, Duma? No, like, he, he's bringing it up as a criticism, I think, or at least something that he found to be a bit off. Um, it's just, thankfully, he... But he's correct. That would have been yeah. off if that was in the thing. So he's right there. That would have been off, yeah. Um, check person here. Our family kisses each other quite often. It's completely natural in our country. Um, I mean, they do the. Some people do the the where the thing where they like mwah mwah on the different yeah. sides of the face. Italians do that, I think. Uh, you have to learn at an early age which side to go to first, or there's going to be a lot of awkwardness. I imagine that even if it were culturally chill or something in Zorn, they would they'd still recognize they need to make sure we understand that, and that it's probably better to avoid, just because of how Western audiences may very well perceive such a thing. Speaking of, Rags, thoughts on Arcane Rule 34, why? I don't know anything about it. It's not my, it's not an interest of mine. I don't know, I don't know anything about it. I think it's clear they're really not don't. romantic, not but the ways they touch and interact is much more intimate than people would normally interact with parents, and I think there is an, to underscore the unhealthy relationship. Stop. I don't, I don't think so. Uh, stop this madness. Just, just, just stop. Every shot is literally good wallpaper. Yeah, pretty much. Yep, that's every frame of painting. No, no, they totally kissed. It was super sloppy and everything. Duma pulls up animation found on R34. Everyone keeps referencing Rule 34. But keep mm, your smut yeah. away from EFAP, damn you. We are a pure, yes. unblemished place. Duma never kissed a woman. I don't. I. I. I I'm, I'm sure he. Has. I don't know anything about that. I'm sure he might have. Uh. Why would that change your mind? Parents kiss their kids on the lips a lot of times. I don't know about that. It's I don't often considered a strange thing to do. Yeah, that's a that's an odd one. It wasn't that long ago? The Smiling Friends has a joke about that. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty funny. <laughs> Kiss your dad the lips. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, dad. <laughs> what the hell? So, I can unlock a move where I'll charge up my blade and it says a most devastating poison cloud that contains continuous damage. Or causes it, sorry. A Sam, you can that a, a poisonous Sam? cloud, yeah. I just don't, I don't remember, remember that. that. From the Maybe it's, he's what kind of gardening's he been doing? <laughs> Get wrecked, Duma. Stop being gross. Mm, very well. Uh, is Silgo best villain since Tywin Lannister? But I, there's lots of great villains. It's just been a while. It feels since we've had a good one. I don't know when the last one was. 
Who's the last good villain, guys? Um, I mean, Thanos was good in, in Thanos Infinity was, yeah, War. In Infinity War, he was... I'd, I'd put him good. Need some tweaks, but I think, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, mm. yeah. Mm. Um, a little tweakage. Stop writing fan fiction, Duma. Ew. Hashtag Duma did nothing wrong. Oh, I see you got a bit of a split vote here. Okay, all right. Uh, besides Game of Thrones and Lord of the Rings, do you guys know any good fantasy books? I'm just trying to find something to read. Also, high ranks. I've heard... Hi, I've heard The Wheel of Time is good. That's I remember good liking The Prydain Chronicles, though I think that's more young adult stuff. Um, uh, let me think. Of course, you know, Lord of the Rings. Um, let me Let me think here. Fantasy? I hear that Stormlight Archive is good, but I've only listened to the audiobook halfway through the first one, so I ain't a point of reference on that one. Uh -huh. um, yeah, I was more of a sci-fi guy. I wasn't as much I into like um, sci-fi. Yeah, but I'm sure there's plenty of that good stuff out there. A lot of Stormlight Archive recommendations in chat. Got Dune in there, of course. Sort of fantasy. Uh, yeah. Bad Duma, take a timeout. And then, and I guess, in, in a way, he decided he would like to do that. Today's animal of the day is the Basilisk Lizard. Ooh, that sounds fun. Uh... The basilisk lizard. Oh, it's neat. Here, let me get a picture for y'all. That is a neat boy. Look at this guy. Look at him over there. Give it a second. Apparently, <laughs> it's it's having some difficulty. So, all right, there it goes. Okay. Oh, that that is a neat. That's a neat cool boy. looking lizard. That's cool. <clears throat> yeah. That's yeah. That is that is neat. Man, look at this Chungus guy. I forgot about these guys in the game. Kind of creepy. It should be in the in the film. Um, it's also my birthday today, so I'm happy that I share a birthday with my favorite doggo. Also, hello Fringo oh, and Mola. Cool. Hello. Also, uh, hello to you. I know you yes. like Dragon Age Origins, but haven't played Inquisition. Any reason why? I'm just not interested. After after Dragon Age Two, which which isn't bad, it's just a dumbed down version of the first. It's just too different from the first. It, it's fine. It's just not super. Like I can't get passionate about that one in the way that I could about the first. It just. It's a streamlined like oh the first one did good let's let's dumb it down and streamline it for everyone and then it just became this mess sort of game instead of or Dragon Age Origins is special Dragon Age Two is not special you know it's just not it's not a special game. Oh well, there you go. God that move really does like poison people. Neat. Um. Where is the Shad man? He loves Arcane. I honestly, I haven't even spoken to Shad about Arcane actually. Um, I should, assume he likes it a lot. Well, they just said he loves it. So go. Oh, good, very good. I don't think has he made any videos about Arcane weapons. I don't think I've seen anything. Got to be something in there he could do something with. Um, at last, I'm finally caught up on EFAP. After starting from episode 1 back in April, you guys have helped me through some real low points, so thanks a lot. Bless the Frogoy, Frongoid, Isle Ragler, and long live the long man. Oh, hello to you. Hello. I'm glad to hear that you, 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 the, the, fucking hell as well. April to now. That seems like a reasonable amount of time to be able to get through all of EFAP. Or does it? But, uh, I'm glad it's a bit of fun for you. God, it's going to be so weird when we hit our 10,000th episode, you know? It will be strange. Be like, wow. Yeah, because we'll be much 
10,000th episode, wiser, we yeah. won't be around to see that. It's we'll be much wiser. Happen. Yes. Much wiser. Um, did you see that Milo's doll couch section was covered in blah 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 because Milo would never shut up? I mean, yeah, yeah. it about follows and ties yep. into he, he's the one that's constantly talking to her. Um, and if you look at, like, Clagger's expressions a lot of the time when she sees him are, like, disinterest, and I think it reflects the one time we see him give a look over to her, uh, when they're walking through the, uh, the Undercity, because, yeah, Clagger, nice guy, probably recognized how much of a problem she was for their, um, little quests. Yeah. Because anybody would. You guys are probably still going, but to still be going on when I wake up. Um, yes, maybe, I don't know. Have a birthday, Rags. Oh, thank you very much. Victor dying is a plot hole, guys. One out of ten. But he doesn't die. Allegedly. Nah, I guess well, we don't know if he, if he yet. For sure. Man, if they opened season two with everybody in that room dying and that was it for Victor's story, that would disappoint a lot of people, I think. I don't think they'd do it. Like, I recognize they take risks, but ooh, people would not be keen on that. I wouldn't be keen on that. Yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah. I'd be like, why would you do this? Why would fucking Jesus Christ, why? Um, it's pretty convenient that Piltover is habitable. Oh my god. <laughs> A conversation of old. Throwback! And people are like, is the DC coverage ended? It's like, no, we got got a whole bunch left, and there's a bunch more to come too. DC hasn't stopped; it kept going, you know. Which maybe one day will turn out to be a good thing. We'll be like, oh man, isn't it great that this movie came out? Maybe the Flash movie will be great. Oh man, <laughs> maybe. Oh, the hope isn't quite there. No, it's not. Uh, joke with spoiler incoming. What do Sky and Jinx have in common? They're both powder. Also high rags. Ah ho! Wrecked. Nice. Obliterated. Annihilated. Like that. Is it just me or is Progress Day a dumb name for a holiday? It's just you. That's fine with me. Let them have fun. Jeez, they're just, you know, they're just having a little progress day. Just, just let it happen. You yeah. don't have to get in the way. Prick. God. When even Star Wars Theory's review of Book of Boba Fett is mixed, you know you messed up. Also, Cad Bane is the best part of Clone Wars and they ruined him. Thanks, Disney. Party's good, but... Hello. Uh, sure. I, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I just... Uh, it's not a surprise that they did it, and uh, it does seem that Boba Fett pissed off a lot of normies as well. Can you believe it? I can't actually. Can I didn't realize it was. <laughs> I didn't know that Boba Fett should possible. have been the easy one. It should have been the softball show. Yeah. Oh, give me that perfect mode. Get it. Not gonna be too late. Come on. Hey. F like fucking 20 perfect kills. Never played League. 20 perfect kills? Damn, nice. Yeah. Never played League, and so it was only on my second and third watch through that I realized all the hammer imagery was all around Jace. Nice touch. Yeah. Yeah, he's got it on his little emblem, and yeah. Mm -hmm. It's hard not to notice as someone who was just like, Where's his hammer? Give him a hammer. And it's like, oh, hammer. <gasps> I, was... I always wondered why he couldn't reveal just the gemstone part, not the devices, but just stabilizing that this dangerous resource in the city now depends on. I'm not even sure how many people knew the nature of those stones being hard to control or whatever. I don't know what benefit there would be in telling the public that. Um, and so revealing, like, we've stabilized them better now. Like, yeah, I don't know. And then there's probably going to be a, an effort to be like, what does that mean? And it's like, well, they're more stable. Like, okay. Um, but I don't know. I think Jay's just opted in that moment to, uh, 
just say there's great stuff on the way, right? Great stuff on, as we often do on EFAP, because we just don't want to set expectations. I always wondered, oh wait, uh, happy birthday rags, Chelsea won the World Cup. Chelsea won the World Cup? Yeah, isn't that great news? Who's Chelsea? Oh, uh, she's like <laughs> a stripper, I think. Oh, good for her! Yeah, she's come a long way. Um, no Man's Sky still isn't very good. There's a hostile planet that acts like a bear trap, but it can strike you from several meters away without touching you. What? Oh, oh sorry, right. hostile plant, not planet. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that makes more sense. <laughs> um... Well, I mean, honestly, the majority of the things I've heard about that game is that it's dramatically improved. And a lot yeah. of people say it's pretty great now. But, uh, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. I only recommend watching the ingoodening of No Man's Sky. I think that's what it's called. From Internet Historian. Yes. It's good video. It's I wonder good, if Rain yeah. defends Heimerdinger because he's doing the same damn thing for his goo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, what, do you, what does that mean? I don't even sound like an insult. It sounds like you're implying Fringy's taking a safe route when exploring. Yeah. This, uh, yeah, so that's fine. I appreciate the support. Mm -hmm. uh, also, in No Man's Sky, you get constantly attacked in space of if you have valuable cargo like fuel and you can op only open your galaxy map while flying in space. Oh well, yeah, that sounds annoying. I hope they, uh, they add that. That's something you can do wherever you are. I guess. I don't know, these problems don't sound too significant. Mm-hmm. Compared to, like, because that game is kind of huge, right? Or at least, from what I understand. Um, Heimerdinger's views on magic equals EFAP on time travel. Pretty much. Uh, we're not, we're not yeah? exclusively against it. We just, just like you have to be real fucking careful. Air on the side of caution. And that it leads to catastrophe. <laughs> it can. Really can. Except for Endgame, which nailed it. Yeah. I like how Jinx gave him the Hexstone and walks away like a daughter who just gave their dad a painting she made. It was specifically to impress him. Uh, and then he's like, make something out of it, and she's like, ah, right. Uh, I grew up surrounded by flowers. Fair enough. Silco intimidates nearly everyone else, but when it comes to Jinx, even when he yells at her, she's very nonchalant. Yeah, their, uh, their dynamic is very interesting and specific. I am water, and I grew up surrounded by Boba Fett. I'm Ooh. sure that's how Kamino feels. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I guess, yeah. This is what Abby could have been. That's what a lot of things could be if writing wasn't as cringe. But I'm afraid we ended up in this reality. Vi punching a wall versus Chris punching a boulder. Well, I think, uh, I think the Chad... That's the boulder punch. And... Yeah, the chattier move there is the boulder. We, we can all accept that. Uh, I find people overrate Arcane a lot, but I love it. Because it's so good, you can actually understand why a lot of fans miss the flaws. Well, anybody saying it's, like, perfect, it would be like, oh, well, I mean... Mm, yeah, no, that's not something we really say about really anything. Not many things, no. At all. Um, yay, Dommy Mommy is back. Don't exactly know what that's referring to, but okay. Oh, I think it's Mel's mom? Or maybe it's Sevica? If it's, it's Mel's, Mel's mom, mom right? that means that we've moved into the second stream for these. Without me even realizing oh, it. Possibly, I'm not sure. I suppose we'll be able to figure it out from the, from the, Dummy the mommy context comments. ones. Yeah. On April 1st, do an EFAP on Is Water Wet videos. Are there a lot of those? I guess they probably I are, yeah. I don't know that there are a lot of those. Uh, 
Question for Fringy. What is the difference between a goo, a slime, and a gel? And would you consider using these other options? I'm a layman, so I'd love to hear a professional break it down. Thanks. Um... Break down. The difference between goo, slime, and gel. Um... I feel like goo would be the broad categorization, like slime and gel are both a type of goo, but they're a little bit different. Say, uh... uh For instance, like, like a flamethrower will uh, use gel as fuel. Yeah. Because it doesn't use liquid, it, gel, it, it uses gel so it sort of can stick to yeah, things. Gel, gel has more of a purpose than slime, it would seem. Like, slime is just, uh... It's just kind of like a... Slime often seems like a result of other things happening that aren't even necessarily intentional. Yeah, whereas gel is much more an intentional thing. It has a certain utility. Yeah, that'd probably be a good way to distinguish them, but they're all goo. Well, there you go. Great lesson, I think. Yep. Stop asking me about it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um... Animated most of the prison warden shots and two of the fish guy in the thumbnail. Glad you guys enjoyed the show. Considering your usual rigor and media criticism, it's great to see you cover it. Well, hey. You worked on it? Apparently they did. That's cool. And oh, wow. That's really cool. Apparently they specifically worked on Jericho, so uh, phenomenal job Oh, wow. Job so there, you got right? the best job. Nice. That's incredible. It was, yeah. it was, That's legit really interesting. I'm not even that joking that much. His expressions made me fall in love with him yeah, straight away. Yeah, they're really great. He's a fun, fun Good guy. Job, man. That smile. The damn smile. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's really cool. Um, I grew up surrounded by prison, Duma. Some people may have, it's true. This super is to get Fringy to watch Ramus animated rap, okay? Um well I don't know what that is. Uh, yeah, I mean he might he might not, you never know. Um, did the EFAP cast kiss? Duma. I think Metal is kissed, um, some people he's before. kissed grills. Yeah. And he's not yes. denying it, so, yeah. The truth has been discovered. The baseline strength and durability of the characters is consistently heightened in the show. It is not a flaw, it is an aesthetic choice. I don't know that that's true. Um, they get a lot of normal things happen to them. Um, like, the results of... You know, like, Vi gets knocked out as easily as anybody normally does. It's not like she... Like, her punching a wall, I think, would imply that she's a much harder human being, which I'd be able to accept, if not for the fact that everything else seems to run normally. Like, most things... The the show seems to be normal, except for a couple of instances where you're like, oh, they're a lot stronger mm -hmm. than they probably should be there. And that's yeah. okay. You don't have to make excuses. That's just something that they did because a couple of scenes weren't working otherwise. I say okay, what I mean is... It's not good, but we get it. <laughs> yeah, we'd like, yeah. Uh, Duma would be a terrible detective. I mean, he might miss some leads. Could happen. When are you guys going to sing yeah, the... Yeah, but those leads might lie, so... It's true. Uh, when are you guys going to sing the Arcane theme song together? Never. I don't think that's ever going to happen, no. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. No, it's really not. Like of all the things that would in the be world that could happen. Right? Did you do that on purpose? Do you know that that's like a part of the enemy song? No. Oh, the misery. Stop. <laughs> Everybody wants to be my enemy. <laughs> You're. You, you, everyone's about to be your enemy. <laughs> oh, no. Not me. I'm. Not me. Have a sympathy. Yeah. You'll get no sympathy. He wants to be my enemy. There you go, you got it. <laughs> oh, wrecked. Will this work? Can I say I'm on poison? That's something I should be able to do, right? Like, I'm having a fucking boss fight with the guy from the movie. You guys remember? Whoa! No. Can't remember the name of this one. Trungo. Steven. I think he's the chickpea grumbo, actually. Chickpea grumbo. I'm very thankful. It's they amazing named that, that, 
chickpea grumbo. That's great. It is. Um. Happy birthday, Ragzy Dumple Kings. Dumple Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh man, these spears just keep respawning. That's great. Oh, that's good. Helps me. That makes throwing them easier. It does. It really does. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's a very intense fight. Um, I feel like he's locked into his opinion and isn't going to change his mind on it despite whatever logic you bring to him. A lot of people felt that way. Um, in what mad world would I trust someone like you, Caitlin Tavai, literally in the prison, laugh my ass off, did Doomer even watch the show? Well, but this is, that's a dynamic that you have to accept as someone who is going to use a prisoner as a source of information. You know you can't fully trust them, but to be fair, you can't fully trust anybody. You have to... That's right. Okay. Like, Mahler knows he can't fully trust me, because <gasps> I am a sneaky boy, and I have shenanigans. True. Kick Duma based Theo. Does Duma understand the concept of risk and reward? Uh, Das Bullshit, do you know that England is your city? And Duma, do you know America is your city? And Jay, do you know that England is your city? Wow, nice. So many of those, they just keep on going. I really love the scene between Grayson and young Caitlyn. It's weird when they kiss, though. Hashtag Duma things. I see. I see. The proliferation of memes. So yeah, we're at the prison discussion, which is the end of episode 4 and the beginning this of episode 5. Part. So we're halfway through this stream now, technically. Hogland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The big chunk of she originally came to the prison to talk to could have lied to her. I guess she had no reason to come to the prison at all then, Duma. Oh, I think you. that was mentioned at one point. I could have sworn you said it, Rags. Like, oh yeah, because he wasn't going to lie. He was going to tell the truth. I could see that. That could see me saying something like that. That seems like a thing that I would say. Which is a reality of interviewing any suspects. They oh. might lie. Yeah, those bastards. They really could. They just might lie to you. Do you think people would do that? Tell lies in a prison? <laughs> think so? <laughs> Why would people lie on the internet? Because the internet is a cruel place. This fucking boss fight is so strange. What's going on? Jesus. Well, I've been pausing a couple times. But... Oh. So you're shit. I no. Get Scheisenheimer. Oh, I killed him with the execution he moved. Nice. Yo, cool. Fuckers uh, is what we say now. This is why Doomer isn't allowed on S class. He has to sit on the A team bench. That's a Adam and <laughs> Sitch meme. I like it. I like it. Thank you, Hi, Rags. Happy birthday, good doggo. Oh, thank you. Uh, who are you guys main? Who is your favorite character? I assume they're referring uh, to Lol. Oh. In which case, um, so I, I would main, uh, well, I guess, so that when they say main, they're referring to roles, because it would be mid, uh, mage is the main one I What like. does mid then, mean? Mid as a role? So, in the mid League lane. of Legends, there are three lanes, top, mid, and bot, or top, middle, and bottom, but they, they just, uh, the way it works right now with the meta, though it's been this way for fucking ages, is like, top is usually a bruiser, big boy, who can... Uh, survive for long amounts of time, but also doesn't deal significant damage compared to carries. And then the bottom is a support and a carry, who does loads of damage, but glass cannon sort of thing. And the support keeps him alive. And then middle is a mage that is also kind of like a glass ca cannon in, in a sense, I guess. Um, and then you have a jungle who runs around in the m between parts of the map and tries to keep ganking. Meaning you come in from the side on other lanes to try and fuck up the enemies. That's essentially the the most baby version of the meta I could ever give. Um, I like the middle lane. What about you, Metal? I always like to play support. What about you, Fringy? Um, it's been too long. I think I liked playing... Uh, what was it called when you were the attack, the person who dealt damage? Carry? DPS? AD carry? Uh, yeah. I think I like that, even though I wasn't good at it. There you go. Uh, and then favorite character? Mine's Victor. 
I don't know what metal and fringies are, if there is ones to choose. Uh, I do mm. like Victor. I also really like Velkos. Velkos is cool. Like Ash. I like Zerg. Oh man, I can I buy the Zerg. the strength of the Gaffa upgrade. Oh, strength of the Gaffer, that's the ultimate upgrade. There's nothing stronger than the strength of the Gaffer. Remember that part in the film where he says, and my old Gaffer? That's, I'm buying and the strength of it. And that's one's for my old Gaffer. Wait, so the benefit of this is it increases the damage of all sword attacks when attacking an enemy from behind. Oh, so, so was, his Gaffer is a backstabbing piece of shit. That's what I'm gathering, yeah. <laughs> Damn, Gaffer. Damn, Gaffer. All right. We've gotten two of the required three characters to level 10. We're close to unlocking the Tower of Sauron. Most nice. Oh, as a level? Yeah. So that's how oh. the progression works, I guess. Apparently I already unlocked it. Okay. I guess... Oh. Did I get... Oh, Gandalf? Yeah, but I... Oh, Legolas is 10. Ah, that makes sense. All right. Let's take Legolas in there since I've got the Probo. Uh... The eating slug scene in episode 5 makes me gaggy. Okay. Huh. That's fine. Yeah, I was not... Yeah, I wasn't keen that on that. That is very much a you problem. You like the eating slug thing? Wait, which... Wait, sorry. Which? <laughs> oh, I thought we were talking about the... The fucking... The food that they got served. Yeah, they are. Yeah. What's wrong with that food? It was made by Just... the guy. No, I'm sure he made it the best that it could be made. It's just... Hmm. Alright. I'm not hearing much reasoning there. Um, Alright, just be honest. You think it's slimy and gross, right? It is slimy and gross. There you go. What's the response to that? Where's the debate? Nah, that's, that's okay. <laughs> that's what cowardice is right there. Yep. Jericho needed a, a right. champion, cool out. Right. and he was Another abandoned. Uh, let me scroll down here. Rip, innocent, loving crow. How dare you, Jinx. Yeah. That was mean. Of all the things she did, that's probably the worst. Bro was just hanging out. Though maybe they'll recontextualize it in season two that she knew Swain was coming the whole time and she was trying to stop him. Sure. Let's go with that. Thank you. Uh, remember during the Mr. Shrimp episode of Smiling Friends where there's a baby getting its face stomped in the background? I hear it's Rag's favorite part. Was it a baby? <laughs> I thought good. it was a guy. <laughs> What's the baby? It was just a head. Yeah. <laughs> It doesn't yeah, was... him notice it as well, briefly, and he's like, Ugh. I think he gives like a little I, I, I face to it. I don't remember. Oh, yeah, yeah, when when they when they first arrive, he looks at it, it's like, oh. Ugh. Yeah, because like, it's just fucked up. <laughs> when they go back out, you just see it's just mush. <laughs> it's a face mush. Beautiful. Uh, you're subconscious the first time seeing TLJ. I don't even know what to think anymore, man. I don't even know what to think anymore. <laughs> I don't know what to think no more. I don't know what to think no more, man. I don't know what to freaking think no more, man. Get out of my head. Yeah. Get out of my like head, man. A whole year trying to get it out of our heads. Oh, get out of my good. head, man. You're in my head, man. People are going to want him to come back in season two. Absolutely. I want to <laughs> yeah. see him again. I, I hope they got it out of his head. <laughs> it felt like he was really struggling for a while there to get that out of his head. Uh, Star Wars then. Remember Star Wars, Star Wars now. Remember Star Wars! That's the, <laughs> I guess I see the difference there, yeah. Uh, I'm Amber. Glad we got uh, even more arcane faptisms. Take as long as you need. Also high rags. Hello. Uh, it's weird how the boxing machine recognizes Jinx. Well, I just assumed that there's some setting that we didn't see put in that... You can choose a yeah, made name. I don't think it literally senses who's hitting it. Um, I doubt that it senses <laughs> who's hitting it. That seems a little bit odd. 
It'll, it only it, le- it only lets you play if you have a face. Uh, <laughs> that's good security, no, I think. Makes, that makes sense. Everyone makes fun of it, but it's, it's there's a lot of faceless creatures out there that would try and steal your stuff, so it's, you know, good in that Maybe. sense. Maybe. Uh, oh, where are we here? Recently saw Long Kong. It had some unnecessarily long action scenes, but besides that, a wonderful crafted movie might be worth an EFAP for the ages. Hmm. Wait a minute. Is that just a disguise? Unnecessarily one? long action scenes? In- interesting. That's not often something you I wonder hear. if there's. Yeah. I'm trying to think. What is, what is something that we consider to be like that? I guess Transformers might be something like that. Yeah, I suppose. Maybe. That's pretty old now. Transformers are nearly 15 years old. Yep. Yeah. Dude, they're just fucking running away from me. What is this? And they're like, <laughs> <laughs> like he's gobbled, he's playing all this. He's got a sword! <laughs> Run! Oh now they're fighting me, alright. <laughs> I see you all manned up. Um, have you checked out the video Who Did Crazy Better by Schnee? It compares Jinx to DCU Holly. <laughs> Might be worth a watch after you finish the breakdown. <laughs> What was the Schnee? Oh my goodness. What was the name? Schnee. <laughs> Schnee. That's, a good That's name. hilarious. Okay, that was a good my name, name is Schnee. <laughs> Schnee. This is not Love a it. fun round. This is just. Yeah, that seems dumb because they just stun you with arrows and a million arrows hit you. That sucks. Jesus, it's not head. fun. <laughs> just don't get hit, forehead. Why are you calling just me a forehead? Time. Hey, he's an elf, he's a five head. They're better uh, than mortal men, jeez. The... <laughs> Wait a minute, they end up hitting each other? Oh, nice! Fools. Red... Oh, flowers! <laughs> just go around in circle. see if you can complete it without even attacking him. Well, just go in circles. Problem is, like, I don't know how long it takes. Yeah, Cause man, that guy's been out. shot like seven times and he's still there. <laughs> Maybe he's got a health bar like you. <laughs> <laughs> a really big one. Okay, I'm not even sure where I'm supposed to... Where's my gap to run right now? Like, uh... <laughs> that was it, that was it. Uh, the thing is with the blocking, like, you need a second <laughs> for it to stop. Imagine being one of those orcs shooting this guy, <laughs> and you're just watching him stand there parrying all the arrows. <laughs> you're like, guys, I'm gonna go home. <laughs> this is bullshit. <laughs> this fucking... I hate this. No, leave me alone. <laughs> Maybe if they didn't shoot as fast, that would be something. Or if they came, yeah, if they all shot it in one massive volley, so you had these larger windows to. Hero, your health is low. Do you have potions or food? <laughs> <laughs> You're making negative progress. <laughs> Look how many times you he's getting even, shot, this guy. You can't. Oh, you can see the arrows. He's gonna have like back. a whole quiver at his back. <laughs> That's why they never run out of ammo. First guy always gets resupplied. I just stand here. Can they even shoot me? It's a good game. I think Jinx's character could have been really improved if she had damaged tattooed on her forehead, just my opinion. <laughs> no! <laughs> it's true. Just in case anybody didn't quite get that. No. I think it does no! help. Jinx has an idea. Just Stop it! Stop not... it! Oh god. There you go, I died. I'm gonna save my arrows for that round. Maybe that's the solution. <clears throat> Which is not well made, but hey. Um... Oh, you died, idiot. Man, are you supposed to be supportive? Oh. I'm glad you died, idiot. That's not supportive, that's mean. Oh. I'm glad. Thank you. There's Ooh. so many of them just running in circles. I'm not sure what the idea here is, yeah, because they're all, like, if they had to think, do you think they were like, oh, it would be too hard if they all attack you straight away? Maybe. So they're just gonna run around. Yeah, I guess so. Until, like, I guess you kill more of them and then they, the more of them activate or something. I don't know. That was swift justice. It really was. That was fair. That was fair. With justice, no mercy. Um, this one says Cupcake. Nice. 
I'd gasm if they released an arcane art book. Also, if you could, what faction scene would you guys join? Piltover, I guess. Yeah, Piltover. Um, I wouldn't be averse to helping Zorn, but I wouldn't want to be a part of Zorn. It seems like a Zorn, nightmare. Yeah. A little bit. That was a bit dang dangerous. There. Yeah, Piltover sounds sounds nice and cozy. Make me a science bro. I'll do science. Science, science bro. I'll be like, oh, guys, let's just do some science today. Fuck everything else. And they're like, let's do everyone, it. And everyone was like, goes like, yeah, science. And then I get blown up and I'm like, what? What? That's bullshit. Stupid kids. Gosh darn kids with their blowing stuff up stuff. Told them not to do it, but they still did it. Yeah. Ketting. Uh, blah, blah. Kate letting Vi out is in character, even if it was reckless. She's naive, idealistic, and empathetic. Vi came off as very genuine. Her antagonism actually helped with that, and she was being beaten. I mean, it's just a good old prison conversation. We were there for a good, like, 40 minutes, I think. Uh... Favorite and least favorite episode of Smiling Friends? My favorite is probably Frowning Friends, and least favorite is Mr. Shrimp, though I still like that episode. I feel like any episode I pick for my least favorite, I'm going to be annoyed at myself for picking it. <laughs> like, how is that one the worst? I don't know. But, uh, hmm. You recently did full coverage of Imel. You must have the answer. I, did, I have all the answers. Uh, I really I really like the f a fairy forest. The fairy forest is pretty darn good. Enchanted forest. You Enchanted idiot. forest, yeah. I also think the, the first episode is super strong. I really like the first episode. I think the first episode might be my favorite. Yeah, I'm, I was thinking about that. I think I said it uh, in my coverage. I'm not sure anymore. But I just like how everything just happens there. Just Desmond running around with a reloaded revolver everywhere and nobody yeah. even gives a shit. <laughs> just Pretty his great. responses. Is this guy supposed to make me feel better? <laughs> What, oh, when that, he, when he... what about that ad? Like, yeah, I guess it's kind of cool. It's cool. <laughs> so, doesn't make me feel better, though. Yeah, I didn't apparently, think so. <laughs> apparently, Ben Shapiro has ranked every Batman movie. All right. Okay. That could be interesting. Did he put Batman and Robin at the top? Because, obviously... I don't know. I just, I just noticed the thumbnail someone posted in the Discord. Well, thank goodness he has. I was waiting to get the answer on that. But I'm, I'm still not sure which one I would say is the worst one. Because all of them have something funny in them. And they're so short and compact that there's not like a lot of time for you to get bored. Uh, I don't know. Look, I can do this uh, level now because I have arrows. This is well designed. Uh... All right. Well, that's that. I'm, I might go with the shrimp one too. I don't know, just from a gut feeling. But that one is really funny as well. I don't know. <laughs> the oh, fuck? Nice. This is just the same level again. <laughs> well, no, no, these ones have crossbows. Oh, that makes a huge difference to me. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <clears throat> oh, stop running away. Dude, his fucking mithril arrows are so ridiculous. I love them. Just ammo is the problem now. Um, yeah, least favorite episode. I really don't know what I would pick. Yeah. Another it's fucking mission. Wow, that sucks. <laughs> what is uh, this? <laughs> I mean, I don't wanna. I don't wanna annoy you, but look at the top right. It says six out of twenty. No, I know that. That's rounds. But, like, they're not supposed to all be this. Oh, okay, gotcha. <laughs> Alright, <clears throat> spare me the fucking archer levels, please. What's that thing on the ground, the red thing? That's health. Oh, are you gonna save it? Pick it up. I think they give you health and arrows based on level progression now, not uh, killing people when you're low. <laughs> Uh, Jay is bigoted against gilfs. Yeah, that's fair. Yo, what? Round two, baby. I love this show so much. The more people make bad critiques, 
cough, Duma, cough, the more they reinforce my adoration of Arcane. Oh my. It's a masterpiece. No, I'm not jumping the gun. I'm right. Fun fact, Pim's voice actor is Silco's VA. What? I don't think so. Is this Michael Cusack that plays Pim and Silco is not played by him? Yeah. Why would you why would you lie? <laughs> why would you say that? Why would you just lie to us like that? Wait, sorry, what was the lie? They said Pim's voice actor is played by Silco's VA. No. <laughs> no, okay, no, they're not. Why would why why would you say that? Such a I, weird I knew lie to Free is gonna get so annoyed it's by this. Pretty, yeah, I don't it's know why. Lie. Pim's voice <laughs> actor is the voice actor for Grayson. We all yeah. knew that. No, it's not. Stop. <laughs> I think the voice actor for Grayson was the guy who played um the what was the guy in in, in Far From Home the uh the other dude oh Vulture yeah who Peter was competing against no. <laughs> Oh man, all these lies. Oh, I don't Peter Parker. To, I don't know what the heck no more, man. I don't know what to really get in the no oh, more, man. Head, get man. out of my head. Belch. Played by the voice actor for, um, I don't know, uh, Savika. Pim in the freaking Arcane show. Wait, who's called Pim in Arcane? Nobody. It's probably someone, right? Out there. I'm sure there's someone in that. Well, even then, I'm not oh, sure. Oh, so the, the random guy in the brothel who goes, "Hi, I'm Pim." I don't even fucking remember. That's what he said. I, I don't really like that. Pim. I don't remember that. Oh, let me look was, it up. Yeah, Arcane, it's this this, this Pim. weirdo. So coming, Pim. I I gotcha. That one. Oh, that guy is apparently his name. Yeah, Pim with one M. I think it's two M's for uh, Smiling Friends, right? Or am I wrong on that? Uh, no, I, I think it's Smiling Friends. So. It's P I M. It's just Pim. <clears throat> well, there you go. Sorry, we, it's just there's other super chats about smiling friends, so I thought that's who you're referring to, not this character. I mean, uh, I didn't know the character's called Pim. <laughs> I don't think anybody I did. <laughs> I forgot about that. Uh, also, play DDLC Dumbos. Rude. But uh, maybe one day, who knows? Uh, you remember, probably not, how before you watched the show, I super chatted the people's critiques of it are unironically poor. Doom is being a good example right now. Oh, oh no. Hey, people's critiques of a lot of things are unironically poor. Because humans suck. They're also okay sometimes. Yeah, yeah, I feel that way. I know exactly what you mean. Mm -hmm. Oh god, it's like the same level. What am I to do? Die? <laughs> Pretty much. This is a really clever game design. There's so many more waves. This is bullshit. The problem here is that, <laughs> unlike the other waves where I can just attack them because they don't have shields, these ones I have to do a specific move first, and like, it's <clears> difficult <throat> to do. It's like, it's like they're making it too challenging, you know? And that's unacceptable. Oh, fuck off. You bastard. Um, penis man is derogatory. Use the term penis of scrotum. No, person of scrotum. A person of scrotum? <laughs> oh, I thought that was just what you call a man now, is you call is a person of scrotum. Scrotem. Council of scrotum. Scrotenheim. Oh, look, it's the scene where Jinx and Silco don't kiss. How lovely. <laughs> Uh, who taught you how to mm. punch? Zorn needed you. Game quote. Warwick to Vi. You were there. Let me forget. Warwick to Vi. Season 2 will be interesting. Uh, yeah, since they apparently added those ready for Arcane, so... Definitely interesting. Vi looks strong. Abby looked cartoonish. Neil should take notes. Uh, I think there's a lot of what people complained about. Is there were some shots of Abby's arms that were hilarious, um, but there were some that were fine, from what I remember. It's just the nature of, uh, I don't know, a game model can fuck up sometimes, maybe? I don't know, it's, but... There was so much wrong with Abby. So much. Also, she was in a post-apocalyptic world while, uh, Vi was in prison. The, the reasoning for why they've become who they are and stuff is a little different. 
but uh basically the same sure yeah a lot of people didn't like the last of us too so weird mm. Mm. um came in here to quickly say love you guys i'll watch after work happy birthday rags uh, thank you and then that's it for stream two of arcane wow you know what um nice yeah I, I thought we were only like coming close to halfway but that was that was that uh which means if if, uh, if uh, is everyone okay are you are you all right is everyone doing all right i mean i just leave when i'm tired so i didn't ask you <laughs> well you didn't <laughs> yeah cry i didn't cry i c coughed uh well what i will say is i, I guess we'll do the remaining Boba Fett premiere super chats, of which there are some, of course. Boobon. Got a. Um, so these are the episode four ones. If you unplug the back to tank, does he just drown? <laughs> when you say unplug, do you mean the, the the part that gets the oxygen to him? Because like, yeah, I guess so. Well, you probably wake up because he's like, oh, I can't no, breathe. No, no, no. I'd better open this up. I better press my button. Yeah. Press those buttons, boy. I bet that would be an interesting way to assassinate someone if you're a hacker, right? You hack the thing to stop working and the button to not open, so they drown in there. Yeah. <clears throat> that would be pretty badass, yo. Badass. Or, if you want to assassinate someone in a back-to-tank, there are alternative, alternative methods. Oh, I've seen so many. You know, I haven't actually seen that many, but I've seen ones that don't work. <laughs> you know, it's actually, I've only seen one, but it didn't go so well. It was, in fact, it was a little embarrassing. You know, I got wrecked on that. I don't know how I'm going to beat that that part. That gets, that gets real diff, you know? Real diff. Maybe I should play as Grandalf. He, he might be better than Legoland. Grandalf and Legoland? <laughs> <laughs> is, Gan is, is Gandalf a wolf? <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, Molarom. Have you played Smash Bros. Ultimate? Uh, I believe I have, yeah. It was neat. I didn't get too into it, though. Um, Bringy, have you played a lot of it? Uh, I did play a lot of it when it came out, yeah. There you go. What do you think? Review it. I really like it. Wait. I forgot this was Gandalf's ability and it's fucking great. I got a little big circle around me and there's nothing you can do about it. Oh my god, this is oh, so fucking no. good. Look at this shit. Oh my god. It's so unfair. <laughs> Look at him all, I can't do he anything. Is, he is a fucking wizard. It's true. Yep. I can confirm that. All right, the mistake was playing as Legoland instead of Grandel. This is true. <laughs> Not often something you say in Lord of the Rings games. You know, you don't often say, "I made the mistake of playing as Legolas." He's he's number two. The person you really don't want to play as a fucking Hobbit in this these levels. Holy shit! See if they had put like the ultimate interview with all of the cast behind having to beat all of this with every character. I would have been sad. Yeah, the Hobbit should have like a passive dodge chance or something like that. You gotta have something. You need something like yeah. You 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 need to be f move faster, or it's something you know. Ooh, one of one of my moves is called Dark Deliverance. Neat. Elm's Hammer. All right. Orc Hewer. Okay, dokey. I feel like I'm gonna have to do a lot of ability farming in this one. Um, also, guten tag to rags. Oh, hello. And to metal. Uh. <laughs> we'll, we'll wait for him, it's alright. Where did he go? Did he left, leave us again without saying anything? Oh, that stinks. It's rude is what that is. We should, like, fucking mm. kill him, I think. Mm. Well, alright. You know, I... Alright, fine. Um, and the guy with the Logan Paul haircut. Um, who had the Logan Paul haircut? What's the Logan Paul haircut? Oh, wait, this is a Boba Fett coverage, so... Jay? Is that the idea? Does Jay have the... I... I don't know. I do not know myself. Uh... 
Um. Oh, and the Australian cucumber. Ah, uh, hey, I'm not a cucumber. Good to clarify that, I would say. Yep. I would say, I, yeah, I agree. Um. Ah, oh, yes, Fringy's EFAP's cough host. Nice. Ah, uh, yeah, sorry about that. Coffin, you know. Uh, don't you love how they were welding stuff inside her body? Surely that is pro doctor tactics. I I don't know how any of it makes sense. They're just very glad that they can find yet another way of making it so that no one ever dies. Yep. Somehow Gamora was so popular in Guardians of the Galaxy that she gave birth to gods named after her in this show. Gamorian gods. Okay. I'm sure that was the origin. In Stephen King's book, On Writing, he said the editor is always right. Black Widow leads me to believe otherwise, as does this show. Um, there, there's a sentiment behind what he's saying that's important and understandable. It's just, yeah. you know, one of those ones where you're Sometimes like... Sometimes that's not the case. Don't take it too literally. Boba kind of forgot where his armor was. I think this is... Oh yeah, this is about the Sarlacc shit. Ugh, terrible. Mm-hmm. People on Instagram told me I was stupid because I called a pussy? Because I called a pussy? I was born in 1980. Empire was everything to my childhood. Yeah, it was for a lot of people. Uh, Morlel, have you considered doing an audiobook? Um, I guess so. It's been considered. I just don't know what I would do, where I would do. You know, maybe one day. Uh, also, Konnichiwa to Rags. Oh, hello to you. Konnichiwa. And to Leather Commander. Oh, uh, hello. Oh, now he's here, huh? Yes, I thought. I was doing a pee. Oh, do a pee, huh? Okay. Oh, what do you want from me? No, what Ow. do you want from me? Huh? Ow! Ah! Wow, how broken. Sometimes I can't even set my superpower level if they don't... It needs like a couple of seconds to charge. That's ridiculous. How do they expect me to win? It's yeah. good. I don't want to get good. Then you fail. I just wish to kill everything. Uh, hmm. Oh, and also hi to Jake and the Australian bird. Not a bird, but hi. Hmm. I mean, if enough people say it, is it going to be in question? No, oh, I don't think that's something that's... No. I don't feel like no. that means anything. Damn, alright. If there's done. no factual basis to support it. It's reality. Jay, do you have the DSL? Good. That's one more fuckable end. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, this wasn't a good plan. Wait, I have my l laser wizard Deck bolts. Shield. Dude, the fucking bolts from him are funny as hell. Look at them go. Imagine watching this bullshit. <laughs> like, well, I guess he's magic or something, I don't know. What was the point of us doing this? <laughs> Why are we here? How do we get here? What's all this fog? I wanna go home. Are we in... Is this hell? <laughs> <laughs> Are the demons? Is this our punishment or his? I don't know. <laughs> uh, Mola, why do you hate Interstellar? Specifically hate over dislike. Well, <laughs> you never quite know what'll lead you to... to because there's an emotional reaction, right? So it's like, why does it get to me that much compared to other things that are... Arguably. Like, I don't hate Boba Fett. It's like, why? It's like, I just think it's really dumb, I guess. I just, you know. Um, but Interstellar, I hate it, I think, I've said for a long time, because it really tries to come across as incredibly fucking smart. And it thinks it's, like, educating <laughs> you on how important uh, love is, and, like, love will save us all. But just I love is an intrinsic element of the universe. Can help you no, navigate. Not love for a son, though. He often forgets that his son even exists. This is what I mean. I find it's like listening to a pretentious video essayist tell you about life, and then like accidentally, without realizing, fucking just shits all over their own message. 
while also mm -hmm. feeling that they're better than everybody because of their message. Falling into a black hole somehow connects you to like a bookshelf or something in your house. <laughs> it's it's a lot to take in that movie. Uh, How could he breathe? Hey, don't, Where, it's the fourth dimension. There? You don't need to breathe. Or the fifth dimension. I can't remember what they say. <laughs> Ooh, the band. Do his cells continue to uh, form and die? The answer is yes. And where do they go? Are they just all floating around in there? Oh, wow, you're nitpicking. How, how warm is it in there? Is it like a nice, comfortable 20 degrees Celsius? Or is it... Yeah. These are the questions you need to ask whenever you're dealing with, like, space. Um... That, that, does yeah. that film have a lot to do with space? Yeah. Oh, it's, it's only called Interstellar. Oh. But otherwise, you know, otherwise <laughs> it's pretty, uh, pretty non-space, like. Alright. Can't wait for How the sequel, the Interstellar they... Rangers Commands. <laughs> what? The fact that they were on that planet with the waves. Like, why did that guy die? He was right next to the ship. He just decided not to get in. Dude, everything and then about, he died. It's everything about that scene. Everything about all the scenes. Fuck them. I hate them all. And, and uh, why did why did they go to that planet first? Do, do you remember? Was it the closest one on their trip, or most viable statistically? I think is what they say. Right. It was but the one that had the less amount of love in it. It's the least. And love the least planet. amount of love was How in come, it. Why did love. they? Why is it that they didn't factor into the decision to go there, the gravitational... Like, surely that would be actually a big reason not to go there. That, um... If it's a lost cause, like if it's, you know, if if, if it's if uh, one hour there is eight years on Earth, why would you even consider that, like, a real option? I don't know, I think they didn't know that. When they were really far How away. How could they not have known that? I can go watch the movie, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Fringy, did, did you know don't that? We have a I know the exoplanets are difficult to identify, but I mean, wouldn't it just be a matter of figure out how close it is to the black hole or whatever to figure out the, the issue of, like, time dilation? I, I figure that's something that you would be able to calculate, or at least something that you would consider calculating if you're going to send a person there. Like, if you know where the planet is, if you know where it is and you can send people to it, then that means you probably know a decent amount about it. At least in terms of where it is, how close it is to the planet that they're orbiting. Yeah, how could they? How could they have not known that? Be right back. We will do coverage of Interstellar one day, maybe, or at least I will. I, I've said I wanted to, and I will one day. I, I'm not. I'm so not much mad audio Interstellar. for that. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? You're not free. Uh, I'm not that interested. Like I, I thought don't it was, even I didn't care like if it, you want. Uh, no, I, 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 okay. I'm just saying that. That's all. And you you they sounded pretty passionate just then. <laughs> well, it's just it's all it's all it's all coming back to me again. Uh, just <laughs> think of think of how much you would find on a rewatch. Probably yeah, and I guess I just uh, I find love it saves the day. It's like man, can we do something a little bit more interesting than that, please? Love, um, I want love to tragically cause the downfall of the day. I mean, I isn't like that what Infinity War is about? Yeah, in a certain sense, we don't trade lives. You probably should have, because in, <laughs> yeah. in exchange for not trading Vision live, he died anyway, and so did half the universe. That's the thing, man. It would have been that was Endgame's job, I think, to have that reality set in. It's like you don't trade lives. You fucking did. You traded a lot of yeah. lives. You piece of shit. That's all. Uh, and shit. then in Endgame, they traded the lives of all the people who died in the intervening five years yep. of the snap, as well as all of the people who would die in the ensuing humanitarian crises. Food shortages, power outages, wars, displacement, refugee crises, crises. <laughs> I don't know how I got it right the first time and screwed it off the second time. And why? They didn't even sit down and have a conversation about the manner by which they should bring everybody back or whether it might be worthwhile to try and reverse time. And if you're going to reverse time, well, how do we bring back all of the kids who were born in those five years? Like, we shouldn't rob them of their chance. Uh, what should we do about memories? Well, they we had their chance. These memories and logistics, <laughs> but we're not interested in that. If you were on a plane that crashed because both the pilots got snapped, sorry, too bad for you. If you were on Xandar, you still got half. Well, actually, you got a quarter of your planet for a period there, and then you got half. But you're not mm. bringing everybody back. Half the Asgardians are still dead. A lot of Wakandans are still dead. Um, man, it's just, uh, it's, uh, oh. Dude, I, I imagine if you're like board. some kid who got snapped, 
Uh, and then one of your parents died and, like, the other parent, I don't know, moved to a totally different country and then you just get snapped back into your house. Imagine how distressed you would be trying to figure out where your parents are. Whether or not they're even alive and you're, like, six years old and you're Which, by the in way, this crazy chaotic world. would be an awesome story to tell. Uh, that is definitely a story to tell, but we're not interested in doing that. The good guys saved the day. Um, and everybody's happy and it's great. Never mind all the people who died in those intervening years. Or uh, all the people whose lives have been totally destroyed. Like, the economic crisis that would be caused by the snap. Like, the Great Depression. That, it's gonna pale in comparison to that. Half the world, God. Like, in an instant, because a purple alien decided that. A purple alien that you didn't even know existed until that day. And you can't understate how much of a disaster it is to drop half the world back in, randomly. Well, mm -hmm. I, no, that's, uh, that's, of course, because the world tends to operate, you know, this might surprise you all, but the world tends to operate, um, you know, with consideration for the amounts of people who actually exist. Um, the world is designed to work if there are about seven billion of us. Half, things aren't gonna work, and then when you scale everything down, and then half of them suddenly come back, Man, you're in, a, you're in a lot of trouble. How do you deal with things like inflation and everything like that when half the world just disappeared and then came back? Just all financial problems that are going to stem from it. It's, yeah. it's There was a, a lot of financial issues after the Black Plague when everyone started, uh, a lot of people well, died and the amount of money stayed the same. The Black, yeah, the uh, well, every major, every time that a lot of people have died in a very short amount of time on Earth, it's been significant in terms of the changes that have happened because of it. Um, and this is this is all of that, but like 10 times worse. Half. Half. Half of politicians, half of doctors, half of engineers, soldiers, you know generals, what's funny? teachers. Those are all averages. Imagine just the country of like Turkey, just nobody fucking goes. They just lucked out. Well, so I guess <laughs> yeah. some places would luck out, right? It's like half. You know? it, it's and, and, probably you know, unlikely that any is country. Half of the species? Well, yeah, like without without going into too much detail, I just like the idea that it's like America loses ninety eight percent. It's like, oh, <laughs> geez, yeah. So well, like, yeah, well, imagine, yeah. well, just imagine all of the succession issues. Uh, sorry, uh, yeah, succession issues that you would have if you lost like the president, the vice president, and like the head of the house, the speaker for the house. It's like, man, could you imagine how crazy? I, I, like, imagine in a country that's less stable, you know? I know that we don't like to think about it in the Marvel movies, but developing countries are probably going to have a really hard time dealing with half of the population just disappearing. Especially, I don't even talk about it in the video, half the trees as well, half the plants, apparently. Man, get, what, what happens when, that Well, so like, that's something that they said. You said that. Yeah, you, you don't yeah. have to necessarily Dude, include that. Dude, that. Half the tree. And then you snap it back and, like, half the when crops When do they say the plants? Back. Well, they uh, don't Kevin say it in the movies. Half the plants. And animals, well, too. Could you imagine half the animals? they say it in animals? a later film? Like, no, no Kevin Feige said it in an interview. How- why- I feel like we said three times, yep. Kevin Feige said it, you keep asking about if it was in a different movie. Franks, you gotta listen. Well, I, I guess it was- I guess you guys were talking over each other, so it's really your fault. Um... But are you gonna nah, have that in your video? Because I heard you and Fringy. So. Uh, I didn't talk about the plants. Um, that would be an, that would be an interesting aside in the well, video to be like, so, you know, this isn't even talking about what Feige said. Like, holy shit! Can you imagine well, if that actually yeah. happened? Yeah, I. Uh, there are things that don't get mentioned that are problems. Um, in what is going to probably be a two-hour video. There's there's more <laughs> than is discussed. I tried, but then sometimes you think of something totally new. It's so bad. I'll just start up my big power. I'm gonna die. No, oh, you're no. really struggling. They're all ganging up on you. Only halfway through. Why are they doing this? Well? I'm a friendly wizard. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank fuck. I don't think I'm making it through the next round, though. What exactly is the challenge here? Survive? Yeah. Okay, you got 20 rounds to go. That without taking any damage, right? Somehow I'm still alive. I'm not really clear on that I don't one. Get, yeah, I don't know how you survive that. 
Um, wouldn't that be death of the author? Um, well, the, I I guess it's just when you watch the films, we don't see trees turn to dust. Yeah, that's why um, I would be like, whatever. <laughs> Think maybe we, we should ignore Kevin or anything either. Yeah, we don't see dogs or uh, and imagine the ecological crisis as well if you halved. You know, like what does it mean well, for the plankton? Be half... You'd be fucked. Yeah, half the plankton. Like, oh my god. Goodbye, marine like, that's life. That's the oxygen. As we yeah, know I it. mean, that's most <laughs> of the oxygen that we get, as far as I know, is from plankton. It's not from like trees. So plankton for... are the base. Of... Oh, go for it, metal. Your, your furniture disappears. <laughs> your wooden furniture <laughs> just fucking disappears. Yeah. Well, I guess do corpses disappear? Half of no, I don't. I get we don't see that, but uh, damn, half the plankton because plankton are at the the like they are the bottom level of the entire food ecosystem of the sea. Um, yeah, we don't think about, like, like bacteria. So, for instance, when I get snapped, do all of my bacteria go with me, or do half of them go? And do the other half just fall to the ground? And when I come back... But, we, we, you know, we don't want to get into the minutiae of that, because then you have to start asking questions about what does it mean to erase half of life. Yeah. Because life... There's a lot of things that are alive that you don't think about. Like cheese. Don't think you so. A, <laughs> you should have a segment where you go through all the points you couldn't include without elaborating, with the disclaimer that there are still so many problems. Uh, there is a disclaimer that there's more that I could have talked about. I, I guess I don't know what the point... Like, the goal is to be ex exhaustive, at least, on what I think are the main problems. Um, I, I guess I don't see where it slots in to just have, like, okay, so this is all just the minutia of, of how... Um, yeah, of how stupid it is. It, it, there, there was not a lot of thought put into it. Um, it's kind of like reminds me of um, like it, it just I think it's just these aspects of the science of what we're doing that we kind of ignore, and you can get away with it sometimes with science. Like nobody really questions hyperspace as a thing or like slip space. Mm. We can sort of accept those as as rules, but then. You think about the idea of like fucking star killer base sucking in like a, a a star, but it's a planet, but it's sucking in the entire mass of a star. When the mass of our sun in the solar system, I think it counts for like ninety eight percent. Yeah, it might even be more crazy. than that. Ninety eight, ninety nine percent of all of the mass, mass in the solar in system. Soul yeah, something like that. Yeah. So imagine if Earth, an Earth sized planet, because I'm pretty sure that terrestrial rocky planets don't get much bigger than Earth. That to get bigger than that, you're typically uh, going to be a gas giant. A terrestrial planet about the size of Earth somehow absorbing all of the mass of the sun and storing it within the planet. A planet that is presumably not hollow. But, you you know, like, I think, I think when you watch that movie, or, like, you watch any movie where there's some weird science stuff, you kind of just don't recognize it at the time. And then it's like, well, wait a minute, what, what are we doing? <laughs> like, the science is just not lining up at all. Endgame is a really strong example of that. Sorry, tangent over. Can Hello you tell again. I've been thinking about Endgame? Yeah, is there, are you making a video on it or something? Uh, I mean, I've been thinking about it. Mm -hmm. For, at this point, a very long time. <laughs> God. Oh. <sighs> All right. Uh, apparently, terrestrial planets do get really big. I didn't know that. Imagine the gravity could be really high on those planets. Yeah, you would think so, given the mass. Uh, but we don't ever really think about differential gravity on uh, in no, the Star we don't. Wars universe. <laughs> they all yeah, have all planets air. just have gravity. They all just have they all have about gravity. Yeah. percent nitrogen. About seventy eight percent nitrogen and like seven or eight thirteen percent carbon dioxide or, or how whatever the composition is of Earth. Uh, a terrestrial planet forty times the size of Earth. Wow. Okay. It doesn't matter. There is no it's planet. A big hunk as big as, there is no planet yeah. as big as the sun. Right? Like that's, that doesn't exist. Hello again, Rhino Milka Massives. You guys seriously get me through my days at work. I'm always cracking up and causing my coworkers to ask, what's funny? I rags, Boba sucks. Hello. No reason. Hey, what's funny? Oh, <laughs> plenty of cream. <laughs> uh, <Lock> cream. Oh. <laughs> Why would you say that? Um, yeah, good to hear. Glad you enjoy.
All of the coverage. Coverage. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, would dusting only half of all sentient life be better? Yeah, it would. Um, if you had some sort of qualifier that I'm specifically getting rid of, uh, the problem is that then you still have questions stemming from what do a lot of places look like if half the humans die, but like 100% of the animals and everything are fine, but you run into less problems. Um, yeah. Uh, why can't Metroid crawl? It's, it's a plot hole. <laughs> she, she can't crawl, she only balls. She's super fucked She can't crawl, up. she only balls. Yep. And I think that has done, you know, a disaster for women everywhere. It's like, oh, women can't crawl. It's like, they can. They can, don't, they can. Don't underestimate. The oh, you bet you're at, oh yeah, women can absolutely crawl. Hit <laughs> I think Halo is a cool guy. Eh, kills aliens and doesn't afraid of anything. I think they meant he kills aliens. <laughs> True. Mm-hmm. Uh, it just says Echoes of the Ancients. Alright. Book of Bob does not appear to be a good show at all. Also, Guten Tag to Leather Commander and Rags and Australian Horsefly. Oh, Guten Tag. Hello. He's not a he's not a horsefly, he's a bird. Yeah. Or cucumber or whatever. One of those two. Mm-hmm. Fucking god, these levels are so good. Oh you had to restart, oh, okay. Oh, this is gonna be tough um, for me to ever get through this. Maybe we'll see if I'm through. guessing you're in the hardest difficulty as well. Let's find out. I'm a normal that's normal. <laughs> <laughs> what? This looks like hell. This was a time when video game balance was just. Mm. Can't even find Does my this stupid... game have better or worse balance than Lord of the Rings: The Third Age? Uh, well, Third Age's problem is it, it was balanced heavily toward you, which feels better than this. <laughs> There you go. I figured I was dead. Go up to hard. I I I don't want to do that. <laughs> Gotta be hard. Um, Dave Filoni watching them retcon Clone Wars. Heh <laughs> I'm a cuck. <laughs> okay. Uh, but don't worry. Star Wars will come back under Disney. Oh, end our suffering, please. Oh, we got plenty more. Yeah. Plenty more to come. Oh. Test out hard difficulty. Look, I wouldn't mind doing that if we can actually beat this on fucking normal. Even <laughs> then. And maybe reconsider it at that point. Like, is that suicide? Probably. The purpose isn't to collect the slime of the huts, it is to collect the reactions of the legendary doggo of greetings. Hi, Ragsy. Mm. How are you today? Hello, I've been tricked. I've been turned into a power source. My well, God. I guess it depends. That might not be bad at all. Yeah, Especially if it's a source of inspiration. Yeah, and if all you have to do is say hi, you're not or in some kind of owners. horrifying way. Mola, did you know that England is your city? Free, do you know that England is also your city? And Rags, did you know that England wow. is not your city? Oh, yeah, I know. My city is... It, it's, it's far away. Mm -hmm. It's very far away. You're not Mando, but keep our sacred weapon off my ass off. Yeah, that seemed to be the summary. So, the only reason I can get my power going on these guys is because they're slower. Which is nice. But, I'm gonna have to find some other way of doing it with the others. Um, the N-word saber was never heavy until this Boba episode. We have reached Zack Snyder levels of contrivance here, gentlemen. Apparently it was heavy in the in either Rebels or the Clone Wars, um, but I don't remember it being heavy in Mando Season 2. Mm. And if you look at the clips, it really doesn't look like it's heavy. Because it's bullshit. Yeah, what Mel said. We just made that shit up. 
which is wrong and evil. Wrong. Uh, already up to episode six of Boba now. How can the N1 Whoa. use hyperspace without an astromech? Um, Why? Well, I, I assume you just get in and press the buttons and you go. Is that? I, I guess we just have to accept that. If you need an astromech droid to pilot it, that seems like a, a shockingly stupid requirement. I disagree. I think that when it comes to hyperdrive, that it's incredibly complex and that having a droid sorted out for you is the best way they can justify it beyond you just going, I don't fucking know, button woo. Well, do, you, do you not have access to the computers that would, like the, like the Millennium Falcon and stuff? Wait, well, how do you think the Millennium Falcon does it? Does it, does, does it use an astromech droid? The equivalent, yeah, that's how it works. Then why why would you require a droid? Wouldn't you have that built into the? It seems like that should That's just be what something that, is. that comes. So like every... the Millennium Falcon, and as they've now told us, has L three three seven built into it. That was the idea back in the OT, but we just didn't know that it was that droid. It has like an onboard AI computery thing that does all of that. The N one Starfighters and other ones like it need astromechs, like X wings need astromechs for it as well. They don't have okay. an onboard computer like the Millennium Falcon does. The Millennium it, the the idea is the Millennium Falcon has an astromech built into it. Okay. Because the Millennium Falcon is really big. Now that's how they, I think, tried to balance the old uh, hyperspace a little bit when they first made the OT. It was like, gotta get precise okay. calculations. And so, not having R2 in the... Uh, well, not having any astromech in his N1 Starfighter made people question should he even be able to be doing hyperdrive with how they've explained it to work. Yeah, I the thing doesn't even seem to be... It doesn't seem like it's even space-worthy. Why not just include it on all ships? I mean, that's not for me to say. <laughs> like, it's... Maybe it's expensive, I don't know. Um, where are we? These four guys drove out together halfway across the planet to trade money for spice with each other? It's bizarre. I don't know why yeah. they're there. Seems like they could have chosen anywhere and they decided to go just outside Mos Pelgo for some reason. <laughs> uh, okay. It's really stupid. It's a whole planet. It's a whole fucking planet. Why you gotta get it? Why are you just fly it to where you need to go? Is Spice mind on Tatooine? Why do you have to, yeah, just fly it to where it needs to go? It's not like you need the roads. You don't need roads in Star Wars. And if this is the source of all your money, how, yeah, that shit should be on, like, spaceships. You just take it to where it needs to go. Be careful, kid. If you have a bad dream, you're getting the saber. Yep. Lucky Grogu got out of there, though. They don't need to establish Bane as a badass, Rags. It comes baked into his character. <laughs> Bane? Cad Bane. Cad oh. Bane. Yeah, I guess Star Wars fans really coom when they see a him. and Because I think he looks fucking silly. But I guess he's supposed to be really imposing and scary or something. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's hyper popular as we saw from those reactions, right? I don't want to think about those reactions. Make me sad. No, they don't. That's that's you when you spot, uh, you know, uh, him joining an endgame. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, how excited would you be if Desmond came out of one of the portals with his little revolver from Assassin's Creed? <laughs> I would fucking laugh my ass off, dude. Just with his revolver in his head, <laughs> his head is like, oh, I guess I'm gonna kill myself now. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. No, 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 no. <laughs> he slaps his belly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh. Luke believes that babies should vote. <clears throat> well, he would say 50-year-olds should be able to vote, but then we'd be like, Luke, 
Come on. <laughs> Come on. <coughs> we live in a timeline where the Disney funded Boba Fett show is trash, but the LOL show is some kind of uh, some of the best content to exist. Did the spider foretell? No spiders warned us about this. No. That might be beyond their power. I don't even know. <clears throat> Uh, if you guys want another good show to watch, check out Reacher on Amazon. Hey, there you go. Now we go on to episode 7. Mola, did you know that England is your city? That's what I've heard. <laughs> Where did that come from? Fringy, did you know that Australia is your city? No, oh, okay. Rags, did you know that England is not your city? I did know that. One okay. of the super chatters told me not too yeah. long ago. Uh, someone made a quest mod for The Witcher 3 and they used AI to recreate Geralt's voice. Well, yeah, I oh, mean... Oh, that's interesting. I was going to say, there's that's, there's much more viability for that with with the whole Luke thing. It's like, we're already stuck all the way back. It's like, why are you bringing him into this? Stop it. Yeah, like, fan additions to games is very interesting. Uh, can we have AI-generated Arnold Schwarzenegger? They've done that already before. And, uh... Mm-hmm. Several times, actually. We're probably gonna get several more in the future. Yeah. How can a one-eyed frog catch a fly without depth perception? With the force, I guess. Sigh. It's the, it's the feels. It's just the feeling. Yeah, it's a feeling. Yeah. Yeah, you just gotta know. <laughs> There's a frog just floating around. <laughs> oh, shit. Can someone please call Child Protective Services on Luke? Jesus, you shoot babies with lasers and send them to random locations on Tatooine. <laughs> Not a great guardian. Not at all. It's sus. Did they ever actually show people worse off because of spice trading? For all Tatooine had never had problems with the Pikes until Boba went on his moral crusade, all because he wanted to be a crime lord without crime. Well, yeah, so we're supposed to believe that the spice has arrived recently, right? Because... If it were under Jabba's rule, then it, this would just be normal. Um, but Boba makes it sound like this is a new thing that's killing his people or something. It's the only thing he says, the spice is killing the people. people. It's like the one crime trade he could have, and he's like, no. Because <laughs> it's mean to my people. Okay, Boba. This is my city! Crime lord. <laughs> <laughs> crime Crime Lord. You just don't feel it at all, do you? You're like, what are you talking about? My like, city, it's like, what? Uh, all right. Like, cringe Lord. You're lying. This You're lying cringe. to me. Uh, one of my pals thinks that Fennec Shand is a Mary Sue. I think she's just extremely competent in comparison to no cringe Crime Lord Boba. Thoughts? I mean, it's hard to tell. It, the There's not much for her, is it? This discussion is an odd one she's not in much Star Wars. Person, yeah. Because people succeed not based on anything they actually do. It's just clearly just plot magic. I don't disagree with that. Oh my god, this... <gasps> my little power bubble actually blocks the arrows. Oh. <laughs> god, that was a much less cringe way to begin this level, eh? You know what else? I can just wait for it to charge by standing behind the fucking statue. Get wrecked, game. I have defeated you. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait here now. While we read some super chats. Um, Alright. But as for her, I don't know, her being a Mary Sue, I, it's, it's hard to say because of how much she's just not a thing as a cat. She's so much, there's so little character to her. She feels very secondary when she really shouldn't. But uh, she does seem to solve any problem she comes across. I, I'm not gonna disagree with that. Um. Oh, there's only two more for Boba Fett, and one of them is this is my city. Correction, England is my city. Ah. <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> yeah, I don't even know what that's from. Actually, I I really don't know what that's from. Well, apparently it's a Logan Paul song. That's what I've heard. England is my city. Apparently it's the lyrics in it. So sorry. Interesting. Yeah. Um, dum da dum dum da dum, Boba Fett. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it 
it was pretty weird. Uh, I saw a lot of people celebrating how awesome that was, and it's like, huh. You're all cringe. Yeah, it's pretty cringe. Half these people cringe. didn't even know who Cad Bane was a week before recording <laughs> their reaction. I don't know. There's a chance that they've all watched Clone Wars and liked it. I don't know. Of course know. they did. Um, so yeah, that's it for the Boba Fett ones. Yay! Are you catching up and stuff? It's insane. They're certainly trying. Uh, I'm trying to find where the other arcane ones are. Uh, hello. For some reason, EFAP are doing oh. an ocean-style casino heist. What skills do you bring? Who does the job? Kick J, high rags, moodle smells, etc. Hello. Hey. Say the question one more time. I want to get my ground rules down. Uh, what skills do you bring to an ocean-style casino heist, and who does what job? Uh, invisibility. Okay. <laughs> That's very useful. Uh, yeah. uh, let's see... Hmm. Well, we're gonna want someone on the inside. Someone who is, is pretty familiar with the, um... Someone who's really familiar with uh, internal workings of the system and what the employees do. Because I've never actually seen the movies. Uh, like someone who knows. Yeah, here's when the shifts change. Here's how the computer terminal works. Uh, you know, stuff like that. That would be very useful. That familiarity with the internal workings. Um... Especially nowadays, you want computer people, people who know, who are big into computer systems, like security cameras, and who can hack accounts, maybe forging, you know, stuff along those lines. I think that'd be super useful. Um, I don't know what skill I'd bring. I'll, I'll, I'll edit together a video that helps tutorialize the rest of our group. <laughs> I helped. Nice. Uh, who am I bringing? If I get to choose from everything everywhere, I'm going to bring God. He's going to be my main guy on the team. So you get me this thing bring out of there. God. Yeah, sure, no problem, homie. Bam. <laughs> Alright, man. <clears throat> um, do you, hi, Rags. Hi. Do you think Episode 3 assassinated Boba Fett's character as he fucking... As he... Oh, this is all blanked out, so I don't know what word it is. It's as he F star 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 star. What is this, Turtle Dreams? I don't know. Um, as he's something nice to be a mob boss. I mean, the short answer is yes. He thinks that Boba Fett has been assassinated in this scene. Yeah, I, I think Boba Fett's mm. character has certainly been ruined. He used to be something cool and interesting. Even in, in, in like... Uh, in, what's the word? Intimidating? But now he's just a, a loser. So, good job. You ruined Boba Fett in the Boba Fett show. Disney Star Wars. Taking names. Who's next? The answer? Kenobi. Your mom. <laughs> if he doesn't say hello there, the fans will be very upset. Hello! Oh. Uh, GDQ week, so we'll watch later. Thanks for all you do. Thank you Bye. for watching. Bye! Hello all, just wanted to recommend a game called Valheim. Early access, but really good in a better state than most AAA it seems. Only $20 and 1 gigabyte. Also, thoughts on the Witcher games. Hi Rax. Hi, yeah, Valheim's neat. It's neat. Played it when uh, it came I stayed out. on the Witcher games? Yeah. Oh, I liked 2 and 3 a lot. I never played the first one. I don't know what the current state of them is. Very positive, I suppose. I don't know anything about him, really. Unfamiliar, as they say. Um. Losers don't ride Rancor's Rex. <laughs> so mean. 
I remember correctly, when they introduced the rank, oh, you guys got really excited, right? Or I can't remember what I thought I you, at that moment. You guys moment. said, like, oh, I can't wait for him to sort of ride it. And I was like, oh, really? Yeah. Like a bentha. Yeah. Hi, Rags. Hi. What are everyone's thoughts on Peacemaker? What is it about? Um... Didn't watch it. <laughs> Didn't, yeah, I've seen enough. Wasn't very interested by the first and a half episode. Felt like he wasn't the same guy from the Suicide Squad. And I also felt like the plot was pretty crappily put together. And the jokes weren't very funny at all. So, I was thoroughly put off. And uh, I, was, I was on that adventure with... Uh, Fringy and Jay, who didn't seem very interested either, and so we ended up deciding to uh, give up. Would not recommend. However, uh, plenty of people have recommended it in general audiences, so maybe it is for you. Who knows? Mm. Second question, what are everyone's favorite bad movie quotes? Fucking everything from Batman and Robin. Just glorious. Garbage day! <laughs> well, the, the Troll 2 one, I guess. Classic. No, I did not hit her. That's not true. That is bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. You heard the story oh, of Darth Plagueis the Wise? Oh. <laughs> well, if we go in with liar! the prequels, then Liar has to come up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You turned You're her against him. me. You brought her in. <laughs> You're with him. You all turned up on me. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty funny. Oh, does it hurt? <laughs> does it hurt? More! More! Um, oh god, there's so many. That's not true, that's, that's not a true. lie. That's true, that's She's lying to you. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> What's oh. a story, Mark? <laughs> How about the classic, her heart's out, we can end this. Oh god. Oof, yeah. Um. Oh man, there's so many. Uh, of course, I'm an idea. That's one. Yeah. Wait, no, I hate that. No, sorry, I fucking hate that. <laughs> that's that's just a bad line that I hate. <laughs> I was gonna say there's no charm to it. It's just foul. Yeah, because I like that's not true. That's a lie. <laughs> it's, it's amusing to well, me. Well, I also like the lie. fucking... She's lying oh, to you. And of course, that's Katana. Yeah. She cut your heart in half. <laughs> Her soul dressed the source of its victims. It's a real funny line. Yeah. But of course, we need the air cut. So important. Hmm. I'm just trying to think. There's definitely more that I like, but I'm I'm struggling right now. Oh, they've got one in chat rags. It's the one you like. It's like a cave, a bat cave, because you you love that one. That's a great line from a bad movie. Yeah, that's right. Bat cave. Oh, then I will destroy, destroy you. you. <laughs> <laughs> Kalel, no. Why? Because yeah, of Kalel, your guilt. No, that's... Oh God. So... And of course, I haven't seen the film yet. And enough champagne to fill denial. <laughs> and enough champagne to fill denial. Something denial. Like it's denial. denial. Oh, I was talking about filling denial. <laughs> also, by the way, that scene, man, really bad ADR. Ooh. If any of you have seen the clip, the ADR Ooh. is like horrendous. Ooh. It, the lips don't sync up because the character was meant to say gather pack up all your things and for some reason it was changed to will pack up all your rooms and they just don't match at all i don't Please. know why that would it's experimental it's autistic it's a, there's a vision there is that wrong autisticness do you think it's oh, wrong yeah. for an artist to have a vision for you is that what you're saying of course where did you learn hitler that? was an artist with a vision where did you train? On a farm? That's a pretty great line. Yeah. I feel like it's partially thanks to us memeing the shit out of uh, that, that. It got more uh, I don't, oh, but also, but also, <clears throat> I will find him! <laughs> Dude, people like cite that. Why did you say that name? <laughs> that particular moment as like Zod at his most intimidating. He's in a he's in a space penis. I just I don't I can't take you seriously.
<laughs> I don't disagree with that, Rags. His space penis wasn't that intimidating. They'll never know what you <laughs> sacrificed. No, that's, I hate I've that been line. intimidated by big... Bl oh. <laughs> I think me and Friggy knew it was coming, but everyone else was just sort of waiting, and then the penises arrive, and they shoot off. <laughs> 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 the penis... <laughs> And then the penises I arrive. No, I remember the penis pods. <laughs> oh, Snyder, what are you doing? Why did they get through? Someone had to make those. <laughs> Don't you think they look a bit penisy? And he's like, that's the point. It's symbolic. <laughs> that's the point. It's symbolic of getting just, shafted. It's just <laughs> someone taking the piss. Like, it was like ready way earlier and it's like i'm just gonna send those in for fun and he never heard back and then he watched the movie yeah yeah still in he, it's like oh fun he, he had the real designs but he never yeah. was asked for them but he's just like oh oh i guess those are in there now penis pods the movie penis pod penis pod uh, mm -hmm. What is a film, show, book, etc. that you weren't into as a kid but found you enjoyed it when you gave it another shot when you were a bit older? For me, it was Star Trek DS9. Hmm. Hmm, that is a good question. What was something that, as a kid, you were like, <laughs> floompy, but then as an adult, King you're like, oh, hell. that was so floompy. Also, the other King way around hell. for me, like, stuff I liked back in the day, I go back and it's like, oh, that's actually pretty shit. <laughs> Uh, uh, King of the Hill. I think that's easy. When I was a kid, I didn't get it. Okay, I could see that. Yeah, I could see that being the case. I, d I just thought it was the show about propane. I didn't realize like that it actually was pretty good. But it turns out it was a funny show about propane. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Um, I'm not sure. I'm trying to think. It's like a bunch of stuff that I liked, but I had a greater <laughs> appreciation of when I watched it again when I was yeah, older, I guess. Yeah, there's definitely those. Uh, stuff that I didn't like but do like now. There's got to be examples, oh. I just can't quite remember any. Didn't like olives as a child, does that count? Yes. Yay! <laughs> <clears throat> I'm, I'm going to rely on chat to do their own suggestions and see if any of them match me. Simpsons? You're the worst. <laughs> I guess it means they came around in the end, so... Ratarango? Sounds like two movies have been combined. Dark Souls 2? No. You hate it when you're a kid and you hate it when you're an adult. That is that is the reality of everyone who played it. I'm sure of it. Mash. Yeah, Mash. I could see a show people not liking that as a kid. I'll give one Gilligan's Island. When I watched it when I was a little kid, I just didn't get it like it at all. And then when I went back and watched it when I was older, I really appreciated it, and it was kind of funny. Oh, there you go. Mola's channel. Wow. Jeez. <laughs> but they did come around, huh? You got shield. Seriously, Gandalf's little flumey shield is making these levels a lot easier. <laughs> I just gotta wait. I wonder if they knew about this. So I'm gonna Where's hop off now. This? It's getting the Leitenheims. Are heading off, huh? I'm All heading right. off. Later. Okay, bye. New Metal's Forge tomorrow, everyone. You can watch it. Yay. Moonfall. Go talk about Moonfall. Silly movie. Let's go talk about that. Oh, you can have okay. Rags on because he's seen Moonfall. <laughs> if, if, if Rags is around, he, he's. Um, he, you can yeah, what you time do you want to do it? I'll, I'll, I'll probably be around. What time do you start? Uh, um, I have, like, no specific time. Isn't it, like, uh, around normally if I have time, or is it an hour before that or something? Yeah, an hour or two before. We can also do EFAB time. I don't really mind. Well, there you go. I can I can just, just morsage you tomorrow if you want. To yeah, see, message see around. me. I, I don't mind being there to bounce off you when it comes to Moonfall. Yeah? All right, let's do that. Yeah, there you go. Rex is there, too. All right, looks like I'm going to be talking about Moonfall with the boys. Epic. 
I live with one boy with me. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, I have not seen Moonfall. I'm not a connoisseur of art. Kino. I'm not an astronomer. Nope. Kino. I'm not. I don't work for NASA in the space science department. NASA. Yeah. Maybe you should. Anyway, I catch you guys around. Goodbye. Boy. See ya. Yeah, you bet. Rags, haven't you heard that chicken sandwiches don't like the gays? I... Oh, the, that's probably a Chick-fil-A thing. Yeah, I've heard that, but I don't think it's actually really true. Because hmm. every time I go there, they seem really nice and polite and cordial. All right. Hello, can I please get as many of you as possible to tell my friend Taps to go to class? She needs to pay attention and pass. Thank you. Well, taps to go to class? Yeah, go to class, Taps. You need to pass. No, Taps, come on now. Not paying enough attention. Grades are slipping. Can't be having that. Listen to the teacher. Grades keep on Read those slipping. textbooks. Go to those classes. Into the Open failure. The um, do you want to say anything to Taps, Fringy? Um, I mean, I guess Taps can make his or her own choices. All right. Um, yeah. <laughs> I feel like that's... <laughs> yeah, we... Just in case you needed a reminder that you are autonomous and have the capacity to exercise uh, your will. I can't wait to see, see She-Hulk's big feet burst through her shoes when hulking out. Oh, yeah, man, that'll be great. Okay, wait, okay. feet. I think uh, that's up next after Moon Knight. Woohoo! Yeah, isn't it exciting? What a great, what a great year for. Data was going to probably be in that show. Yay! Be careful, people, please. <laughs> Just Ah, oh, you get so worried if you told me a few years ago, I'd be like, oh, how exciting, Daredevil being like actually in the MCU. Now it's like, oh, please stop. You know what? You know what? It's okay. He got three seasons. It's better than a lot of people get. Yeah. Hey, Fringled. Dingled. Oh, hey. Could you do a gruff, gravelly no and a flirty, promiscuous no? Oh, that would <laughs> be fun. <laughs> no. Oh, my. That was probably more... Which one uh... was that? <laughs> Uh, that was the floaty one. <laughs> oh my. Here's the gruff one. No! Yeah, there you go. You got your Cali Valley fucking whatever. No. There you go. You happy? Is that what you wanted? I think that's what they wanted, from what I can guess. Character is most important for me. Good ones can make me latch onto them despite a subpar plot and will building. I agree. Only plays is good for the soul and never became unfunny like the Grumps did. I remember um. there was a really funny Only Plays thing where they were playing um, a pencil game. It's like a game where you play as a pencil. Um, and then they overwrote the save file by accident. <laughs> and then as they like boot back out to try and figure out if he's actually saved over their file, <laughs> starts at the beginning. That was a funny little clip. I mean, I need to look that up. Only plays pencil. <laughs> I like the, um... The little, like... Wild Woody. ...thing they do when they pretend that Trump meets Linkara. It's, uh... It's, those are two just really larger-than-life characters that you'd love to have meet. The, I, the intro to Tony Plays is always so amusing to me. <laughs> oh, I think I fucked this up now. Oh, that wasn't it. Come on. How many spells must you cast, old man? Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I think that we're going to get reset again. I didn't even make it past my record. Yep. You? Not it's me. It's a sad day to be Gandalf. <coughs> um. 
Only Plays is always a great time. Only Plays gets my recommendation. Seems that most people like it. He's, uh, he's, he's busy making his Bulbo game, though, right? Yeah, Bulbo. The quest for Bing Bing. <laughs> it's just a funny name for a game. Yeah, the last trailer for that was nearly two years ago. No women for this 69. Thumbs down. This is regarding episode 169. Uh... That's how bad. I don't remember what 169 was about. It might have been the Boba Fett one. Like I said, I still need to fetch the other half of the arcane ones. I could have sworn they were they were in the same place, but not anymore. Um, Only plays is a way of life. A great listen. Only plays high rags. Hello. Yeah. See, all kinds of recommendations. They're probably one of the healthiest of the YouTube Let's Play channels that came up like. Fucking ages ago, right? I mean, actually, how old is Only yeah. Plays? Fairly old, right? Seems that way. Let's see, when was their first vid year? Uh, eight years ago. Damn. How are the Game Grumps doing? Uh, hmm. I never watched the Game Grumps. Uh, their video is pretty consistently get like between 100 to 300,000 views. Are we all still 10 minutes. Uh, no, they're like 30, 40, 30, 50, yeah, around huh. 30, 50 minutes. There was a time when they would aim for 10. Yeah, you look at the oldest videos from nine years ago, yeah, they're 10 minutes usually. Then Maybe, again, yeah. I feel like there was a shift at some stage when we started to- Because there used to be a, a, a limit to how long videos could be on YouTube. Yep. Especially if you For got like that, a, a- spell there. You go back down and get a strike as well, right? I think so, because I think it was part- yeah, like it was 10 minutes and then I think it could go up to 30, and then back to like 10 again or something, yeah. Now the time limit is 11 hours, 59 minutes. I used to work at Chick-fil-A for nearly three years. I can tell you all the things Rags said is correct, and there are so many things I could tell you. Also, hi, Rags. Hi. Uh, wh what did I tell you? That there were the people there were very, very nice? I can't remember what you and said about Chick-fil-A anymore. Over. But I'm sure you said a whole bunch of things. It's probably positive. I generally say I've gone, and it's been a very positive experience. No, well, there you go. Add a you piece of sword to any Star Wars line you can think of. Oh, you piece of shit is what they're trying to say. Uh, tis fun. Love you massives. You make every week better. I'm glad that helps. Um, but yeah, as for you piece of shit to any Star Wars line, I feel like we're expanding this whole meme to the point of just fuck it, throw anything in there. And it'll be funny. Because it probably would be, because it's the prequels. And you just know that with Anakin's delivery, it'll be in for some bangers. Or Hayden Christensen's, I guess. I wonder if he's going to maintain that in the Kenobi show. Apparently we're getting mm -hmm. Anakin and Vader. Well, okay, whatever that means. I'm guessing he's talking about flashback in them. Flashbacks. Maybe. Those oh, great. man. <laughs> you have to de-age both of them, I guess, at this point. I guess, yeah, because it's 20 years ago. Hmm. <laughs> well, it's it's set. Is it five years after Revenge of the Sith is what I've been told? Ten. Ten. Oh. Well. Yeah, that's that because, yeah, there's that rumor that we're going to see 10 year old Luke and Leia. Uh, oh, can we please stop with these shows? No. Everything shall be pilfered. Uh, Shoutouts to DJ32, one of my favorite authors. Hi, Jay. Alright. DJ32. 
Just watch Rag's new video on Boba Fett. Y'all should watch or play, highly recommend it, KOTOR's take on sand people and their culture slash history. There's a lot of reason to recommend that game from what I hear from people. They prefer it to uh, a lot of the Disney stuff that's coming out, so... Interesting, you know? Bet they can't wait for KOTOR to be adapted. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be great. They say, you know, oh my gosh, the yeah, they're doing it. Because I guess they just forget. Some do. Some do not. Bringy, thoughts on the new game Stray uh, when it come when can when can we expect a let's play? The game Stray uh, and a let's play of it. Yeah. Stray. Uh, is that an actual game or is that a meme? It probably is a game name. I don't know, I could see that being a thing. Uh Set, uh, yeah, apparently it's the first person shooter set in Australia in the late 1960s with a focus on surviving dangerous animals. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm not I Like I said, I won't play Disco Elysium and, and all that. Do we? Right now. And get back to Hollow Knight at some stage. God damn, it's been a while since I started my playthrough of that. Oh, you didn't finish it, did you? I didn't, I, uh, I stopped, um, I can't remember why, I think it was around Metroid came out around that time, I'm not sure, but, uh, yeah, I, I think I was getting kind of close to the end, I started a little while ago, but I guess I'm worried now that if I jump in after so long, it's gonna be hard to, uh, remember what I needed to do, where I was supposed to be going. Yeah, it can happen. <laughs> that didn't make any sense, but okay. Um, also, high rags. Kick J. Hello. Coom. Yes. Frongo oh, Goo oh, assertion oh. here. Don Bless. Thank you very much. Saw Arcane. Liked it. Only plays. Hi, Jay. You smexy. I'm glad you liked Arcane. This was back before we'd even mentioned that we'd seen it, I think, so... Mm -hmm. Of course, there'll be recommendations for it. We got a lot of those over the years. They'll stop now. No one's gonna recommend that show ever again. Yes, please don't. Unless, well, they might, and then we'll be like, you're in luck. No, never. We've got three episodes talking all about it. Don't kick Jay. Only plays. Wario Land 4. Feet. <laughs> Wario Land 4. Feet. This is, there's a lot to decipher with Super Chats all the time. We've, we've talked about this. There's a Wario message Land in there. Four. There's themes. Feet. Saw Monsters, Inc. last night. Super well written. I really I do like it. Monsters, Inc. I like that one. That's a good one. Yeah. I feel like Monsters, Inc. is a little bit underrated, honestly. In what way? Do you think people don't mention it enough? Um, or? I think that it doesn't get mentioned as much as, like, Toy Story or Finding Nemo. Um, I think it's pretty great. Uh, yeah, I, I guess A Bug's Life is the one that people tend to really forget about, though. You don't hear people talk much about A Bug's Life. Yeah. Which I guess is fair, because I don't think A Bug's Life is as strong as the ones that surround it, but still pretty great. In political news time, to make the New Year resolutions for New Year when the restrictions may be lift for 2024, thoughts on Sargon's wouldn't even are you? Oh, they're talking about that famous quote. Even right for you? I mean, it's pretty hilarious, but it was probably a very bad decision optically. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a disaster, yeah, on that front. It was, it's just like... Because it was, it was the whole, it dominated every single conversation that was had when he was doing his political thing. Yeah. It's, it's just a really bad quote. Like, super fucking edgy, but, uh, it got him in the amount of trouble I would have expected it to get him in. Favorite final boss? For me, it's Ocarina of Time's Ganon fight. Favorite final boss or just favorite, favorite boss? final boss? Mm -hmm. Um, uh, huh. Favorite final boss. Damn, I feel like uh, I feel like uh, Virgil in Devil May Cry Five is a strong contender. That was a fucking amazing fight. Favorite. Final boss. Because I'm looking through, I'm, I'm sifting through my mind games that had boss fights that were. Wait, that had Senator a, Armstrong that had a was really game. good too. Yeah, that was, that's a really fun one. Um, I really like I'm, Metroid I'm, Prime. I'm... Oh, Metroid Prime is a pretty good final boss, yeah. 
Dr. Like... Nefarious from Ratchet and Clank 3 I really like. <sighs> Favorite. Yeah, that's tough. I'd have to think of... I'd have to really start to delve back and think about a lot of them. Um, the Dead Space final boss was kind of neat. Um, uh... Uh, you, you really had a sense of, like, oh shit, this is definitely the final boss, and this is... Yeah, it's the scale of it. Um, final boss. Uh... I'm not sure about the Dead Space bosses. I find that a lot of them are it's the same thing, where you just have to wait for them to reveal their weak spot sort of shit. Standard game stuff. In the first Dead Space? Uh, definitely the first one. I guess I can't quite remember the ones from the second. Um... I just... I liked a lot of the Dead Space bosses because it was it was definitely a shoot the weak point aspect. Why don't you? But the way the, that uh... they would move and the way that you would have to move to avoid attacks was and, and the environments were all totally different and some of them were zero G. Um. Uh, they they just all felt really different when you were playing through them. I really uh... like Soul of Cinder. I as do I. I, the music is awesome, uh, including the first half, which I don't see people talking about as much. I really like the first half. Um, hmm. I'm just thinking about other. There's there's a lot of really good boss fights. Um. Hmm. Uh. Well. The, I, I was thinking about Cuphead, it's like, I think that there are bosses that come before the final boss that I like more than, uh, than the final boss in Cuphead. Um... Floral of Fury course, was really cool. We, of um, course, have Resident Evil 5's one, boss fight with Wesker at the end in the volcano. That was... Oh, that was that was something else. That it's was top special. top-notch gaming right there. Oh, yeah, that was really a cool boss fight. Yeah, I'm just trying to think about final bosses, because a lot of the games I play just don't have final bosses, you know? Um, hmm. Thinking of some strategy games and stuff like that. Yeah, I... Oh, I, uh, Super Mario World... I, okay, so it's the one where... Because I don't... The naming conventions for the Super Mario games confuse me a lot. Um... Uh, this is really? the one. Why? Yeah. Why? I, I they just confused because I don't because I, I don't know oh, if it's no. the second one or not or if it's Super what Mario. It World. So, so, well, I, I don't <laughs> know. Uh, Which game are you uh, thinking about? So it's the one where at the very end you it's got the star zone in it, and the stars it has got the star levels in it, the hidden star levels, and you have different I colors. Oh, that's Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island. It wasn't Yoshi's Island. It wasn't Yoshi's it, Island. No, it, okay. it was... It, it, yeah, at the wait, end... Yoshi's Island had, like, the big Bowser off in the distance, right? Um, covered in the shadows. So let me see. I think it's called... Is it called... It's called Super Mario World. Oh, Super Mario World would be the first one. Not Mario... Well, no, there was, there was no, the one on the Game Boy... Super and this was the original Game Boy, right? And this was on the, like, SNES, and then they re-released it for the Game Boy Advance? Oh, well, so, Super Mario World, there's Super Mario World, and then I think, yeah, but the, isn't the re-release on Game Boy just called Super Mario World? Um, and then it just has I a different I think so? But was it originally, like, Mario World 2 or something? See, this is what I'm saying. Yeah, I think Super it's called Mario Super World. Mario World. It's Super Mario World, yeah. And now I, I I didn't play I didn't have a SNES I I just had the Game Boy, and um, the final boss of that I always remember with Bowser and his little helicopter thingy. His oh yeah, helicopter. so so the naming was confusing because it was called Super Mario Advance Two Super Mario World, but it is just a remake what of the Super fuck? Mario World. <laughs> Who named it that? Rags has been proven correct. That, yeah, oh but my that's god. Confusing. Generally, it's not confusing. You got Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers 2, Super Mario Brothers 3, Super Mario Which one World, I don't Super even Mario know. World 2, Yoshi's Island, Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, New Super Mario Brothers, 
Uh, Which Super one is Super Mario, Mario World Galaxy, 2? New Super Mario Brothers Wii. Wait, Super Mario World 2 is Yoshi's Island. You, you fucked it up. Super Mario World 2 is Yoshi's Island. But what about... So what's the num What's the second Mario game that came out? Would that not be Super Mario World 2? The second Mario game would be... Well, if we count Super Mario Brothers as, as the first one, then the, the second one would be 2. Super, Super Mario, Mario 2? 2. Super Mario but Bros. 2. Super Mario Brothers 2. But the problem is, Super Mario Brothers 2 was released in the West as a copy of a, like, other game. It wasn't a Mario game. It was something else. So, like... I guess from that perspective, you'd be like, well, Mario 3 was really the second one. Um, yeah. What's so confusing about that? Nothing. Yeah, nothing. Like so right. clear, it's, it's, Sweet. Just, it's, it's really intuitive. What was the one with uh, collecting Wario's coin things and killing him at the end on the Game Boy? That that uh, was wasn't that, Super Mario was World, Super, Super Mario, Mario Advance 2. Advance? Was it? What, hold Mario uh, World damn. Advance? Or... Super Mario Advance 1, that was... Oh, god damn it. No, su so Super Mario Advance was Super Mario Brothers 2. Super Mario Land 2 is apparently what it was. Su oh, yeah, 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 that's right. <laughs> it's not confusing at all. It, it was, well, because there's Land and World, and then there's 3D Land and 3D World, and then there's just new Super Mario Brothers, which wasn't very new anymore after, like, the fifth one. And then, of course, you just got Super Mario, the mainline 3D ones. Very it's well. going to feel very strange when... When... Nope, train of thought's gone. It's left the station. Like in that movie, uh, Inside Out, where the train of thought is a literal train, and when it gets destroyed, I guess you no longer have thoughts. <laughs> that was very clever train. the way they did that, yeah. That movie's not that good. Like, I don't know why everybody thought it was so great. It's fine. Yeah, I remember that came out and everyone was freaking goo goo yeah, over it. Yeah, they said it was the best one since Up, and they were wrong to think that. Toy Story 3 is better. Thoughts on the Mighty Vesper Boba Rangers? The Mighty Vesper Boba Rangers? Mm hmm. I guess you don't have any thoughts. I, I don't know anything. I gotta... My... Oh, I know you're... Oh, right. Yeah, I, I think they were cringe and they didn't fit. I thought that was this was like a thing. Like a... Like a, I was about to Google it. Mighty Vesper. I thought you said Vesper. Mighty Vesper Boba Rangers. And I thought this was like some weird uh, Bandai superhero group or something. Well, maybe they are. I hope so. But they're out there fighting crime and stuff, but... The Boba ones, specifically, yeah, mm, uh, I'm sure they'll make grand return after how everyone reacted to them. Man, that must suck for being one of the actors a part of that group that you're told throughout the filming that you're pretty cool and awesome and hip, and then everyone's like, wow, that was fucking lame. And you're like, oh. No way they could have uh, believed them, right? They must have known. Maybe, <laughs> maybe they didn't, Rags. Maybe they didn't. I bet those Rings of Power superfans thought they were real cool. Because they're influencers. This dude out there just running around, is he trying to chase you, or...? Yeah, I'm like, oh, he easily avoiding way. him while my power recharges, so that I can <laughs> use it for the next round, because that's apparently the best way I can get through this. <laughs> he is having a... He is having... Issues. Powder ruins everything, that B-word. <gasps> I'll say the B word. B, like, these levels would be way harder if I didn't open it with a free bubble <laughs> shield. Free win. <laughs> oh shit, I killed the two of them. I didn't want to do that. Well, we've lost. Oh no. Maybe if I start with shooting some arrows. How did. <laughs> What do you get for finishing all 20 levels? I don't actually know. <laughs> but it has to be done, Rex. Has to be done. Can, this is painful. <laughs> You're really struggling there. 
What if I do this? Oh, perfect mode. Hell yeah. Did you see that? I can set everything on fire because I'm grand. Wow, you should do that more. It costs me arrows, Rags. Uh Which makes complete sense. Why do you carry arrows? Are they the ones that just end up sticking in you? I think so. Alright, I kind of, I made it through, you know? Could have been worse. Um, FNT is too noisy for me, hard to follow, only plays. I mean, that, that can make sense. There are episodes of EFAP that are much more rowdy, and some that are much more contemplative, as they say. It's all about that vibe that you're looking for, you know? Speaking of vibing, it's probably time for us to stop. I feel like five hours is a pretty good chunk of solely yeah. super chatting, catching upping, of which we oh. done felt like we're making some real progress there. Yeah, we, we've done, we've done a lot. The only problem is we didn't cover any of the ones that came in today. Um, oh, all right. So we'll have to cover those on the next catch right. up. Catching up on the catch up. Well, yeah, they'll just be added to the to the backlog. Like I said, I need to find where the um, the other arcane ones are as well. Uh. The missing yeah. super chats. Yeah. They got to be in here somewhere. No, oh, that's not it. Somewhere's. In fact, this is probably close to where they are because I pasted them somewhere. Oh, someone's mentioning Jinx in the Spider Man ones we still haven't caught up with, so no, that's not it. I figured control laughing Jinx would be a way to figure it out because someone must have mentioned in super chats, but now I'm realizing that that's probably not the way to do it. Don't worry, I will figure out a better way. But um yeah, we'll probably we'll probably stop around there. I'm just gonna grab all the ones that you've sent in today and they will be addressed the next time we are addressing Zuba Chats, which at the very least will be next Wednesday. But uh, more than likely will be this Saturday, where another EFAP is on the way. Um mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know. Anything else you guys wanna say before we say goodbye to the nice people at home? I... nothing particularly pertinent, just working away on them projects. Hopefully I'll have something for you soon. Um, hopefully I should have a video done soon-ish. Uh, get over this hump and then start to try some new things, but yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna try and do is get a... a Dog Bites video done later tonight. Um... It's only... yeah, I got time, because it's... yeah, it's only six here. So. All right. Well, uh, all I'm going to say is on Saturday, I'll tell you what the video is. Finally. Even though a lot of you already know what it is, because you used your little brains. Not me. Didn't use my brain. Rags didn't use his brain. There you go. Nope. Uh, but yeah. So see you on Saturday. Well, I'll also see you tomorrow because of open bar. And I'm pretty sure I'm on Friday night tights too. Ooh, my week is not. Gonna be spent doing things other than streaming, apparently. Which is okay. So, catch you guys around. And, uh, well, it's a good night. Goodbye. Thanks for the, the messages and the Yeah, everybody. We'll see you around. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Thanks for coming by to listen to Super Chats, and we'll see you later. Yeah, bye, 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 bye.